Okay, and we're live. <laughs> All right. Can I hear everybody? Are you guys good? Ew. All right. I think so. I think All we're right. good. All right. Yes. Okay. So, hi, everybody, and welcome to the contest thing that we did. Um, sorry to let you know, uh, but, but the Mara Mara no me won every category, every single one. So, you know. it was a close fight, but, you yeah. know. Yeah. 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 Sabo came up on top. I mean, we're looking at all the categories. I mean, there's 3,000 entries, but we just... The Mara Mara no me is really awesome, so we'll just go with it. It was the most original entry, for sure. It was so unique, too. The idea of fire powers is just Yeah, that is actually... How did somebody right. come up with that? It's never been if done. If you look at the fruit, how each berry, like, on the fruit is like a flame. I, I wouldn't gorgeous. have expected that. I would have expected it to have, like, water-based attributes, because it's a fire fruit. But no, I mean... So, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, it's oh, not like yeah. it's not like hundreds of people submitted their own water ideas, and we immediately had to negate <laughs> them during this contest. No, 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 no. <laughs> Nothing like. Well, look. Nothing like, I like tried that. To, I tried to be clever with that because you know there's ways you can make it work. Because there's like oh, um, yeah, there were a couple. There's the uh, like the, the perfect example of that is the axolotl fruit in Punk Hazard. How it's a right. salamander that can live in the water, but it can also live on land. So yeah, sure, go oh, yeah. go with that. Huh. Senior Pink can swim through walls, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, he's just the only swimming fruit, but he can't swim through water. So that's yeah. <laughs> that's, that's original. All right, so I wanted to thank the 3,000 plus people that entered this contest. It was an adventure. Um, we each uh, looked through your entries in different categories. I took the traditional zone and the ancient zone and Mount Everest, Paramecia, on, on myself, yeah. and then <laughs> Roger took uh, Mythical, and then Nux took Loki. So how was this, uh, just to start off, how was this experience for you guys? I mean, it, it was, was very crazy. humbling. Well, thank you. Yeah, I mean, it was, it was strange, because going through all the different entries, I thought, oh man, this is going to be really, really difficult to oh, parse yeah. down, because there's so many different ideas, but then once I started seeing the same idea over and over again, and it was clear like people were either copy-pasting from some place yeah. or doing something else, I just typed in filters. I'm like, okay, ghost, nope, <laughs> devil, nope, like, and I just went through all of them, and that's really what allowed the cream to rise to the top, because yeah. then I saw some really unique and interesting ideas in there, and... Uh, yeah, I'm super excited to go through them. Yep, they uh, I I because it was the hard like ancient zone and traditional were easy for me because they were only like there was like 80 for traditional and there were like 100 for ancient. So I took I, I could read through each and every single one of those in like a day and knock those out. Uh, also, not to uh, not to cut you off, Tekken, yeah. but everybody in the chat is saying please turn your mic up and yeah, that me and I, uh, are too loud. turned. Wait, hold up. Wait, am I using my? No, nope, I'm using my my Yeti. Okay, hold on. Wait, I can adjust that really quick uh let's see open sound settings because i'm talking i i did boost it as much as i could on the uh cool it also says i'm too loud which That's, is yeah, a me too. all right well, yeah let me... that happens all the time though for the two of us we're, yeah we're let me let me lower the <laughs> let me lower the audio for coming out of my computer and let me open up my volume mixer settings here uh sound settings uh, uh, while he's doing that game wizard 2008 in the chat who says yes. how long is this going to last this is probably going to last a while because we're going through 10 of each of the categories plus announcing a grand prize winner i'm assuming we're going to want to talk about a lot of these individually yes so, so is it's that a, a long okay stream. is that a little bit better guys i boosted my mic a touch it might have also just been because normally when I do streams, I don't have two other people on here, so maybe you're loud in oh, comparison. Maybe. It makes me makes me quiet in comparison. All right, so we'll give it a second for them to. Yes, yes, people are saying that's a lot better. Okay, nice. that's good. All right, that's good. Okay, cool. Good. So, um, yeah, yeah, we're gonna go through fifty-one entries total. So fifty entries, top ten for each category, five categories, and then the grand prize will obviously be at the very end. So I'm thinking anywhere from three to four hours because we want to obviously say stuff. We'll have more stuff to say about certain entries than others, of course. Um, but okay, so uh, I'm how we're gonna do this is uh, because I did three categories and Nux and Roger did the other two. We'll be alternating back and forth. So I'll go through my entries uh, through one category, then it'll go Roger with the mythical, then it'll be back to me, and then it'll be Nux for the fourth, and then I'll do Paramecia last, and then after that grand prize, and then we'll wrap yep. this up. Okay then, Sue. If everybody's ready, let's get this party started. By the way, I bought fruit. 
So I have fruits. I'm gonna eat a fruit. Wonderful. A I'm gonna eat a different fruit. <laughs> the stream is long enough that we'll need to, you know, yeah, have start eating sustenance. nearby. If food. you guys need Just a survive. break, we could take a break. It's cool, but I don't think it'll go. I away. mean, I'm eating. I'm eating scrambled eggs right now, so it's totally fine. Oh yeah, I'm it's still eating scrambled eggs and drinking coffee. We're good. Scrambled so... eggs. Scrambled <laughs> eggs are delicious. All right. So the first category that we will be tackling is the traditional zone category. So this is. I think something a lot of people are familiar with, these are just the zones, the same thing as choppers. So no giant dragons, no ancient Tyrannosaurus Rexes or anything, just typical animals you could find in our world or the One Piece world. Um, so let's start off with the traditional zone category number 10, the Ushi Ushi no Mi model Red Deer. And this is an entry sent to us by Michael. And uh, so what I actually did is for a few categories here, some of them are PDFs like this one is. So, boom, right here, we have his category, his entry. Yep. The traditional zone devil fruit is pretty much straightforward. It gives you the ability to turn into a red deer. Uh, the human form, as well as the beast form, are, in my opinion, self-explanatory. So, yeah, you could probably figure how that looks. Kind of obviously similar to Chopper, probably just you don't turn into a chibi. Um, having access to big ant antlers, great sense of smell, hearing, general higher strength, especially in the lower body, so running ability is obviously the case. Uh, probably the thing that cinched it for me was just adding armament hockey to the deer antlers because then you just run your enemy through. That sounds pretty awesome. Um, being a deer has its disadvantage. Deer, being naturally easy to scare, have huge problems being carnivorous, oh, fighting carnivorous zone types. It would take a great amount of willpower to even face one. I can imagine a character turning into a deer and being really badass, but then all of a sudden being scared by something and like starting shaking and then run running away. Um, right. <laughs> yeah, like having this natural... If you shine your headlights at it, it freezes. I don't know how common deer are in your area, but they're everywhere in Pennsylvania. And we actually have the highest car crash, you know, uh, injuries because of hitting deer. You're most likely to hit a deer in PA than any other state. Um, um, you're saying this is a very useful devil fruit to obstruct your enemy's vehicles. <laughs> yes, exactly. If, you're, <laughs> if your enemy is driving an SUV down the highway at 70 miles an hour, this... This devil fruit is the ultimate, uh, your Achilles heel. I'm sorry. We, <laughs> By we sacrificing that, uh, yourself. <laughs> <laughs> we know that the Blackbeard pirates are trying to, you know, amass a bunch of devil fruits right now. I still yeah. think it'd be really funny if whoever Chopper's opponent within the Blackbeard Pirates ends up having a deer fruit. <laughs> yeah. Think, it'd be so crazy if, like, Doc Q if, ends up having the Ushi Ushi no No, Doc, right Q's, uh, Doc Q's horse has the deer fruit. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> uh, Okay, everyone's like in the comments, like first fruit, you're okay. I'm like, all right, we started off on a good on a good foot forward. Okay. And the people in the comments are also very happy that we went through the PDFs. I saw that was something. That oh yes, were yes, me. yes, yes. Being I, like, wait, are PDFs disqualified? And we never actually. Said I anything? No, I should have I should have clarified because uh, the way I have my email set up, I get all my, like, if you sent me a Word doc or something, it would be sent in my inbox. If you sent me, like, a PDF, sometimes it would show up in my updates, like a different a different folder. So I went through, yeah. And, and like I said, though, Traditional Zone, I'm pretty sure I went through every single one with a fine-tooth comb because of the fact there were not that many of them. Paramecia, there might be a few more gaps because of just how many there were. I think I did a pretty damn good job, but that's the one that had the most entries, but... So, yes, I went through the PDFs. We all went through. Actually, most of Roger's picks are on PDF format or just pictures. Yeah. 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 And, and some PowerPoints as well. People sent some PowerPoints. The PowerPoint was uh, very impressive. One of them that's coming up in the Mythical Zone category was yes. uh, knocked our socks off. Yeah, it was, it was awesome. All right. So that was number uh, 10. This is one I saw a lot of, uh, so I just rolled with it. I thought it, it deserved a spot in here. This comes from Martin. And this is the human human fruit model giant. So giant, of course, in the context of One Piece. Here's some right. images of the giant squad from uh, Marine Ford. I think we only got the names of Lacroix and Ronce. I don't know if we know the names of anyone else. John Giant is oddly absent, but he's not really a real. I mean, he's he's not nearly as tall as these guys. Um, but anyway, uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, the basic fruit of the devil fruit is a version of Chopper's and Sengoku's Hito Hito no Mi, except it's model giant. Uh, when it comes, I mean, when it comes to like strength and weaknesses, we've already seen, you know, the issues with giants. They're they're far from being invincible in the One Piece world just because of their size. Um, the weaknesses, of course, they are large targets, especially to cannon fire. Uh, a measurable willpower, though, as you can see how Hyrudin fought against Mach Vice. He basically defeated him on sheer willpower alone. I love that fight. 
Uh, let's see. And uh, Dory and Broggy, of course. Uh, Dory and Broggy, I don't know if you read the last Viva card. They're actually a little bit taller than the average giant. So... I did not know that. Yes, they're, they they were, but like they're they were like the chiefs of their clans or whatever. Yeah, they were like the yeah they were the they were definitely the the head honchos of the uh, the giant warrior pirates. Uh, the average, I think Otis said, the shortest giant is twelve meters tall. So the average is like fifteen to sixteen. Dory and Broggy were well over twenty meters tall. Um, I don't know how high. Oh, damn. How, yeah, I don't know how tall High Hi, uh, Hi was. I don't know how tall he was, but anyway. Also, if you slash the napes of their necks, they are goners. I get it. <laughs> I'm wearing my uh, Attack on Titan uh, pendant, my uh, Wings of Freedom pendant right now because of this. Are actually. you really? Yes, yes. I don't know if you can see it that nice. accurately, but yeah, I love this necklace. A fan actually sent this to me. It was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so that one's pretty much self-explanatory. So thank you, Martin. I just felt like it deserved a spot in here because uh, I've heard a lot of theories regarding a giant fruit somewhere out there in the world. And we've seen fruits that can like increase your size. Like San Juan Wolf has one of those, but never like a zone focused um giant form so yeah okay so uh moving on here and this is okay this was one i just enjoyed this was the armadillo <laughs> armadillo fruit <laughs> all right have, do you guys know how adorable armadillos are <laughs> of course yeah. dylan's rolling western taught me everything i need to know about armadillos armadillos are great um okay so here is a picture of one uh, I don't know if it's legal to, because there's some states where it's not legal to own certain animals. I don't think it's legal to own armadillos in Pennsylvania, but I would, I would take one. Uh, this, this is, comes from Robert here. Uh, oh, okay, we lagged for a bit, but we're good. All right. Uh, the strengths of the. Oh, by the way, just to mention to everybody really quick, um, I, I contacted my internet guy and he, I told him I'm doing this today and he's gonna do his damnedest to make sure everything goes okay. If the worst comes to worst and we can't stream. Our Hail Mary pass is, you know, me, Roger, Nux can just record this instead, and then we could just upload it like a regular video. But I don't think it'll come to that. So, um, yeah, just let That internet know. guy is at the crank, cranking as <laughs> yeah. we speak. Yeah, his name's That's Dick. That's genuinely amazing that you know your internet provider. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's so crazy. He's actually, um, he's actually going to attach, like, we have a tree in front of our yard. He's going to attach an antenna in front of it to help get internet to the rest of the town. And uh, he'll give us like free internet when we do that. So yeah, nice. he's a gr he's a great know. guy. Yeah, he's a great guy. But um, yeah. All right. So uh, were pictures required? No, they weren't required. There's a if if you sent me in a picture, I'll include it. But uh, pictures were not required with the entry. No. Um, okay, so the strengths of the armadillo fruit is that the user can deflect any projectile off their scaly body. This can vary from flintlock bullets to cannonballs. As long as they are aimed at the user, they will be reflected. Swords, as well as are, as well, are ineffective but not useless, as the sword user must use a great deal of force to injure that uh, user. I think we've seen this before in the series. Like, if you're strong, you can deflect cannonballs, no problem. But if you're a good enough swordsman, you could just slice through that shit, no problem. Um, let's see. When damaged, the user gains a jump boost that allows him to, or her to jump four feet into the air. This is mostly used as a getaway strategy, but, you know, if the user's smart, they can use the jump boost as their most powerful attack. Armadillo Meteor, which is an awesome oh, yeah. name. <laughs> you just <laughs> jump in the air. Is awesome. Especially if you know, like, Geppo, because you could just, like, jump in the air and then turn into, like, a ball of death and just... <laughs> and then you're taken out. The weakness of this fruit is that the user's stomach is still open to attacks because it isn't protected by armor plating, kind of like a reverse Frankie. Um, also, heavy weapons to the back, such as maces or hammers, can crack the spine, so blunt damage, of course. Uh, this fruit is desired mostly by Mr. Four since he wants to match Miss Merry Christmas. I thought it was an adorable little touch there for their dynamic. Um, but yeah, armadillo. I like armadillos. Armadillos are cute. Mm -hmm. They are. You live more out in the desert than I do, Roger. Have you ever seen an armadillo? Oh, yeah, but I haven't seen armadillos in L.A. Right. I've seen them in Las Vegas. So whenever oh, I go to visit okay. my girlfriend's family, then, yeah, I've seen armadillos. But actually, I think I've seen armadillos at the Brookfield Zoo in Chicago as well. Oh. They have a little cute armadillo exhibit. So I've seen quite a few in my day. Quite a few armadillos, yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, this is another one of my favorite. I was a little biased toward a lot of the uh, animals that I liked, but, you know, I like my penguins. Penguins are my favorite oh, yeah. are my favorite flightless bird. Also, just, you know, it's it's an obvious... A lot kind of competition, of... but yeah. No, no, no. It's, it's a popular animal in the world, yet it doesn't have a devil fruit yet, so I thought it was a perfect point to take it, you know? Uh, this comes from Thomas, uh, and I just put some pictures of adorable penguins here caring for their young so that's that's neat Wolski analysis 
it looks like they're just like the hell are you guys doing down there like <laughs> yeah <laughs> but you know <laughs> penguins are cute uh, let's see. The Tori Tori no me model. Also, penguin. penguins oh. are the greatest characters in Madagascar. They are, of course. And uh, that did you ever see the show, The Penguins of Madagascar, that ran very briefly on Nickelodeon? It did not. Yeah, I didn't even it, know that was a thing. Yeah, it was a thing. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't stick in continuity with the movies. It's just like they're back in the zoo with their antics all of a sudden, and that's that. But it's a it's Dang, a good amount. Unbelievable! See, I can't watch it if it's non-canon. That's... Yeah, it did bugs me when I watched it because I'm like, what? You're saying it's not in the Madagascar manga. Yeah, the right, Madagascar exactly. manga. Yes, the the only it's technically a filler arc. Yeah, the only the only <laughs> canon of the entire Madagascar series, of course. Um, I'm so, actually people who don't read the manga are just plebs. Yeah, they don't know that uh, <laughs> Alex got together with that uh, sexy uh, armadillo in that last chapter. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that oh, uh, oil man that just came out last Friday. I'm gonna say that beefy hippo has been wandering around in the memes on Twitter recently. Oh, the that, beefy uh, hippo, Moto, I think Mo Moto, Moto likes Mo you. Moto, Moto. Yeah, I think someone it was, did a Moto, Moto fruit. The <laughs> name. It <laughs> it's the it's the name so nice you gotta say it twice. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah, but anyway, yeah, penguins. All right, it's a traditional zone type fruit with the penguin form being slightly smaller than user. In the hybrid form, the legs gain the penguin feathers and feet but remain the user's length. The upper body takes the characteristics of penguins with black feathers covering the back and arms while white plumage. Okay, so we know what a penguin looks like. Um, let's see here. With enough air trapped between their feathers and a slight dive not completely into the surface of the water, the user can propel themselves at twice the speed of skipping across the water. So I like that because it's kind of like what Brook does. Brook can run across the water, but if he stops and he sinks, he's screwed. So with the case with penguins, they have this air bladder that they got, uh, or not air bladder, but they can trap it between their feathers and they can like literally just skip on the water. So they can not a long distance, but they can get around that weakness without, you know, getting submerged, of course. Um, yeah, I actually really liked that about this devil fruit. Too, yeah. Because like it allows them to traverse through the water without actually getting in the water. Exactly. I that was really neat. I always yeah. am a little nervous whenever Brooke does that, when he skips off and he like runs across the water. I'm like, ah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> if he stops for a second, he, he's dead it's, uh, again. Yo, yeah. ho, ho, ho. Um, <laughs> But anyway, uh, let's see here. Are you Wouldn't it work if Brooke fell into the water? He'd be Would done. his devil fruit just disappear and he'd be dead? There are so many, there are so many uh, questions about that. Like, if Brooke were to die, what happens with his fruit? I'm like, I think it's the same as every other one. You know, it just gets put back in the reincarnation cycle, you know? For sure. Yeah. 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 But as far as he's just a skeleton right now with the fruit keeping him alive. Without the fruit's power for a split second, he's dead. Yeah, exactly. So, well, I wonder about, has he, he ever encountered sea prison? If someone know. puts, like, sea oh, stone right. shackles no, on him, would he die? I don't think ever actually happened. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. I don't think he died. No, it's never happened. Temporarily, his... It might be something where temporarily he just becomes a regular skeleton. Yeah, maybe his soul just to get his, his soul maybe, back. Yeah, maybe his soul, because it's his soul that's the real power, so maybe his soul just right. gets knocked out of his body if he uh, gets touched by sea prison, but he can go back into it. Yeah. That seems like a video idea. What would happen if uh, Brooke touches yeah. Seastone? I made a, yeah, I made a Yomi Yomi fruit video a while back, but I don't think I ever mentioned that. But anyway, oh. a, a unique weakness is being susceptible to heat, similar to Chopper, makes sense, and the user will not be as strong in penguin or hybrid form if the climate's with high temperature like Alabasta or against the users of heat-based devil fruits such as Oven or Akainu. Uh, the penguin, I don't think being a penguin's going to save you from Akainu regardless. No. <laughs> um... Yeah, so the penguin he wanted was based on the Emperor Ping Penguin, but since the model names are mostly one word, I... Okay, so that's just talking about his entry. So, yeah, he turns into a penguin. That's cool. All right, so next is... Oh, this is a fun one. All right, so this is number six. The Tori Tori no Mi, the bird bird fruit modeled Hooded Pitohi. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but it's from Uspau, and that was actually another one that was a uh, Word document. So I'll pull that up. Boom, chickaloom, boom. Here you go. So, I didn't know what a hooded pitoe was. Do you guys know what that was? No. Okay. It is a species of bird found in New Guinea. It is one of the few known birds that have poisonous feathers. So, oh. that instantly piqued my interest there. The hooded pitoe uh. can grow up to 22 to 23 centimeters. Uh, you will have black wings, tail, and a head. The rest of your plumage will be brown. The difference between your younglings and adults aren't that great. Okay, so that's not a big deal between differences there. Um, let's see. Powers. 
During all transformations except base form of the user, the skin, the internal organs, and the plumage are extremely poisonous. Attention, the animal is poisonous, not venomous. There is a difference there. Um, the poison has to be injected in the body of the target through a wound, digestion, or any other method. Um, poison feathers. That was basically what I pictured. You could fire off poison feathers, hit your opponent with them, get poisoned. I thought that was a pretty cool ability. Um... The poison comes from a certain diet. It comes from exotic fruits or insects that contain toxins. Digest some regularly to maintain the poison abilities. I also looked at that in another way. Like, if you eat certain things, maybe you can increase the toxicity of the poison. Um, not on the levels of Magellan, obviously, but still, something something poisonous. Yeah. Let's see. And this is... Oh, did they send me a... No, they didn't give me a, a picture of that. But uh, it's a mango, which I've bitten into one of those without peeling it first because i didn't know how to eat a mango i don't recommend it <laughs> i don't recommend it um and do not consume the core risks of suffocation already happened once well thanks for letting oh, us know also i want to clarify something real quick by yes, the way yes to, uh, Arth arthamore in the chat yeah who's saying i thought you guys said that there was a lim limited number of words there is a limited number oh, yeah, of words there, there is. was a word count there was we a checked for all of the 10 we went through all of yep. them for all the different winners. They are all within the word count. The and I actually, I actually double checked that today before we even yeah. started this. Yeah. Um. So I went through each one after I loaded them all up into the word doc. I went through. So obviously, there's more than 300 total, but right, uh, right. on this page because I had to add them all together. But yeah, there was a 300 word limit. Per yeah, exactly yeah. per entry. Teching cannot eat mangoes, but it, yeah, I can't. But anyway, yeah, <laughs> there's a uh, hooded pito kind of an exotic looking bird and poison feathers it's just crazy what nature does to fight against other animals <laughs> um mm -hmm. yeah and plus the red eyes are pretty freaky okay so number five. Oh, this is one of my favorites the ebby ebby no me model that's a really cool idea do you mm -hmm. know what this th thank you crimson for the entry this thing looks like a damn alien I've always thought well, it has. Apparently, it, I think it moves faster than like a bullet. It's punch. It punches. It's, yeah, it's punch can break glass. Yes. Like, there's literally a Pokemon based around this uh, shrimp. I, I know. don't know what it is. The one from Sun and Moon. The, the, <laughs> oh, that's the one that's right, right. The punchy one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so he's God. actually based on the Crimson Shrimp, which I think is really neat. The, the Mantis Shrimp. Crimson mantis was the guy. Shrimp, sorry, Crimson yeah. was the guy Crimson that was sent the guy, it. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mantis yeah. Shrimp, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So the Mantis Shrimp as seen here and they actually sent me in a devil fruit design for it. it's like a oh that looks really cool yeah, well, super cool yeah, multi-colored like little thing there yep um the ebby ebby know me and you see right down here 280 words um but anyway um the ebby ebby know me model mantis strip is a carnivorous zone thus it makes it the user very aggressive gets a user thick armor useful for defense gives its user eyes which can perceive more color than that of a human being these things can see like ultraviolet light and like infrared and and shit mm -hmm. um i first found out about a mantis shrimp from a manga called frankenfran which is a very horrifying it's a seinen don't read it if you're if you get queasy uh but anyway there's a chapter where this guy uh, he's an artist and this uh, mad doctor fran implants the eyes of like not like a mantis shrimp into him and the way he could see the world just drives him insane because he could see everything you know and uh yeah so that's how i found out about it i later found out that these claws have a few properties the speed is equal to a 22 caliber rifle um, the force of the impact produces intense heat, which is hotter than the surface of the sun. Very, very, very briefly, obviously, but it does get that hot. Mm hmm Yeah. Um, the claws, even if they miss their target, the impact produces deadly shock waves. Combine that with Armin and Hockey, and you basically win. Uh, the claws produce bursts of light when fired, which can blind the opponent. There, This is a phenomenon that exists. Like, you could pull up videos of this at, like, super, yeah. super, super slow motion of this shrimp, like, punching. So, Yeah. How would you feel like to be on the other end of that? Like if you're a shrimp and this fish comes down trying to bug you and you just, boom, you just get like one punch <laughs> right in the face. I was just going to say, it's like the Saitama shrimp. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> mm. Man, that shrimp. Can you imagine is... telling someone though in one piece, you could see someone, well, <laughs> I have the mantis shrimp fruit. And the other guy's, ha, you have a shrimp, shrimp suck. And then he like punches him at the speed of sound. <laughs> that that works though, because that's goofy, you know? Like that's oh, the yeah. kind of thing no, that you it could. it's the one piece world. Yeah, if anyone's, if you guys have watched Hunter Hunter, kind of like Bloster, he's like half shrimp from the head up, you know, like something like that, but way more cool. Um, I'm excited. I'm actually just about to start my watch through of Hunter x Hunter. Oh, I, okay. I only know a couple of characters. Hunter, Hunter, I am so excited. I know. I'm excited too. I can't wait. I it's going to be a while till you get to Bloster, but he's not that important. But anyway. Twitch. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, 
I always had a problem getting through the first arc of Hunter Hunter reading the manga. I, I, so I, yeah, so people told me that because I announced it as a read through. Yeah. And I was going to do Naruto as the watch through. Okay. And everybody said, no, 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 switch them. Do Naruto as the read through and do Hunter Hunter as the yeah. watch through. And everybody's very happy about that. So yeah. that's what I'm doing. Yeah. Yeah. I, um, I try to get through Either the way. Manga. We have 5,000 live viewers right oh, now. Oh, crap. Yeah. Oh, I have, oh, I, it says 4,800 on mine, but might be more than Not that. Not. It's 5k on mine. We're on the trending page on live. Yes! No way! Yeah. Oh, no, that's happened to me a few times. That's happened to me a few times. It's always fun. Sometimes it's like a slow day. There's nothing else really going on. But still, yes. We trending, boys. Yeah, we're literally the fifth most watched Twitch, I mean, Twitch, YouTube stream right now. Joe Rogan's number one. April the Giraffe is number two. Lo-Fi Hip Hop Radio Beats to Study and Relax 2 is three. Ariel Wahan's MMA show is four, and then we're number five. That is so we're, out we're of... We're beating PewDiePie versus T-Series? <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> I guess so. This oh, is, yeah, we are. <laughs> this is the event of the century right here. It is, it is. <laughs> oh, my God, that's so cool. The most I've ever had, I think, the last uh, the last chapter of Bleach, I live-streamed reading it, and I think that hit around six or 6,500. So if we can crack 7K... <laughs> Yeah, that was the most I ever had, period, because everyone was so excited. I mean, not excited. They were just wanting to see how it ended, you know? No, um, I, think, I think the most I've ever had was six during E3 with Smash Bros. Ultimate. Oh, when I was sweet. live streaming Smash Bros. Ultimate, yeah. That is just so out of place. Like, Joe Rogan, I like Joe Rogan's podcast. I watch it. Um, and then you have, like, a bunch of rappers and then us. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, and the giraffe. And the giraffe. The, the, that giraffe is pretty, yeah, the giraffe is worth it. Right. Mm. <laughs> All right, then. So uh, that's the shrimp. I think there's a little bit more here. Workarounds. Mobility can be subverted using the claws. I think that's all we have for the mantis shrimp. But thank you, Crimson, uh, because it is a cool design of a devil fruit and just a cool design, period. This thing looks like a freaking alien, and I love it. All right. So moving on to the fourth one. Uh, do you know what a tardigrade is, gentlemen? Unfortunately, yeah. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> I don't. Okay, Nux. Well, the tardigrade... Um, Think of a way you can kill the tardigrade. Um, I don't care. You're wrong. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, this thing literally cannot. You can shoot it in the vacuum of space. It. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're effing. We're effing. We're effing. Hold on. <laughs> okay. Uh, stream's good. Refresh, people. The stream is fine. The live stream's fine. Oh, no. We were effing there for a second. We, I, I looked, as I could see, we're dropping frames. And then we were dropping, yeah. you know, we were like 120, and I'm like, okay, we're good. Then we're 240, and I'm like, ah, still good. I look up, and it's 1,080, and I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, all right, hold up, hold up. It's back, we're better now, okay. Yeah, we so, are back. we're back. So the tardigrade nux, okay. These things literally cannot die. Like, you could shoot them into the vacuum of space, they could survive. You could put them under pressure at the bottom of the ocean, like incredible PSIs, will not die. Super cold temperatures will not die. Super hot temperatures will not die. Like, they, they're they the weirdest thing. Th this is what they look like. <laughs> oh, it's cute. I know, right? It's <laughs> Dude, you think it's, you guys are crazy. It's horrifying <laughs> to me. <laughs> like well, this miniature, uglier job of the hut. Now, oh. now, don't worry, because they're super, super tiny. Uh, they're microscopic. Yeah. I don't think microscopic, but they're tiny. You can't, I don't think you can see them with a the naked eye. Um... They are also referred to as water bears, so that's a thing. Oh, I've heard of that. Yep. Yes, yep. yes. So I actually first found out about these guys from reading Torico, but uh, yeah. So let me begin by saying, even though this is a tardigrade, it's not an insect, which it isn't, but mushy, mushy, bug, bug fruit, because, you know, uh, it's a small enough creature. Um, right. The devil fruit would be a kiwi in size and form. Uh, and let's see here. Uh, it would be resistant to slashing and a bit blunt attacks along the body. With four extra arms and a face, even pre-surgery Duval would take pity on. <laughs> <laughs> the unique strength is the ultimate survivor. Uh, while in hybrid or full tardigrade form, the user would be able to withstand the most extreme temperatures along the any ra oh yeah radiation too. They pelted this thing with radiation. Also, would not die. Um, it may receive and even be able to survive the vacuum of space if there is any in the One Piece universe. Well, we actually haven't seen that because on the moon you can breathe, so we don't know. Um, this ability would make him pretty much the natural counter to Devil Fruits of the three original Navy Admirals. Oh, yeah, because, uh, heat and ice and light. And so, yeah. Yep. Cryptobiosis, that is what they do. They, they basically go dormant. And when they do that, um, that's when they're basically, like, 
invincible. Like they don't, they don't move. They're just in this hibernation state and uh, they could stay in that form for, I don't know if it's hundreds of years, but they could stay in that form for a very, very long time. Um, Zone quick recovery, along with known increase in stamina, strength, and speed of known zone awakenings, this devil fruit user would be able to reduce the dormant state of cryptobiosis from a minimum of 30. Yeah, I guess it could be years. Um, so yeah, if you get really damaged, I guess you could just go into this cryptobiosis form, go into hibernation, and then uh, you could stay you're recovering for about five years. Hold up, I think we're lagging again. Oh, it should be also important to mention at this point. Um, while I'm record, while I'm streaming this, it's also being recorded, like saved to my computer. Right. So yeah. Um, so don't worry about that. Um, so even if, if even if bad happens, it'll be re-uploaded. Yeah. Even if, even if anything gets bad happens, uh, I'm going to go back and cause it'll be uploaded to YouTube regardless automatically. But if it's looking like it's too choppy, I'll just upload the file and everything will be good. So that's good. Yep. Okay. So, number three is, I think I saw, okay, you saw number two very briefly, but number three is the Plant Plant Fruit Model Venus Flytrap by Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. And, uh, here <laughs> is... Did Teching just do a meme? I did, I mean, have I, I just finished I reading the, uh, The Disaster Artist, the book. It's a really good read. Um, but yeah. All right, so I got a lot of Devil Fruits that involved, uh, plants, I got ones that turned you into flowers. I got ones that turned you into trees. So, okay. Um, and I know it's not in a line with, because we haven't seen any zones that turn you into plants necessarily. But uh, I thought this one worked because of just the nature, oh, yeah. the nature of the Venus flytrap. Allows the user to transform into a carnivorous plant called a Venus flytrap. His body is equipped with unbreakable sharp teeth, branch-like arms with razor-sharp blades and root-like legs that help balance himself in battle. Uh, think of, like, Carnivine from Pokemon. I right. Think, yeah. Or Audrey. Audrey from uh, Little Shop of Horrors. Yes. Or the Piranha Plant, of or, course. Or the Piranha Plant. Who's now in Smash Bros. Piranha Available plant. now. Yeah. Hashtag free product. <laughs> there you go. Promote it. <laughs> hey, I played, I played Pokemon Coliseum music at the start of this, so yeah. Oh, did you uh, really? <laughs> yeah, that, that was what was playing on the, because I was listening to that while editing all this. Nintendo and I was like, will be very happy. Yeah, yeah. Well, at the least, they'll just, uh, you know, they'll just copyright claim me whatever not a big I was about right. to say that you think they'll be very happy or you'll get a copyright strike <laughs> uh, so here's a cool thing though because it's a plant you can actually achieve photosynthesis with this um so you can like put, potentially like heal yourself or provide you don't have to eat you can just get energy through like photosynthesis and stuff so that's cool um the greatest feature of this fruit is the ability to regrow lost limbs just like a plant um you know uh example if someone cuts off his arm the wounded on his shoulder oh the wound on his shoulder would produce seeds to stop the bleeding and the seeds will grow to become the new arm eventually time water and sunlight is needed for missing body parts to regrow uh when you're in the full zone the user will turn into a full plant just giant uh giant version of audrey essentially um you're on but you're, you're taking root while you're turning because you're an actual plant so you can't really move but I imagine if you're, like, rooted in one place, but you have, like, tentacles coming out from all these directions and you can reach and grab your opponent and stuff. So I think that would be a good balance there. Yeah. Um, let's see here. Uh, amplifies the user's observation hockey through the nature of energy, similar to Eneru's lightning fruit, entering the user's hybrid form, grow sharp wings, or flying and slashing enemies. Gotcha. Uh, special weakness. Happens during full zone form, the user loses its wings and roots himself to the ground so you can't move. All right, so, yeah, uh, a, a little bit unusual because it's a plant, but I liked it, so I, I went with it. Now, number two is the Mushi Mushi, the Bug Bug Fruit model Praying Mantis from John. So thank you, John. Uh, this is another insect one, obviously, and of course there's a Praying Mantis that honestly looks kind of guilty, like it just finished eating its uh, mate in this <laughs> shot here. <laughs> like, I, uh, I didn't do anything. <laughs> But praying mantises are cool, and if you get a giant one, I think you can imagine what, you know, you could basically turn your, your you know, the, the blades into, like, actual blades, you know. Um, like all zone devil fruits, the mantis has three forms. The normal form is just that. The hybrid form of a new user will manifest the scythe-like arms of the bug. I think this was actually seen in the anime during Impel Down during uh, level two. You got to see a few more beasts than you see in the anime, and one of them is a giant praying mantis. Um, yep. So just imagine that, pretty much. Um, unlike the Tontadas, a human will remain a large size. So I'm like, yeah, it wouldn't be very impressive if you turned into just like a normal, like a size of a normal praying mantis. <laughs> um, oh my God, this is horrible. But one day I was a kid and I was walking down my street 
and there was this huge praying mantis in the middle of the road like it was giant and I ran up to it and just kicked it as hard as I could. Why? <laughs> and oh my I god! Don't, I don't what? know. I was horrible. I was a horrible child. Um, Why would you kick a poor little praying mantis? That, You're totally docile, man. It was the biggest praying mantis I ever saw. I was like walking up a hill on the pavement, and I could see this giant green dot in the middle of the street. And I just—I was like six or seven years old. I had the desire just to run up and kicked it, and you could hear wow. it like, and it just. Yeah. Oh, hashtag, <laughs> hashtag cancel teching, man. That's Damn crazy. it! I, I, I can't was waiting that. for like you know Killing the happy ending. Mantises. You kicked at the praying mantis and it caught oh, your dude. foot. I have never seen a praying mantis. That that's my redemption. I put it at number two in the contest because <laughs> I felt bad for killing that poor praying mantis. <laughs> you imagine that that praying mantis was probably like the boss shit praying mantis like all the other and all the, that thing was a titan that thing was the colossal titan to every other insect and then i come out of nowhere and just bam maybe i liberated all the insects from their Dang. their suffering oh god all right so mantises have two spike four legs that was the word i was thinking of four legs in which prey are caught and held securely these spiked appendages are very durable and can be used offensively as slashing weapons. So you basically have a pair of giant scissors, arm them and hockey them up, and you're good to go. Mantises primarily rely on sight while hunting and have a wide range of vision. They are also able to fly, of course, and unlike the Tontadas, a normal human will not shrink. So the weaknesses are teching, uh, kicking them about 50 yards down the street. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> now it's extreme cold. Uh, they can't move very well due to the large eyes. The mantis can suffer greatly from debris, so dust. Mantises are very light despite their size. They can be knocked around easily. <laughs> So yes, yeah, they certainly <laughs> can. Knows from personal experience. I was wondering when I first read this, I was wondering if they were going to include the whole like they devour their mate after, you know, after the ordeal is done. But no, that's not a strength nor a weakness, but that could be whatever you will, I guess. So there there it is, praying mantis. I apologize for kicking your brethren on the other side of the street, but that thing, yeah. Um okay. So number 1 and this is my favorite. I wanted it to be a little bit more epic, but I already scrolled down. So I'm just going to roll with it. This is number one from a user just by the name of Deep. Mollusk, mollusk fruit model rainbow den den mushy. All right. So this is really cool. This is essentially, at first I thought it was a little overpowered because it's every den den mushy ability in one. But then I started to think like, well, it's not like the den den mushy abilities are good for combat. They're mostly just for reconnaissance. So that would be cool to have all of them in one. You know? Oh, absolutely. So, um, they, they, um, this is, um, uh, a, 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 I, they did include a picture, but you can assume, I hear just some regular Den Den Mushy, but imagine it as, you know, a Den Den Mushy with a rainbow shell. Um, so you can telepathically communicate to all Den Den Mushy up to 9,000 Mushy radius. That's like what Oda does with like the Gamu Gamu no radiuses <laughs> or whatever. Um, this ability is similar to Chopper rather than Shirahoshi. Most Den Den Mushis are friendly, but some are hard to persuade. So you can't just contact the silver Den Den Mushi and like, let's have them bust your call all the government facilities then. <laughs> uh, you, know, you know, so you can't hack the silver one or the gold one. I don't even know if the gold Den Den Mushi is even a Den Den Mushi. It's just, it looks like a button, honestly. Um, let's see. A receiver can be installed from regular Den Den Mushi. The user enacts the call of the how like a Den Den Mushi would work. So you can also project visuals like a visual. You can probably take pictures just like a camera one can. Uh, you can jam and intercept like the black and white Den Den Mushis respectively. Uh, the communication sent by the user can be intercepted. And a skill to send out a special psychic wave to avoid getting intercepted can be learned. So also a fun thing about this fruit is that you get a shell. And they talk about how the shell can actually fit two people inside of it. So I can see that in One Piece. I can see a character turning into a snail and then like inviting you into its little snail house. And you could just chill out in there on like a chair or something. You know, that would be neat. Um, so yeah, and there's also you're a snail, so you move rather slow, and you leave a trail behind, so it's not like you can really escape without being detected. Um, so more of a reconnaissance kind of fruit doesn't really have a lot of battle capabilities other than the strong shell. But I thought that was a really unique idea, very clever kind of idea, just to incorporate the dendrobium. I like that it actually picked you know an animal in the One Piece world to yes. be the oh, zone. Oh totally. Yeah, totally. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the same thing with giants, oh. you know, they exist. Yeah. 
Um, it seems like as as we went through this one, I just it seems like the perfect fruit for somebody in the Revolutionary Army. Oh yeah, to sort of take over communication and see what's going on in the world, or either that or somebody who's like a high ranking subordinate of one of the emperors of the sea. Because you know it's always mentioned in the series that the emperors have all the information mm -hmm. on pretty much anything going on at any given time. Yep. So it'd be cool if one of their subordinates ended up having this. Yeah, we get uh, uh, koala doesn't have a fruit. Have koala be a giant. There snail, you go. Snail. Giant woman. Snail. 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 I don't want them to do that to my waifu. I really. Okay. Don't want all right. Let's have it be hack. Hack can have it. There you go. All right. Uh, or um, no, I think all of the. Uh, I don't think Lindbergh has one. Yeah, Lindbergh can have one. There you go. Uh, <laughs> So, yeah, those are the traditional zones. So the way that the prizes are going to work is that the first category, uh, so Mollusk, Mollusk Root, Model Rainbow, Den Den Mushy, will be getting a um, $50 prize. And the number two, the Praying Mantis, will receive a $20 prize. So there you go. All right, so we're one-fifth of the way done. How long did that take? That, that took 40 minutes. Okay. Oh, my God. Uh, we can, yeah, we can maybe, yeah, speed it up. It's cool. <laughs> um, but yeah, then we get sidetracked with me talking about, you know, you know, kicking poor defenseless insects. Man, just, just... So, um, yeah, that's the, uh, all right, hold on. Let me pull up the next category here, which will be, we're doing sure. mythical zones next, which will be. Sure. Yes. So this one's a little different. I don't have a word document for this one because most of these were all sent to me. <laughs> well, oh, okay. Actually, no, you have the Frankenstein one, don't you? Right. So the Frankenstein one, that was actually number nine. So okay. they're numbered incorrectly on yours. I'll yes. basically read out okay. what the ranking is, and then you could just click on the And, and then I could pull up the correct one. I'll explain it. Yes, exactly. be because let me tell you, and, and, and by the way, this is what happened. Um, the Mythical Zone won the grand prize. I'm not going to spoil which one it is, but it won the grand prize. A Mythical Zone won a the mythical grand zone. Prize, A Mythical Zone. Not right. this one. Not this one. Um, but A Mythical no. Zone won the grand <laughs> prize. So we're going through all the entries. We pick out the Mythical, but obviously that would leave an extra gap in the Mythical. So Roger went and picked another one. So the numbering's a little off. So the Frankenstein yeah. one was nine. So this one is 10 still. So Yeah, so the Teching Fruit is still going to be number 10. All yeah. right. So then... <laughs> Uh, Before we start with that, though, I, do, yes. I really quickly want to say, yes. as we were going through all the different categories, this is one that was incredibly unique. Some of the ideas that were in this Mythical Zone category were just, like, unbelievable. There were things that, like, I never would have expected to be Devil Fruits. I think the Zone category and the Paramecia, there's a lot of different things to pull from, and, you know, basic animals or different powers, but some of these are truly unique. And uh, I just wanted to commend all you guys for coming up with these because it was a lot of fun to go through them. And uh, another thing I wanted to mention, I saw a lot of people saying, oh, Thunderbird, Thunderbird, talk about the Thunderbird. <laughs> Thunderbird was actually one of three words that I muted while going through de the Devil Fruit entries for Mythical Zone because so many people entered in Thunderbirds. And there were a couple that were in consideration I, I like in the final category. Yeah, yeah, you oh, didn't, it's a great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you didn't just disregard every single no, one. No, no, no. I, didn't, no. I, I read through them. But ultimately, it was like, I saw that there were like a lot of Thunderbirds, there were a lot of ghosts, there were a lot of devils. Um, but as you'll see as we go through this category, some yeah. of these really do end up taking. Yeah, yeah just to, there was one Jesus fruit. Oh, there were yeah, more there, than... were, uh, there were multiple Jesus fruits. Actually, <laughs> so oh, my bad. <laughs> How many God Usopp fruits were there? <laughs> right. Uh, there, I think there weren't actually there... any God oh, Usopp fruits. Oh, okay. All right. I, I'm kind of proud <laughs> of you guys <laughs> now. There right, was then. a. That's a good segue into our number ten, though. So the yep. number ten is actually a joke entry. This was the Hito Hito no Mi Mythical Zone model teching fruit, and <laughs> I just think this is the funniest thing. It says the current user is Matthew Crawford. Aha! <laughs> so, <laughs> Hi guys. It's been used since two thousand and nine, and just. The thing I really appreciated about this one was all the different techniques, as he described them, the T-E-K techniques. <laughs> they, uh, I, I, was, cringe. I was laughing my ass off reading through this because I'm like, oh man, these God, people these so people funny. pulled a deep dive. They knew all this <laughs> stuff. It was like the tech cringe can make anybody cringe with a corny joke. No yes. amount of armament hockey can block it. Uh, the tech <laughs> create content uh, is first shown off in chapter one of the medieval game review series, which is just like so crazy to me <laughs> that they're pulling back through your content to do this. Yep. We've got um, the, the teching tumble in which you do an amazing flip that leaves the viewer speechless. It's used in conjunction with the tech cringe. 
You've got law teching, which is also funny, calling back to your cosplay, where the user subconsciously modifies their own lineage factor and transforms into law teching. Yep, I got that right here. <laughs> He's got it ready to go. It's right yep. here. <laughs> and uh, his awakening power is he becomes a much higher level of tech cringe. So with this ability, the user is able to make the viewer cringe so hard they are rendered motionless, forcing them to watch endless teching videos for a uh, full day. Oh, God. That's hor That's torture he right there. continues the cycle of tech cringe further paradise. <laughs> oh, God. I wouldn't want to watch myself for a day. That's, the that's a fate worse than hell right there. Hey, I don't, I don't know about that. Some of your videos are great to binge. I like listening to them. They're great. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, thank so, you. So uh, the, weakness, the weakness of this devil fruit was uh, you will always have haters that will downvate your videos oh, and leave rude comments. Not even the hockey can affect those people. Yeah, that, that's, that's, the, that's a law of YouTube right there. Yeah. The thing is, though, it's not listed under your techniques, but this is something you have the ability to do is coming with this teching model fruit. What you can actually do is go into the live chat and ban people for saying trolly things. So actually you do have power over them. I do. You just can't op completely obliterate them from existence. No, I don't. I only, I only ban, there's a rule. I ban when you spam. That's when I ban. Exactly. Okay. Like you I ban? honestly, yeah. I honestly don't care if you say like teching, you're an idiot, blah, 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 whatever. As long as you don't take up an entire block of text because there's other exactly. people that are trying to talk. But exactly. yeah, I got, a, I got a kick out of this one. This was pretty good. Um, so thank you. Also, the user was uh, by the name of Beppo sent this yes. to me. Yes, Beppo uh, sent, sent this to. Uh, yeah. So thank you, Roger, for selecting this one. Also, my bounty is four point two four one nine nine three billion berries. So, which is coincidentally also his credit card number. It is actually my. <laughs> it is my birthday, Nux. My credit card number is over nine thousand. Um, but. Um, <laughs> Which it is. So in case you were like, there oh, I thought his credit card number was zero 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 one. Um, but yeah, that more of a joke entry. But I think it fits for the like the number ten spot gives us kind of. Oh like, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we have we have. That's why I wanted to keep that one at number ten. So the actual number nine that's listed. So basically, yeah. teching everything after this is in order. Yes. Um, the way that it's written, but the number nine was we fit right. in. And I don't have <laughs> I don't have an image for number nine, so I'm just going to use the Mara Mara no me as a placeholder. But go ahead and tell go. them what. Go to the hem and tell them what number nine is. So the number nine was submitted by a guy named King, and his idea was the human-human fruit model Frankenstein. So it was a mythical zone, and the user is able to become Frankenstein, three base forms. Professor, which is a hybrid form, Monster, which is his beast form, and then it says the Professor is the intelligence side, uh, giving the user super intelligence, while the Monster form is the physical side. Uh, the user in the Monster form can use electricity in both forms, uh, but in the Monster form it's more powerful, and the physical appearance in Professor form uh, only grows them to two feet. So he basically, he becomes like a midget in his professor form. Ah. He becomes like a two foot high little professor with a giant metal gear on his head. <laughs> and this guy alluded to uh, Professor Stein from Soul Eater. I'm yes. not familiar with yeah, Soul yeah, Eater, yeah. but that's what he's referring character. to. Yeah, very cool. Uh, the abilities in the professor form is that his reaction time is like Spider-Man. He's got super speed as fast as a racing car and can shoot electricity from his hands from his experiments. So basically he has like static electricity through touching things and is able to shoot people with it, but they can actually control it in his beast Frankenstein form. Which Frankenstein, is neat. yeah, like electricity based. It kind of reminds me of, uh, ever watch Ben 10, that Ben Victor, he has like an alien he could transform kind of into Frankenstein. Yeah, so a that, was, that reminded me of that a little bit. But yeah, Frankenstein is cool. Um, if you've ever in seen In fact, the Frankenstein actually is in an anime. That's right. Frankenstein was summoned as Berserker in Fate Apocrypha. I've never there seen that. Go. Yeah. <laughs> and believe it or not, of course it was a little lolly girl with this massive Of hammer course it was. <laughs> Naturally it would be, it would be. All right. But, so, uh, uh all one the of other things that was interesting about this one though was yeah. with the with the monster, he basically said that the monster form would have super strength, skin tough like Luke Cage, and he didn't have physical <laughs> contact with electricity, which I think is interesting. But electricity is also um his weakness. So basically, his weakness is using too much electricity, and then yeah. it can actually fry his brain and pass out from it. So if he overloads himself, or he's up against somebody like Enaru, that can you know really shock him with like a ten million volt attack or something, that will actually cause him to malfunction, which I think is kind of neat. I also love this because like when I did this contest, I'm like, you know, you can still use electricity based fruits. They can't be the same as like Enaru's though. So you have to come up with like a different way to spin it, and uh, this is a very clever way I think to spin it. You know? Yeah, absolutely. All right. So that was that was the number nine. Just okay. To throw that 
So okay, so else is in order. all yeah, the yeah, other yeah. ones are numbered perfectly. So number eight would be the cat one then? So actually, no. So it would be number nine. So the number nine listed in the document would be number eight. And so everything just moves up one slot. So, oh, oh, okay, okay, gotcha, yeah, gotcha, see, gotcha. Because I think the one we took out was in fourth. Okay. And so it goes like nine, eight, seven, six, five, so and the fourth is the So yeah. it's the cross one then. Exactly. Okay. So this is the cross cross hybrid fruit. Boom, there we um, go. What was the user's name on this one? Uh, that, that was uh, Emo Kid, yes. <laughs> emo Kid, all right. Yes. So the really cool thing about this devil fruit is it allows the user to transform into hybrids of two different animals. So at first I was like, this seems interesting. Why would this be in the mythical zone category? Yeah. Wouldn't this be like a normal zone? Well, as we get through reading this, you'll understand why this is in the mythical category. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the awakening is that users can transform into more than two animals and hybrids gain its greater strength, speed and stamina. And the strength of the user, it gains the unique strength of the animals that it transforms into. So basically, if you make yourself a rhino cheetah hybrid, yeah. you'll have great speed, great defense, and great endurance. So if you know the right animals to cross over with, you can basically make up for your weaknesses. Exactly, like a chimera. And also, it's like you, you think of all the different mythical creatures that have existed in history. Most of them are honestly taking animal traits and combining them with other animals. Boom, you get a mythical creature. Exactly. And I'm glad you brought up the chimera thing because chimera was one of the most popular entries in the mythical zone category. Yeah. So many people were mentioning chimera. And this was my choice of the quote-unquote chimera entries because it wasn't just a stereotypical chimera. They really went out of their way, not just with the design of the document, but with the design of the devil fruit as well, where yeah. it's a hybrid fruit with a banana stuck to a melon with little berries hanging off of it. I just thought that, that was a really interesting design for the fruit. And uh, as we get into the weaknesses, this is yes. actually another thing that kind of sold me on it because a lot of the chimera entries really didn't list a lot of interesting weaknesses. It was mostly just like, Oh, you can combine these different animals and you become super powerful. There you go. But this one mentions that hybrids do not have a human hybrid form because you could become a hybrid of three different animals. Yes. But the user can use humans as one of the hybrids and use it like a regular zone when he's not awakened. So say, for example, you want to mix like a human with a jaguar. You could do that. Yeah. But you can't be half human, half jaguar, half praying mantis. R right. Yeah, yeah. You can't be too much. Right. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. Um, switching is not ideal amidst battle because it uses up a lot of stamina. So basically you need to go in knowing what animals you want to mix up when you're in a battle. Yeah. Um, Cross-species compatibility is needed for effectiveness of the ability. So basically warm and cold-blooded animals aren't compatible. Neither are land and water-based animals. So you yeah. can't do like a dolphin and a rhino. Right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, and the exception is default human hybrid forms, which are compatible with everything. So basically... It's in your favor to be a human mixed with another animal because you won't have any weakness. Unless, of course, there is like a massive weakness with that animal that then you could exactly. hybrid with another animal and then you'd end up having to give up your humanity to use it, which is very cool. Someone said so now it's, yeah, people in the chat are saying it's balanced now. Right, yeah. exactly. Someone <laughs> said in the chat, it was like, that sounds like nightmare fuel. I'm like, you could do that. Think, take a spider and a monkey and become this demon spider monkey and just scare the crap out of your <laughs> opponent. There you go. Um, exactly. <laughs> hash bags from Spy Kids too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it is uh, a lot like Sun Eater's Devil Fruit. I, yes, Sun Eater's. Devil Fruit. Sun Eater's. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I love yeah. Sun Eater. I, I love that ability to eat things and too. turn it in. It's such a clever ability. Um, yeah. But yeah, this person obviously uh, e emo kid went all out with the, uh, the the design of the Devil Fruit and also the layout of the uh, a lot of a lot of the mythical entries are in like a form of like an ancient textbook because mythical. Yeah. Um, yeah. So there's a lot like that, and so yes, this is the winner of the Chimera subcategory. So there right. you go. Right. <laughs> yeah, I, I did that a lot too with Paramecia. Like there were a lot of fruits that were like okay, like um, there's a music based one. There were so many music based um oh, I Paramec Paramecia ones like can control sound. And so uh, on, like not the same as a poos, but a little different. Um, and so I picked like my favorite out of that subclass. So yeah. All right. So next would be the cat one, right? Yes. So this one was really cool. At first I was like, all right, this is a lucky cat fruit. That's cool. I like the design of the devil fruit. It's got these neat, neat little flaps on it. Kind of looks like, uh, exactly. Yeah. Uh, it's the meow meow no me model Maneki Neko. It's a mythical zone fruit that allows the user to transform into a Maneki Neko cat hybrid and a full Maneki Neko at will, making the user a Maneki Neko cat human. So a lucky cat, basically. And as we're going through the strengths of this, there's a lot of cool, you know, hybrid, full cat forms who possess the abilities of cats. 
the thing's very similar to, you know, something we'd see with like Lucci's double fruit. However, the fruit's major strength is that its user gains nine souls and nine different abilities to Jeez. build on the idea that cats have nine lives. Jesus. So these nine souls can be used simultaneously or separated into nine bodies, and each body has its own unique ability. And it goes through each of the different abilities. One is for good luck. One is for uh, enhanced movement, hearing, and sight. Another one increases the hardness and the size of the body. One absorbs energies of the opponent. Another one allows the fruit to uh, grow extra hands. And then the sixth ability uh -huh. is you can move objects on the condition they are placed near something else and you touch it before. Seven is shifting, eight is hypnosis, and nine is manufacturing imaginary objects and illusions in the form of monsters or the form of humans and inanimate yeah. objects. So, by the way, it should be mentioned at this point, we didn't say there was no rule against having OP as hell abilities. Oh, yeah. Uh, so yeah. Long as, that, so was long kinda, as that was kind of that was kind of part of the fun with this, you know? Um, exactly, exactly. But I love this one. I love the, the drawing of it, too, and the little... The, that that kind of looks like... um. Oh, I've seen that kind of fruit before. I think it was in a fan art of something before. But still, uh, yeah, pretty cool design. Yeah. And I appreciated the fact, because this this is one of the few that we actually put in that yeah. went over the word count. Um, I appreciated the fact that he went out of his way oh, to wait. clarify all the other weaknesses. So okay. every weakness of this, like literally, there's just a whole page dedicated to weaknesses. Of oh, this double okay, fruit, I get so it. So it's not super OP. So this was the only reason why I was like, I'll allow this one to go through, okay. even though obviously it's, it's above the word limit. I, so, didn't, I didn't even notice that, have... actually. <laughs> oh, so, well, um, yeah. All capacities could be used simultaneously is one of the weaknesses. You'd think that'd be a strength, but he explains that you can only do this for 15 minutes. So basically, you can only use all of the different soul powers for 15 minutes. And beyond that, you cannot use them anymore. They need to be separated into nine different bodies. And when you separate the nine souls into nine different bodies, you can only use each separate soul or each separate body for 30 minutes. Okay. And then when you're separated into another body, that soul only has one ninth of the strength of the overall power of the devil fruit. So again, went out of his way to clarify that this is not OP, um, but I just love I, the I idea. I like that. Of I like this idea. But I really didn't notice it went over the word count. Oh yeah, it, oh it definitely. Oh, that's did. not. Yeah, yeah. Okay. This was the last one that did. Yeah, yeah. Right, right. But uh, yeah, that's not good. <laughs> okay. No, it it went so, wait, specifically with the uh, with the weaknesses. Yeah, I know, but still, that's yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, I like it, um, and I'm glad it, it's obviously not one that won a prize. No, but, exactly. I, I I wanted to put it underneath. I, I know. So I, like it. I like it. I like it. I like it, Roger. Yeah, yeah. I I do. Uh, what I think I'm going to do, though, is I am going to go back, and I think I might pick another one for the eighth spot, just because that's, you know... Nice, yeah, nice, just, nice, nice. I, can, I could do a well, video for that later, but I really do like the design of this. I do. I was going to say, if you actually need one, I have uh, an honorable mention already waiting, so... <laughs> oh, okay. You, do you want to pull, pull that one up, then? Oh, sure. We okay. can pull it up. Yeah, I'll yeah, pull it yeah, up. Yeah. Well, let's actually... Let's go through all the other entries first. Yeah, let's go through that, and then we can maybe... I, I'm okay with making it a, like, honorable mention ability, but, you know... Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I forgot to look at the word count on this one, I guess. But, oh, yeah. yeah. So the number seven... Yeah, let's go is with... Is Swarm Whoa, mythical. hold up, hold up. You... Hold on. You are, like, really... Whoa. <laughs> all right. Okay. That was... Okay, that's the cross one. There's the... Swarm. Okay, and this is 293. Yeah, so they were good on this one. All yes. right, cool, cool, cool. All right, go ahead. Go ahead with the swarm. Yeah. So this one is the Bug Bug No Me model swarm. So basically, this devil fruit is easily identified by the bugs that fly around it. It can transform the user's body into thousands of little flying insects known as gnats. These insects can fly extremely fast, allowing the user to transform his body to avoid attacks like a Loki user. With observation hockey, it's possible to manipulate the body structure and to dodge hockey-imbued attacks such as blunt objects, slashes, or even long-range ones. The one way to neutralize the fruit's evasiveness is to wet the user. So already, you know, devil fruits are weak to water, but basically insects with weak, wet wings won't be able to fly properly and therefore won't be able to dodge the attacks. It also says that insects can bite the enemies if they come into contact, and if a great number of them flap their wings at the same time, it will create a gust of wind strong enough to push people back. So really, lots of cool, unique ide ideas here with uh, hockey-imbued attacks yeah. with thousands of these little bugs. Very interesting. And the other one is that the user is able to fly 
and can use the insects for surveillance and reconnaissance. So we already saw reconnaissance. This kind of a little bit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like so that. could it see through the eyes of like these millions of little bugs? Exactly. Oh my god, so, that's so freaky. Oh my god. That reminds <laughs> me of um there was uh when I did the Quincy contest for Bleach, there was a character that could turn into bugs and have like an ability similar to that. That's cool. Yeah. And the really cool thing about this, it reminded me a lot of the uh, the raven fruit that's still unnamed within the Revolutionary Army. He has like a, Karasu has like that crow crow fruit, right? Yes, yes. Come in, swarms of crow, or murders of crows, I should say. Murders, yes, yes. Right. But uh, it reminded me a lot of that, but only with tiny little bugs. And I think the reason this was entered in the mythical zone category was due to the fact of, um, you know, if you look at all of the different plagues that were put upon the land, in the olden days, oh, I'm yes. glad you're bringing up the devil fruit. Yeah, 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 yeah. One of them was obviously the swarms of locusts. And so this is sort of based around the idea yeah. of the locust swarms. Mm. Very cool. Uh, and Very yeah, as you can see, the devil fruit already has gnats flying around it, which I think is kind of interesting. And if you zoom in, it to me, it seemed like the gnats were basically breaking off of the fruit itself. So it's like a rotten fruit surrounded oh, by flies not sure times, which is not sure neat. why you would want to eat that but it's like you find out well, like oh no that's the that's <laughs> the swarm fruit we can eat it like oh god you're just eating a rotten fruit like that's disgusting you know exactly people running around the world eating every rotten fruit thinking this might be the one they need oh, actually man. really like this idea yeah i do i would have i don't know i would have considered it more of a regular zone not gonna lie but it's a really cool yeah. Oh, it's super it's, cool. It's a yeah. little different, but, you know, Karasu's is a, I think, well, we actually don't know what Karasu's is. It wasn't clarified I, what type it is. It's a yeah, little. Yeah, we actually don't know yet. Yeah, it's weird because he doesn't just turn into a crow. He turns into a flock of crows, or he can become a flock of crows. You know? Itachi, Itachi know me. Honestly, it might be something like that. I don't know. It might be, it might be a paramecia for all we know. I don't know what the hell it is um, because it's it works different than any other zone we've seen um yep. all right so uh let's see here going on now to number six this is the one i can't oh by the way uh number eight was uh momen sent that in and number seven was a, right. a fellow by the name of pedro wanted to mention yep. your names uh and number six coming up next this is a pdf so let me pull this up this is yep. the one i can't pronounce but it's the zozonomi model uh, i think it's ariavatha I Ar think Ariavatha. All right, let's right. let's go with Ariavatha then. So what... I love the design of this devil fruit. First off, I like all the little miniature melons falling off of it. And we were talking earlier in the stream about the different water abilities that were brought up and how we all got different devil fruit ideas with water, you know, as part of the idea and part of the concept. But this idea is really neat. So this allows the user to transform into the mythical elephant king, Ooh. a five-headed, ten-tusked, pure white elephant, much larger and stronger than a regular elephant. And I like that this guy went out of his way to source what he's referencing. So on the very bottom, you can see there's like footnotes. Yeah. And it uh, mentions that Aryavatha uh, is a priest from popular Southern Indian Hinduism. He cites his so, sources. That's nice. He cites his sources. Yes. Very nice. It says here the strength of the fruit is flight. You are made of water vapor, which like creates Dumbo. a low electric defense. Like Dumbo. <laughs> it, it is honestly, I not was like about Dumbo, to say that. Like it's basically. <laughs> <laughs> he clarifies on the thing. He says it's not like Dumbo. <laughs> nah, it's like Dumbo. If you needed to clarify, then I clearly wasn't that far off. <laughs> right. um, you're made of water vapor, so you can release torrents of water from the body. Uh, those who are skilled and smart enough can also learn to manipulate the weather, oh, which is pretty OP. Uh, multiple heads offer enhanced senses, coordination, and defense against hypnotism and certain other powers. Ooh. And a headshot, quote unquote, requires hitting all five which I think is kind of neat. So basically you can hone in each of your different abilities. And when you are able to actually unleash all five at once, you do this cool headshot attack, which is kind of neat. Um, the user can also reach a monster point where they wouldn't go berserk. So I thought this was also really cool. That well, so, yes, yeah, so, Chopper's so, not the only one. Yeah, so can Chopper. So that's fair. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. And uh, basically the users will remember past experiences because an elephant can never forget. I get so it. Kind of neat. Yeah. Uh, so this is basically the cooler version of Old Maid. Yeah, kind a little of. Bit. A little, or, bit. Uh, <laughs> a people, little people, bit. People are saying it's also similar to Weather Report from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, but I've never gotten to, I haven't gotten to that point yet. So okay. Yeah. 
Uh, so the weaknesses of this fruit is that each head can be damaged individually, and even if such attacks are not as effective as they would be otherwise, having five heads also means directed attacks therein. So sonic light flashes can all be extremely effective because you could basically blind the other heads to go in and attack the person. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, another thing mentions that the Ori Orinomi users can cage the pockets of vapor. So users can escape, but those captured parts are severed and must slowly be regenerated over time. And uh, Sui Sui no Mi users can swim freely within the vaporous body. So basically, Senior Pink has an advantage against this devil fruit. <laughs> Senior Pink is one of the greatest and most overpowered enemy characters. He has an immunity to a lot of devil fruits and a cyborg. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. He does. He does. Uh, there's also an unpredictability that comes with this devil fruit. So when the user dies, they explode into a maelstrom of water and seven days of worldwide rain. So not only do you have <laughs> awesome world water vapor abilities, but if you die as your fruit is being reincarnated, oh my God. it causes seven days of worldwide That's rain. incredibly overpowered, but I love it. I love <laughs> I that. Love Just, <laughs> and then That's people super. get flooded and stuff. Oh, God. Uh And then some. I, he used up the rest of his word count to basically talk about um, other specific abilities that would be hindered by this one. So like, if you have the book book power of Mont Dora, your books will erode. Um, you can't fully ring out people if you have Suru's ability, because everything oh. would always be wet. Right, right. Um, the Gocha Gocha no Mi users can stack heads and tusks together. And uh, this also, I think, would go along with some of the other abilities that we brought up earlier that can combine things. Yeah. They would have a natural um, heads up on yeah, this. Yeah, because the, cool. the Gocha Gocha one, that's the fusion one that the uh, right. that the deck uplets have. That was just revealed. Okay, exactly. cool, cool. Exactly. All right. Which, yeah, it was very strange that that wasn't revealed in the canon of the manga. Yeah. They did that in SBS and then in the anime. I'll so. be honest with you. I completely... Oh, no, you see you see the creature they turn into in the manga, but yeah. it, they don't actually you show... Don't see the trash I, I honestly, I completely skipped over it when I was reading that chapter. I didn't even notice it was happening. So, yeah, yeah. it was kind of yeah. weird. But anyway, yeah, so that's, uh, that is the Oriavata, I think. Yep, from called. Velocity was the guy's name. Velocity, yep. okay. Yep. So now... So that on. brings us to number four, actually. It's yeah. listed at number five, but it's number four. Uh, right, that's... This was oh, is that the a mummy? super interesting idea. This is the mummy. Okay. Yeah. So right. this is the Hito Hito no Mi model mummy fruit. And the user is able to obtain numerous bandages surrounding them. They can control these bandages at will, like extra appendages, and the bands can move at extreme speeds. So think of it kind of like um, eraser heads scarves. Yeah, like the like the, restra the restraining cloth. Yeah, yeah. And during uh, your segment, we were talking about the zones and the tentacles. Basically, this is the mythical zone version of like a tentacle fruit, right? So it's you're able to uh, control these different bandages at your own will and whip them around like tentacles. So they're extremely tough and can't be broken through normal physical means. If you imbue them with armament hockey, they're going to become even more powerful. And not only do they work as a great defense, you can imbue them with armament hockey to do some real offensive damage. So it would boost the uh, striking power of each of the bandages. And I like that he did this little, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, little if image. If you ever have sure. diarrhea and you forget the toilet paper, you're covered. You're there set. There you go. <laughs> That reason I'm, alone. I, I'm glad it doesn't. It, it, it doesn't specify. It doesn't specify if it turns you into a corpse. It's just you know you're a mummy now. You have bands you can mess with, right? Um, yeah. So that's pretty cool. I like just the the different yeah. um you know old school monsters being represented here, like the Frankenstein and the mummy. Yeah. yeah. The the winner of the mythical zone category was Dracula. No, it wasn't. But. <laughs> Um, it wasn't. You are. No one's gonna guess the winner of the mythical zone category. No, the I'm mythical zone. Right the uh... mi well, okay, we were we we're effing again. Hold on. Oh, we're we're dead. Yeah, slightly. Oh no! What happened? Now I don't know. We're dropping some frames again. Uh, I can. Internet guy, crank harder. Damn no, it. crank. He's literally working at a crank right now. Just okay. Come on, we can get it back up. We can get it back up. Um, if if he can't get it back up, we could just keep going. It's fine. I keep... think we're back. Actually, uh, we should be okay. It... Well, on my end, it's still telling me we're dropping. Well, wait. I think we might have maintained some kind of equilibrium here. I was going to say, because I see it right now. Okay. I think oh. we should be good for now. Cool. Okay. Yeah, everyone's so, saying it's back. Excellent. It's alive. All right. Good. Good. Okay. Excellent. So, uh, again, the strengths are amazing defenses. You can regain your energy and stamina from the curse. But the weaknesses are that the bands are easily damaged and destroyed by fire or heat-based attacks. 
and they'll basically burn up the bandages. And armament hockey improves this, uh, but you're still weak to fire and strong attacks like the King Kong gun. Right. Uh, Logia users are also Im immune to the bandage curse, mm. and uh, the user in mummy mode is slower than normal. Ah, okay, makes sense because uh, you're. Yeah. yeah, I like that. Yeah, Just... so there's some pretty good weaknesses with this one, but yeah. ultimately this is. This almost works like a paramecia with the bandages, yeah. but it sort of adds the mummy's curse and, and the ability that like, if you're already wrapped up in the bandages that you can't really move. Yeah. Um, so it's understandable why it was in the mythical zone category. Yeah. It's like actually taking the whole, um, you know, um, I like that one fantasy element of the mummies. All right. So now we're on four, right? And oh, by the Top way, three. No, yeah. Number five, by the way, was sent to us by James. Yep. So, James. Number four was sent to us by James. That was number four. Oh, did I miss? Oh, that was number four. Okay, so number three is right. uh, Matt, right. some guy named Matt, which is a crappy, is... crappy name. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, go right ahead. This is a this is an, an interesting one. Yeah. So this is a super interesting one. This is a mythical zone. This was sent in again by Matt. The Nurakabe. So the Yokai Yokai no Mi model Nurakabe. It's extremely durable. You're immovable. Um, your weakness is that you have sensitive feet and you can only move forward if in your human form and backwards in your other form. So you can only go in one direction. It is so your... cool. Very cool. <laughs> I know. Great idea. Like, you see, this is what you are in every single old Mario game. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Just a block. Yep. <laughs> you just move forward. I can become a video game character for reals. So you can extend your body uh, and basically use that to go in one direction, but you must aim your side towards the, the direction as a human. Yes. So basically when you're in your human form, you direct where to go and then you extend in your hybrid form. So this is actually kind of a pretty bad power. If you it's don't not know how great, to use but it. it's hilarious. It's I love it. I can so see it. I exactly. Would, if you I know could, how to use it, I then it becomes good. I could see this character in like a gag manga, like Bo 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 or something like totally, that. You know? Totally. Yeah, it's like a. I love that the devil fruit's like a little square watermelon. I thought that was kind of neat. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's cute. And then I appreciated that he went out of his way to draw all these little versions of the powers of the fruit as opposed to just writing them down. Yeah. So you can see um, the one where he's invisible. Hey, but if technically a picture is worth a thousand words, doesn't that right. go over the word count? Okay. Damn it! Well, you know what? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if that's all right. the case, we got to go through all these. Episodes. Yeah, we got to revamp. Right. Only, only the logias can work. That's right. There are no that's pictures right. for like you know. Here's water. a here's a picture of the cloud fruit. It's a cloud. <laughs> it's a cloud. <laughs> But I do love that basically oh, yeah. he showed that you could extend to great lengths, either vertically or horizontally. Yep. Um, you can extend horizontally for fast travel. So you can see basically in his human form, if he's able to use the abilities of the transformed form, so his hybrid form, basically, he can push himself like in one direction and then redirect it by only transforming half of his body. Yeah, I've never, heard, kind of I've never heard of the Nurikabe before, so... Yeah. So we can, do a, now. we can do a quick. But I love one. this one. This one's great. I love yeah. the awakened form. That's great. Check the awakened form. <laughs> and uh, for anybody who is unfamiliar with what the Nurikabe is, basically yes. it is a yokai or a spirit from Japanese culture. It translates to plaster wall, and it is said to manifest as an invisible wall or something that impedes and misdirects travelers walking at night. So this is actually based on a Japanese yokai, and so okay. if we were going to see it. More likely than not, we would probably see it during the Wano Country arc. Yeah, I've never, mm. I've, I've heard a lot of yokai. I've never heard of this. They certainly never made this a like a character to fight against in Persona or anything no. like that. No, it's a, it's a very <laughs> lesser known kind of yokai. Um, yeah. But okay, that's number three. Pretty cool. Until design. It's recognition here on the legendary stream of Tekken. There you go. I, I wonder there you if go. I wonder if that'll, that'll be the eighth generation of Pokemon if we'll get. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We'll Nurikabemon. Nurikabemon. Well, that's, that's a Digimon. Digi that's a Digimon. <laughs> <laughs> Nurikabemon digivolves to SpongeBob crossed with Treble. Super Nurikabemon. <laughs> also, I don't know if you guys have played Neo, but I'm pretty sure this is in Neo. No, I haven't played Neo. I know King of Lightning Neo. did. Yeah, yeah. It's a great game. Yeah, I haven't played that. Is that the movie based around Neo from The Matrix? I've never played it. Absolutely not. <laughs> so moving on. <laughs> All right, so the top two now. We got 
Oh, this is another one that is involving a drawing, and this is a yes. This is a cool so one. this this one is phenomenal. This was sent in by Baby. Yeah, the, the and te uh, the, the text is a little small, so I'll just have you read it, and I'll just show them the yeah. pictures. Yeah, I'll, I'll zoom in and I'll read it out loud. But yeah, basically, go my God, they drew a picture of me. <laughs> <laughs> that, that that is what Nux looks like in real life, guys. Yeah, yeah. So this was yeah. another one of those where we got a lot of entries for a fallen angel or angel fruits. Um. I think in total, there were 55 entries for Fallen Angels alone. So this is one of those where I, I thought, okay, I'm going to have to filter these out and then go through one by one and have it as its own separate category. And this one just truly took the cake in terms of how amazing the design of the fruit is, the look of the hybrid form, and also the way that he made this work within the world of One Piece. So... Reading this out really quick, it is basically like an art contest kind of entry, but yeah. he did a really good job of laying out the unique abilities of the fruit. So one of the unique abilities is that it can use mind control, and there are limits to the number of people that it control at one time, and it also depends on the victim's strength. So say, for example, you're up against Foxy. Uh, you'll be yeah. able to mind control them pretty easily, but if you're up against Del Flamingo, maybe not so much. Mm. Um, and the other unique ability is that you can use a black flame on one of your wings. So you can fly, Ooh. obviously, because you have wings, but one of your wings has black flame flowers, which I thought were kind of interesting. Black flames um, are, the, are the coolest color of flame, if we're being oh, honest. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. The weaknesses is that it is weak against moonlight, and it says, warning, do not use this against a Sulong. <laughs> oh, so, okay. Sulongs hey. will completely wreck you. Oh. And uh, the other weakness was that the user feels terrible uh, if hurt and their feathers are pulled from their body. So oh, God. Wing, yeah, so say, for example, one of your wings um, is turned into black flame, but the other one is just a standard wing and you're flying. If someone gets a hold of your wings, it ends up exacerbating um, the damage done to you if they actually get a hold of your good wing. So, yeah. Interesting stuff there. Um, yeah, a lot of people are saying this is the edge, edge fruit. The a edge, little bit, but you know fruit. what? I like it. I there's, like it. there's a lot of if you've ever read uh dante's inferno when you get to uh the last part paradise there's like nine different types of angels that exist so this is probably in there somewhere uh yeah, definitely yeah. uh but yeah this is number two and i think it's definitely worthy of that spot they even drew a little picture of the fruit here it's like a peel like yeah. an orange but it's a devil fruit underneath Very so neat. Pretty I also love, too, that you could see the uh, full moon drawing on the bottom. Yeah. Where he's doing sort of an Eneru face as Luffy's yanking on his other wing. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's cute. Oh, That's God. super cute. The fact that it's basically the Uchiha Uchiha fruit. Some people said that, hey, wait a second. You black fire and uh, oh, yeah. edgy. Yeah, yeah. This would be the kind of, uh, I could see this people like drawing this in middle school back in like 2008. I could see, I like a friend of mine drawing that, but it was a pretty cool design. The awakened form can only be mastered by killing your brother, stealing his eyeballs oh. and popping them in here. <laughs> Spoilers, Nux, I'm not up to that point. No, I don't care. <laughs> yeah. Yes. All right, so the number one spot for Mythical Zone is also I, something- I, Wait, real quick, hold on. Oh no, I, do you want to do the- I want to address something in the in the comments also real quick because I'm seeing a lot of people saying, "Oh, so you did have to draw to win?" No, 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 no you didn't. If it's you... all about originality of the devil. Fruit. No, no, no. But no, you if didn't. you have a drawing, naturally we're going to look at that and be like, "Wow, that's really cool," because yeah. you're allowing us to see what that power looks like in the world of One Piece. It's not a requirement. Yeah, you didn't we, need um, to draw. Yeah, there's uh for like mine. I have a few that like the Ebi Ebi Nomi, the shrimp one. The shrimp one was a devil fruit that was drawn. Uh, one of my ancient zones has a drawing. Even my number one pick for Paramecia has like a pencil sketch drawing. So yeah. I included the pictures if they sent us yeah. pictures. I said you but could send that, us pictures. To yeah. the people who are submitting going, well, this is not fair. It's salty. Well, maybe you should have drawn something then. That's, your, that's, I, that's what I, I'm saying to you. I don't know, man. <laughs> um, but okay. I'm pretty sure you have nothing to worry about here. I don't think a single zone that I picked actually had a picture. See, there you go. You mean there Logia. You <laughs> Emmy Logia, my bad. Yeah, you mean Logia? Um, uh, Logia. So like, all right, everyone, draw do you, clouds. Do you, do you want to do? Do you want to do the honorable mention one before you get to number one? Then yes, actually, okay. I will. So this is do the Cthulhu fruit. I have to find it real quick. All right, the, all right. Uh, yeah, you don't have to. Uh, I can pull up a picture of Cthulhu because he's a yeah, fun. I mean, he, he's a fun guy. Easy. Cthulhu is fun. Uh, yeah. Cthulhu. 
Uh, and there were, there were quite a few Cthulhu fruits, but the one that I really thought was interesting was uh, the one that designated the fruit as the cephalopod cephalopod no me ah, model I get it. Cthulhu. That's and cool. speaking of things, speaking of things that didn't have drawings, this one did not have a drawing. Good. Uh, so it said the uh, unique strength of the fruit is that when submerged in water, oh, uh, you can transform into a Cthulhu, and the ability to function is not lost immediately. So basically, you don't have any power in your Cthulhu form, but when you turn into a Cthulhu in the water, you might terrify people who are on the seven seas. You don't actually have any powers, which seems very One Piece esque. You like? Yeah, damn, I like that Cthulhu. Water. Yeah, because in uh, Lovecraft, basically, if you even look at Cthulhu, you you basically just go insane right there. Like you don't even. Exactly. He doesn't even have to know you're there. Just looking at him is enough to kill you. You know. Exactly. Uh, exactly. Uh, and the unique weakness is that you cannot transform into the Cthulhu on dry land. So you only turn into this thing when you fall <laughs> in the water. Honestly, I think this is my favorite mythical zone. I like so that. It's, That's it's great. A pretty great. It's a pretty great one, which is why I wanted to bring this up as an honorable mention. Okay. So, All before right. We're disqualifying the lucky cat. Fill this in in number eight. I'll fill this um, in with number eight. I think that fits a lot better because Cthulhu exactly. is, he's very mythical and he's horrifying. So. And, and again, a lot of people submitted Cthulhu entries. This was one that a lot of people had different yeah. ideas for. Mm -hmm. But what really made this one stand out was the fact that it, it was it felt goofy, right? It felt like something that could reasonably exist within the One Piece world. And I always think that's important to take into consideration when exactly. looking at these devil fruit contests or you know design contests. Yes, it's awesome to have a cool OP power, but you do want to make sense within the world of One Piece. So yeah. And that's the great I'm thing. I'm not about gonna lie. I I didn't know about this one. This is like the honorable mention one. This is my favorite we mentioned so far. It's useless on land. You can only turn it into in the water. But since you're in the water, you're powerless. But it's terrifying. <laughs> it's so good. So okay, you can't. It won't. It won't be able to beat the Uchiha Uchiha fruit. But you know, it's so funny. <laughs> you can't use it, but it works. <laughs> it's great. Yeah. yeah. I love this one. Oh, and God. to clarify, by the way, the person who submitted this Cthulhu, because there's going to be a lot of people in chat, I'm sure, claiming that oh, was yeah. my idea. Yeah. Uh, to clarify, this was specifically Cody Sharer's Cthulhu fruit. Sweet. So, Cody Sharer, you're the one who came up with this. And I want to say congrats to you because uh, I think it is All really right. cool. Yeah, let's spit that at number eight instead. So, yeah, that's pretty yeah. damn sweet. I love, I love Cthulhu yep. getting some representation here. Okay, yeah, so now moving on to – wait, let me pull it up here. Okay, so this was, as I said, the first, the grand prize winner was from a mythical, was from the mythical category. Right. So that's why we had to bump them up. So this one is actually a PowerPoint. And I'm going to pull it up over here. All right, go ahead, Roger. And so the, the amazing thing about this one, before we actually get into talking about it, this yeah. was one of the few that we debated in our private call before this started yeah. about taking the grand prize. Yeah. Because of the originality of the idea behind this devil fruit. You guys now, are you guys are gonna like this one. It's pretty You're in for a treat on this yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. So for and he did a PowerPoint, which is very interesting, something different too. Right. Um Want me to and go it's three hundred words exactly. Yeah, by he the even way. specified. Exactly three hundred words. Okay. So basically the idea behind this is it is the devil, devil fruit. Now we've seen, <laughs> we've seen Oni fruits. We've seen people talking about, you know, demon fruits, but this is the Hito Hito no Mi model devil. You can see the design of the devil fruit with the cool little horn sticking out of it. But the design is not what got number one for this category. It is the idea behind the fruit. So basically he explained that he wanted to create a devil fruit that was a more interesting character rather than a cool fighter. So this yeah. was less about combat potential and more about the idea behind um, a devil being represented in the One Piece world. Yes. So this devil zone fruit allows its user to create a magical contract that has the power to grant almost any wish based on the details written on it. The effect of the wish can only occur once the contract has been redacted by the user in his devil hybrid form and is then signed by the recipient. So the power of the fruit is not like you turn into the devil and then like, I burn the entire world immediately. Um, exactly. No, it's more about the, like, uh, the function of making contracts with people and how that relationship works. Exactly. And he specifically listed, because obviously this seems pretty powerful if you can grant wishes, six 
weaknesses and limitations to this devil fruit. Yes. One is equivalent exchange. The ah. user or recipient must let go of something he holds dear or offer something that would benefit the devil as much as his wish would benefit him. So basically it is the soul stone limitation, right? You got to throw or, Gamora off the cliff to get the soul stone. Or so. the or the full metal alchemist uh, you know, requirement. That's what I was thinking yeah, 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 that was the first exactly. thing I thought of. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, two, number two, the devil cannot create a contract for himself. So, so we can't just wish for infinite wishes and write contracts for himself. He can only do this for other people. Yeah. Uh, but this is obviously very interesting in terms of having a crew, right? Because yeah. then yeah. you can have contracts for each of your crew members and do really outrageous things. And like we mentioned when we were talking about this in the call, it's like th there are other, there are other devil fruits that function this way. There's Bello Betty's fruit, which doesn't seem to do anything for her. It just seems to empower people around her. That's how it works. So yeah. Exactly. yeah. Okay, uh, the sure. other limitations, Yes. you can only have three wishes per person you write a contract for. One cannot wish for someone's death and one cannot wish for more wishes. And so, then yeah. finally, the devil cannot grant another devil fruit user the ability to swim or another devil fruit power. Because of course, in the world of One Piece, that would be almost everybody's number one wish. Well, I want to travel in water. Yeah, yeah you, can't, you can't cheat. It's like you can't go yeah. beyond the power of the devil fruit by asking for immunity to the devil fruit weakness. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. So. And outside of these limitations, the only real weakness of the fruit is pure wit. So if the recipient can outsmart the devil by finding a loophole in the contract and end up on the winning side of the deal. So if you're someone like Doflamingo, you might do okay against this guy. But if you're somebody like Luffy, who just is going in and trying to punch, you may end up losing. Yeah. Although, yeah. to be fair... The devil may think Luffy is smarter than he is. Exactly. So... <laughs> Stupid the devil. Mm. Yes, he can outstupid him for sure. It depends on who e it depends on who eats the fruit. Like if a real dumbass eats the fruit, like and he doesn't know how to properly make deals with people. Exactly. Then, yeah, that's not a good thing. Um, but exactly. I love this. Is that is that everything? Because I really like this one. Oh no! And then there's the devil here. Um, yeah, and so it basically says uh, he doesn't see the user of this fruit as a particularly prolific fighter. It's his way with words and intelligence that allows him to take advantage of the other characters and slowly but surely make his way up in the new world. So again, basically, he is he has a contract devil fruit power, yes. which allows him to make these magical contracts, and it really doesn't have anything to do with summoning like demons from hell or anything like right, that, yeah. which is what. 99% of the I, entries I, in this I can category. imagine there were probably a lot of like god god fruit you become god and you could just do whatever you want like okay that's yeah right. um but I like this Except one go in water that's just a level above you know yeah you can't right. go into water that's just that's that's the that's that one hurdle that cannot be breached um yeah. But okay, so just to clarify a few things. Number one, this is, I saw a few people saying, is this the winner then? No, this is just number one in the mythical category. So this person will receive uh, the $50 prize as well as yep. the one before this, they'll receive the 20. And uh, some people asked at the very beginning, we could send in PowerPoints. I'm like, yeah, there was no real rule for bidding you uh, the, the way that you would send me the entry. Um, I thought about making a rule like you can only send in Word documents, but then I started thinking, you know, not everybody's gonna have Word. So yeah, I, exactly. I, I, yeah, Access you, you could have sent it to me in an email. You could have done a document. You could have done a PowerPoint. You could have done a PDF. You could have done pretty much however you wanted to get to me as long as it was, you know, uh, you and know, to sent. clarify too, a lot of the entries were just text on an email yeah. that was then transferred into a document for the purposes of this. That's live what stream. I did. Yeah. 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 So exactly. there, there was yeah. one, honestly, somebody sent me an entry that's in my ancient zone category that was just written in notepad. And I just like, there you go. yeah, popped it right into word document. Cause notepad yeah. is, yeah. All right, so that is the mythical category, which took us about another 40 minutes. Right. <laughs> uh, oh, and we're lagging a little bit again, but I don't think it's that bad. We're up to 5,185 viewers, though. Sweet. Excellent. Look at that. I'm going to take a bite of my victory apple. Um, okay. <laughs> so next, we're going to be talking. We're going to go back to me then. And then I'll be talking about the ancient zone category. And then, Nux, it's up to you for Logia's... <laughs> And then we'll end out with Paramecia, and then we'll have yep. the grand prize winner after the uh, at that. Okay. So oh, Gia's a devil fruit that for the first half of One Piece was ridiculously overpowered, and for the second half, I love is that. Total garbage. I love it because it's like. By the way, yeah. This Enter is, hockey, and it flips everything on its head. Because imagine when Smoker was first introduced. It's like this guy's so broken. There's nothing Luffy can do to hit him. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and I don't like Smoker has the worst fruit ever. You know. Okay. So. Ancient zone category. 
I started off with, by the author's own admission, Aaron, uh, or maybe A.A. Ron. I uh, don't know how it's pronounced there. Um, this is basically the Magikarp of the Ancient Zone category. But I think that works because every category needs, like, a Magikarp. They need the one that's, like, derp, you know? Okay, so if you don't know what a dodo looks like, it's an extinct dumb bird that looks like this. <laughs> I'm sorry, it was probably a very intelligent bird. Um... <laughs> I guess not because it's extinct now, but whatever. Anyway, um, the dodo cannot fly, nor can it run fast. I'm pretty sure dodos were really stupid birds, <laughs> which is why... Uh, that's why they went extinct. <laughs> it cannot fly. They're really it can't friendly, run fast. flightless, slow birds. <laughs> it can't fly. It can't run fast. Um, and he's like, yeah, it's basically just the magic harp among the animals with that with, so it, it, the, the only strength you have though, and I love this is like, you can tell people you have an ancient zone and they'll like freak out like what, but it's a dodo. So it's like, yeah, I got an ancient zone <laughs> and you can maybe intimidate people just to like, you don't want to mess with me, man. And, uh. <laughs> So I included this just because it would be funny for someone to like unlock like okay I'm gonna show you my ancient zone powers and they turn to this freaking dumb bird and just this helpless thing that can't fight and can't do anything. Um but yeah, okay, Dodo. <laughs> Thank you, Aaron. Uh they had no predators. Well yeah, no one's gonna mess with this thing. Uh <laughs> I actually don't know how the Dodo went extinct, but I imagine it it was probably I, your I'm I'm telling you, it's because they're the easiest food ever. <laughs> I'm imagining I'm this. You. I'm imagining. I don't know if it exists at the same time as like the T-Rex, but I'm imagining this thing. <laughs> the ultimate face-off between the T-Rex and the dodo bird. I do wonder. I wonder if dodos were like gaining and survive or like chicken. I am curious. I don't know. Uh, Kids are overpowered. They would destroy you, the dodo you, bird. You never go full dodo. Perfect for someone on Buggy's crew. Yeah, that would be funny. Right. Oh, it would be hysterical. Yeah. Uh, we ate them all. Oh, did humans kill them? I don't know how long they've been around. But yes, if... hum humans killed them out. All right. They were too, oh, too easy to kill. I guess That's back it. in our, back like you know in our like a hundred thousand years ago. I guess you know cavemen had to eat something. So. <laughs> All right, then. Well, that's, number, that's the dodo. All right, so next up, we're moving on to number nine uh, ancient zone category from Jutaro. Yeah, I think their name was literally like Jutaro Jujo or something, just because Kujo. <laughs> Amoeba. Jutaro. Yes. Dio. Damn it, you do that well. Um, okay, the Amoeba Amoeba no me. The Amoeba fruit allows the user to turn into a single cell organism that has not no, no definite shape and that moves by means of pseudopodia. This is a form of locomotion that uh, like single celled organisms do where they can just like scrunch their bodies and like you, you've seen how like amoebas Arri, move and Arri, does it. Yeah, pretty much. Um, I don't beautiful. know if it's it, 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 beautiful. I don't know if it could <laughs> I don't know if it could stop time or anything or you know, it's like it's little amoeba that's like muda, 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 muda. Um but the hybrid form appearance it's like Dio, it's... not Jotaro. Oh. oh, I'm sorry. I was messing up. <laughs> how could you? Oh, how could I confuse Dio and Jotaro? It's not like they have the exact same stands or anything. Oh, wait. Oh. <laughs> Spoilers. <laughs> Check and mate, Nux. Check and mate. Oh. <laughs> okay. So you get to turn into a translucent human figure. <laughs> I don't know. Um, <laughs> you guys are crazy. <laughs> I'm trying to learn Japanese, but whenever the heat is on and people ask, like, oh, this is the time for me to show what I learned, I blank on everything. I'm like, shit! <laughs> um, then again, Jotaro is easier because he only has, like, four phrases that he alternates between. Uh, <laughs> One of the smartest characters ever. Okay. You guys watch JoJo's, by the way? I do. Of course, yeah. Hey, not complete, not completely caught up, but I'm up to part four, the very end of part four. Right. Oh, so you know yeah. Kira. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mikisa. Mikisa means blender. Boom. There's Japanese. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Flexing on us. Yeah. Okay. So, um, you get to turn into a translucent human figure with no fingers, no toes. You're just basically a blob. Um, you can fully utilize the locomotion to its fullest extent by sliding across the floor without moving your legs. The user can also encase food, objects, and people in its cell membrane to absorb its nutrients. So imagine like a giant, the blob, basically. It's the blob. Imagine the blob absorbing you, and you don't die right away. It slowly drains the energy out of you, and then you die. Um, and of course, the uh, natural weakness is ice, because you can't move very well, and it's frozen, because it's just a 
just an amoeba. But I thought that was neat. I was originally going to use the um. There's a Yu-Gi-Oh card name, just amoeba, and I was gonna use amoeba. That. Yeah, and it's like the worst <laughs> card ever. Oh my god, Nux! Is it's every like... card the worst card for you? I said, I said, like the worst. No, card it ever, is okay. No. Thousand eyes. Right, if you switch, is is that the one that if you switch control, then like the opponent loses like life points or something? Uh it might be that. Yeah. I, there's also giant germ, but it doesn't. It, it's also kind of a giant gooey. germ's a great card though. Eh. <laughs> it's so funny. You guys like look at everything like anime and manga. Like we were talking about the Soul Stone thing earlier, and you yeah. mentioned Full Metal. Like for me, you guys were mentioning the Amoeba card, and I'm thinking about like the Amoeba Boys from Powerpuff Girls. So that just oh goes my to god! Show the differences in growing up. <laughs> I completely. I I watch Powerpuff Girls. I'm not ashamed to admit oh, well, that. I love Powerpuff All right, Girls. There, yeah, me too. I know. I just I remember that. Well, I think there was one episode where they actually became a serious threat, and uh, they they were like inflecting the town with scurvy or something. So yeah, that was funny. Yeah. But uh, okay, the amoeba boy. What yeah. are you doing? <laughs> All right, what's next here? We got a blank page. So check out that blank page right there. Yeah. Uh, Seventh yeah. place, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> no, it would be um, eighth place is, okay, we got the Ryu Ryu no Mi. So I actually got a few of these people. Either sometimes they sent me a Dino Dino no Mi or they would send me the Ryu Ryu no Mi because I guess that's how Oda's doing it, the ancient version of the dragon fruit. So whichever, however, I accepted both. But this was sent by a user named Midori. Uh, which just means green in Japanese. Ah, flexing again. And you also got the model Ankylosaurus. Yeah. And so an Ankylosaurus, uh, just a quick drawing here of like a human Ankylosaurus hybrid, something along this line, giant spikes, club tail, uh, hard skin, that kind of stuff. Um, this was cool because there were so many, like, obviously they picked a lot of like ancient, like dinosaurs and stuff. And, you know, there's famous dinosaurs like Tyrannosaurus, Stegosaurus, Triceratops. But, you know, I have like this illustrated guide to dinosaurs here. You just open up any random page and there's probably a dinosaur you've never even heard of, but looks pretty damn cool. So there's like an infinite number In of facts. It's called the Ankylosaurus because if it whacks its tail at your ankle, <laughs> you're probably going to trip. So I tried to pick a lot of like ones that weren't like a t-rex fruit because you know i wanted to like let's let's give some other dinosaurs and, and pterosaurs some some spotlight so the ankylosaur is pretty beast uh an ancient zone type devil fruit turning the user into an armored ankylosaurus it'll make the user tough as nails and have a club-like tail at the cost of some speed the devil fruit is quite practical due to the thousand beast pirates and all of the zones emerging i feel queen the plague would fit this fruit perfectly now that we know queen's personality i kind of want something a little I bit more love queen yeah i kind of want something a little more dorkier for queen honestly <laughs> I don't know. Moto but, Moto no me. Yes. There the you moto, go. <laughs> moto Moto. Turns into it a giant. The giant ancient hippo. <laughs> that would be cool. Ancient <laughs> hippo. Um, yeah. Just imagine Queen turning into a tank like Dino in Cleaning House. I could see a Queen turning into a giant ball and just being like a wrecking ball for everybody. That would be cool. Because he's mm -hmm. already kind of like a balloon. Um, let's see. I could also see a headliner having this power. We've yet to see herbivore dinosaurs. Actually, that is true, yeah, because we've only seen uh, Allosaurus and Spinosaurus, and yeah. The user's belly will be weaker than their shell, but with uh, armament hockey, this won't really be a problem. The user will be slow but tanky. Okay, so yeah, pretty basic fruit, just turn into an ankylosaur, but I like the dinosaur, I like the design, so we went with that. Uh, real quick, real quick, I just I want to call something out in the chat. I've just up? been reading a lot of the responses. This is what's so funny. Up? What's up? The more Someone wrote, <laughs> we were talking about the amoeba fruit. Yeah. And somebody was like, guys, amoebas didn't exist. What are you talking about? Bro, amoeba is a type of bacteria. That is something that absolutely exists. I don't uh, know. Even if you don't yeah, want to say. Yeah, but you mentioned it, it's, it's, why is it in the ancient zones? Like, I didn't even think about that. But I why is it an ancient zone? I'm assuming the way I viewed it is because the first life of, on the earth was a single celled organism. Like that. Was, exactly. That's how I saw it too. Exactly. So I, I would assume I didn't, I didn't, I honestly, I guess didn't really think too hard about like, does what an amoeba, like the amoeba that exists right now is it, it did it have like a, like an ancestor that operated differently. <laughs> I didn't realize it. Cause I figured all single celled organisms are pretty much like the same. Cause they're very simple kind of organisms. Um, Except for some of them. Some of them are total bitches. Totally. Like those freaking single um, cell organisms. 
those freaking um those I'm trying to think of a single celled organism aside from them. I mean, uh, ribosomes. The ribosomes are like pro- <laughs> they're like protein. <laughs> they're like protein cells. I don't even know if those count, but whatever. Like those damn ribosomes, man. <laughs> Little protozoas. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's a single celled organism. If you want to swap out, like you could say, well. There were some kind of single-celled organisms that existed back then, so there you go. Exactly. Moving on to number seven, I have a um, PDF for this. Not a PDF, I have a Word document for this. This is the saber-toothed tiger. I was making oh, this. Yeah. I could I, I could honestly make, like, a Power Ranger thing with uh, all of the different, like, uh, ancient zones I got, <laughs> like a mammoth and a Tyrannosaurus Rex and everything, but I didn't. So this was sent to us by Tyler. Number seven. Uh, okay, so it's a... Sim- Simulodon, which is just the proper taxonomy for saber tooth tiger. Um, and he gave us, like, I also said, I mean, if you want to build a little bit of backstory for your character, I mean, there's a word limit, and it's uh, 265, but if you wanted to throw in some backstory, sure. So, you know, user Barton Evergreen, which I'm sure is the, you know, character in his fan fiction. Um, Simulodon <laughs> appears as a golden-colored pear. Oh, shit, I have a pear. Pear. Um... How we with... know what a pear looks like, Techie. Yes, we do. I have one. I might as well use it. I also have the dragon fruit, which I don't know if I showed the people the dragon fruit, but that's what a dragon fruit... This is like a legitimate devil fruit. This is the closest thing we're going to get to devil fruits in real life. But anyway. Um, okay. Gives the ability of a saber-toothed tiger over three forms. Human, hybrid, full transformation. In the human form, uh, offers some abilities such as heightened senses, so like cat-like instincts, cat-like re- reflexes, and things like that. Hybrid form shape is similar to other cat cat users like Rob Lucci. So if you know Rob Lucci, you know this fruit. Basically, just a more feral version of a leopard or a cheetah with longer claws and longer teeth. Um, the user completely changes into a saber toothed tiger, giant cat that can devour you in one bite and just shred you. So that's pretty much it. Uh, Black beast. Users with armament can coat fangs and claws, fur to pierce through steel and damage. I can imagine that with like the fur, like making the fur even like super hard and just like cutting through things that way. Predator mode, users with observation can heighten primal senses even further. And so some weaknesses are just the standard weaknesses. Uh, you have a mandatory carnivorous diet. Your increased aggression, thick fur can lead to overhaul, overheating in hotter climates, slower than other Neko users, and lower reasoning while in full transformation. And there's also an image, there's a picture of it too, which did not... Oh, there it is. So there's the pear, and there's just a drawing of it, which I thought looked pretty cool. And there's unfortunately, it. because of its teeth <laughs> that are constantly over its bottom lip, it can't... Speak more. I can't fight talk with this massive overbite, but rest assured, it's terrifying. Exactly. <laughs> so yeah, I this was the same thing with like the chimeras and stuff. It's just like I got a lot of saber tooth tigers, so I had to go through like, all right, let's go through all the saber tooth tigers and pick out the best, my favorite one. And so thank you, Tyler, for that one. All right, so moving on to number six. I think it's number six. Another no, this. Oh, this is a great one. All right. The Dragon Dragon Nomi ancient model Quetzalcoatlus. All right, so if you don't know what that is, which I'm sure is maybe a few of you, that is the Quetzalcoatlus. Okay, now I, it might change because we're always discovering new things about dinosaurs and things, but, well, this is a pterosaur, but right. this, according to my knowledge, is the largest flying animal to ever exist, period. This thing's wingspan was like 36-something feet across. It's just ridiculously huge it has to be more than that the beak was that might be per wing i don't know um but the thing is so huge that this thing could devour you in one bite so imagine like i don't know how big king is probably king is pretty big in one piece because of the size of it so it's probably as big as this thing if not bigger but this thing is just huge so this um, thing is the size of to to look at like comparisons online. It's the size of a Cessna 172 light aircraft, which yeah, is this, crazy. Yeah, that's evolution for you. Just like, oh, OK, we'll just make birds the size of planes. That'll make them be able to fly better. So, yeah, right. <laughs> it works. It's terrifying. Uh, and it's a pterosaur, of course, not a dinosaur, but still ancient dinosaur zones. The largest things to ever fly in the sky. They are, yeah, right here. With a wingspan of around 35 feet, weighing around 500 pounds, just seeing a Quetzalcoatlus in the sky coming at you with full speed is something that will paralyze you in fear. I can imagine, like, I can imagine you looking up in the sky and seeing just a little dot, and it just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger like and bigger. Coming coming until you. a plane is just, and then it just swallows you whole. And then it just, it keeps on flying like a pelican or something. Just, and just keeps on going. 
Um, this terrifying it... thing into something very cute. Oh, I gosh. commend you. I like pelicans. Uh, Paliper, Paliper. While in hybrid form, the user throws annoying <laughs> Pokemon in the whole Hoenn region. I, oh, I had, love Pelipper. I had man. a Pelipper. Wingulls are Wingulls are freaking it, it, annoying. Yes, there was so much surfing in Gen three, and there were Wingulls everywhere. Yeah, there was a little bit of water. There was a lot of like, water in Gen you know, three. They're the Ratatas of the sea. There was a lot of water in Gen three. I will give you that. There was. There it didn't. Was. It didn't bother. It didn't bother me that much when I first played uh, uh, Sapphire, but later on, I played it, and I'm like, yeah, there's a lot of water here. Well, it seemed worse in the remake. In like in Omega yeah. Alpha Sapphire, it seemed like there was too much. Whereas in the old games, just because of the way it was all laid out in the map, it felt fine. Although I do love the uh, the the feature they gave you in Alpha Sapphire, where you can hop on the back of Latios or Latias and like fly around the world in real time. That was pretty cool. Yeah. Um, oh yeah. But uh, yeah, that was cool. While in hybrid form, the user grows in size significantly. Uh, can use wings to move around, but uses its long neck and long beak to attack his enemies, ripping their bodies apart with incredible strength, using wind force to blow them away. Yeah, so this thing doesn't even have to attack you, like bite you. It could just flap its wings, and the wind pressure alone would just knock you down. So, yeah. Um, he can use his long wings to create strong winds. Uh, what's specific about the way they go airborne is because of the unique shape of their body. They would spring themselves in the air, use the wings to sustain themselves in the air. That's awesome. So it's just like they just boom they, they spring in the air they jump and then they just they're out they can be utilized in hybrid form to gain speed while on the ground weaknesses are in fact or we unlike unique weaknesses is the fact that even though they are huge they are still relatively light compared to other creatures of that size their bones are very thin and full of air pockets that's yeah they had to have that in order to stay in the air being able to damage either of their wings could significantly damage their movements and maneuverings so, the first time I heard about a Quetzalcoatlus, I was watching a documentary called uh, The Last Day of the Dinosaurs on History Channel. And it showed, like, what happened when, like, the meteor hit and, like, there was, like, flaming rocks coming down and, like, a Quetzalcoatlus's wings just getting shredded by the meteor, like, the debris. And it's, they just fall to the ground and they die. So that Bet was... it didn't have armament hockey. It could have cut that if, thing if it, and if it, it had, away. If it had armament hockey, it would have survived to starve to death in the hellscape that created. But, yeah. Um, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> armament hockey only gets you so far. Um, Rodan. Yeah, Rodan basically is what it is. So that's, that's Quetzalcoatlus. Moving on. Okay, this is another one I had to do research for because I had no idea what an Ortholopura is. A lot of times it's like, here's uh, the Dino Dino no Me model Snuffleupagodon. I'm like, all right, I don't know what that is. I need to look that up now. Click. So, <laughs> Ortholopura. This is a giant centipede. So, have fun Eight. with that in your nightmares tonight, children. Yo, but you could use that as a heck of a skateboard. Oh, damn straight. You just hop on that thing and ride it like a horse. <laughs> um, my idea is the Mushi, the ancient Mushi Mushi Mumi. Oh, this was sent to us by Robin, by the way. So thank you, Waifu-sama. Um, it turns you into a giant centipede that has poison. See, I'm not that weeb, because when I read Robin, I thought of the Robin from, like, DC. So. Oh, so you want to... There so, you go. So See? So Robin from DC is your waifu. Okay, fair enough. I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, don't judge me. I'm not judging. Alternate, you. alternate, alternate universe female Robin, right? That's the... <laughs> oh yeah, I'm sure yeah, there. Exactly. I don't. Yeah, that exists for every. every there's a female Thor oh, now. I know that. So there is. Yeah, there yeah. is. Yeah. So I'm assuming there's Rule sixty call her right, of every other Thorella. DC character. Um, so people are saying it's the human centipede. No, it's far less disgusting, but far more terrifying. Um, it turns you into a giant centipede that is extremely durable. As you can imagine, the hard shell is, the carapace is, is pretty hard to crack, but the underside is, is more, is more, uh, weak. Um, but not the super fast speed of the full form, but if you go into the full form, obviously you got a bunch of legs to, to skitter, to scuttle with. Uh, the main weakness is that you have to be very thought skittered. walking with two legs was fast. Well, <laughs> if let you me introduce you. This thing can break the sound barrier. <laughs> Uh, the main weakness is that you'll have to be a very skilled observation user, otherwise you'll lose track of your legs and trip and fall all the time. I could see that. That's kind of what cinched it. I could <laughs> see that funny. in the One Piece world. They keep like, oh, hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. I can, I can walk. Hold on. So yeah, that's all I have here. But a giant centipede. That's pretty damn sweet. 
because bugs and uh, various myriapods, there was more oxygen in the atmosphere back then, so that's how they grew a lot bigger. So there were giant uh, flies, giant, you know, wasps, probably. Uh, okay, so now we move on to the Ryu Ryu no Mi model titanosaur. Uh, as the name implies, it's, it's, it's big. Uh, the fruit is part of the Dragon Dragon Fruit series. Let's see here. Um, it is uh, in its hybrid form. It is uh, some resemblance to the giraffe, such as the long neck, but it's over twice as large and has thick, scaly skin. The full animal form is very large, being over 37 meters, or 221 feet. So this thing beats out even a giant... Uh, wait, no, 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 I'm thinking of 120 meters. No, it's not 120 meters, it's 120 feet. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god. 121 meters that's that's significantly taller but still 30, 37 meters that's uh i think ors was 49 i think or was it 39 for ors so still either way pretty damn big uh the unique strength of this fruit is the immense physical strength that it comes from the sheer size of the uh animal a single attack from the user in the animal form could end or for even the mightiest of giants, the user also gains a tough, scaly skin that protects from them non-hockey. Yeah, you could imagine most of the dinosaurs have, like, extra boosts in defense. Um, the weakness of the fruit comes from its sheer size. The user is incredibly slow and easy target for quick, quick, quicker foes. Even in the hybrid form, the user is too heavy to do anything against faster enemies. Yeah, so it's basically... The colossal more... titan of dinosaurs. It is. the cl oh, that's, a, that's a fair analogy, because it is. It's like... Turn into this thing, try to end the battle as quick as possible, or be intimidating, because if not, you're not going to be that good in a really fast fight. Uh, the awakened form of this fruit would allow the user to be quicker, but they'd still likely be outspid by some enemies, I can imagine. So there is a picture of a titanosaur. It is titanus in its size. Um, yes. Why so many dinosaurs? Because... They're cool. What's the ancient zone category? It's too. ancient, they're ancient <laughs> zone. And screw you. Is everyone going to put in saber? The, the, the Quetzalcoatlus is a pterosaur, good sir. Pterosaur. There you go. Yes. So <laughs> moving down now to the top three. We have another blank page. That's that's lovely. Number three, shell shell fruit model Nemphoria Fidei. It's a giant ancient lobster by Roos Vale. And here's a picture. He didn't send me a picture, but I found one of a giant lobster. This thing looks tiny. It's It would actually be the size of, like, a full-grown adult male. So, like, six yep. feet or something like that. Pretty pretty large. Pretty horrifying. Um, this grants me full body covered in shell armor, a thick tail, claws for hands, and these two long nose hairs antennae. Like it bo 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 So... I got references. The antenna can be used to feel around the immediate area and detect movements in the wind currents within the reach of each antenna. The downside of this ancient zone is not that the armor body is, is not just that the armor body removes the sensation of touch, uh, with the exception of the nose hair antenna. Yeah, so you literally have to use the nose hairs to like feel around you. Yeah. Um uh, but the amount of food needed to be consumed to be able to move at normal speed, you must consume three times your body weight in food. Cannibalism is an option if needed, as well as eating your own shell as it can grow. It can be grown back, but several limbs do not grow back. So I can kind of see this in One Piece, like if you have a like a crew that doesn't really like the captain really doesn't care about like the uh, their, their their crewmates and just uses them as fodder. You could turn into this giant lobster and just I need to eat gulp and just eats your crewmate. Oh my, kind of like. Uh, big mom eating the homies and stuff just like you know chow down and then you know be able to sustain yourself um if this is an ancient zone and they become awakened oh no if this ancient zone is awakened uh you become a large size fully transformed lobster body and weight triples as well as the appetite the armored carapace is so thick and tough you need to gain resistance you gain resistance to sea prism stone unless the sea prism stone is past the shell and connects to the flesh underneath. So that's the way I see, view that this. That seems pretty cool. powerful. It that's is. It, resistance it, it, to sea prism stone. It is, but you figure, I figured that, yeah, you don't have your entire body covered in a shell. It's only your back. So I viewed it more as like, well, I mean, you have the, um, you have your claws, obviously, but, you know, there are parts of your body that are sticking out. So I just, I yeah. go, what I, I just went with that. So now moving on to the top two. Mushi Mushi no Mi model griffin fly. It is a giant. Oh, I know. This is a PDF one, so it's not on here. Okay, hold up. This is a PDF. Ba -ba 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 -ba. This is a giant dragonfly. <laughs> and it is right here. Move this to the side here. Okay. Nice. So, transforms into a griffin fly and griffin fly hybrid 
Uh, it has an exoskeleton. It can fly. And its weaknesses is fire because, you know, the user is an insect and high. Fire flammable. type is super effective on bug type. Yeah, there you go. Problem solved. I never but lived... And again, it's super effective on psychic type. At least, hey, I might have maimed praying mantises when I was a kid, but I don't remember ever lighting bugs on fire. So at least... Hey, that makes you a good guy. Why did you light... <laughs> did you light bugs on fire? <laughs> Uh, no comment. <laughs> Dang, you guys are crazy kids. No, that was, I was the, never I was the nicest, puppies. sweetest little kid. I had Pookie, my little uh, my little chameleon, and I would love him to death every day. Well, and I had Jamie, I, I my didn't, little puppy. I didn't torture Come on, my man. animal. I didn't torture my you animals. Guys are torturing animals, man. That's crazy. Uh, Hello, they, Peta. Yeah, it's me. Yeah, I, I gotta <laughs> I gotta report a YouTube channel real quick. They, they scream. Someone says in the chat, "What the." Uh, the, the, the insects do if you light them on fire? I've never heard an insect scream. That would be horrible. Uh, hey, Tekken, we should... You. you know, we should go try that. Yes, we should, Nux. We'll Just go light up. insects on fire. See if they scream. All right, you're in Roger, Canada. Roger, you want to join? Right. No, I don't want to join. You All guys right, are well, terrible. You're in Canada, so let's just <laughs> let's let's meet uh let's meet in New York in some random field and we'll just light just random bugs on fire all day. It'll we'll make a day of it. It'll be fun. Oh boy. Oh wait, are we oh wait, we're dropping frames again a little bit. But Next I, contest. Yeah. Who could get your bug to scream louder? Okay, enough of this. Enough of that. Okay, hold on. Let me just uh, we're kinda 4200, 4300. Some Fs in the chat. Yeah, we're getting Yeah, some I'm seeing more. a couple of them. It's dead on my end too. Yeah, yeah, give it a little while. If not, we'll just pick up where we left off and continue on because we're almost done. Uh, with uh, well, we're almost done with my category. Then just Nux, and then basically just the Paramecia, because the grand prize isn't going to take that long to go over. Obviously, no. no. Um, yeah, drop frames maybe. Peter, detected. shut down the stream. Damn it! <laughs> it's funny because on my end, it says it's giving me the green bar of everything is okay now, <laughs> uh, uh. which it might be because my drop frames have not increased. Change? Good. I, are we good on good, your good, end, Roger? Good. Can you see it? Yeah, hey, we're, we're good. good. Okay, yeah. we're back then. All right, so the Griffinfly. The user of the Mushi Mushi no Mi model Griffinfly is the user of an ancient devil fruit that allows them to turn into, uh, you know, giant, uh, you know, dragonfly. Uh, with this is a, uh, okay, wait, hold on. Let me just see it because it's like, yeah, yeah, it's a giant dragonfly. Lowest, I'm flying. With a wingspan of two meters. Uh, let's see. Here it is. Griffin fly. Because the griffin fly uses acid to slurp up its prey, I thought of this ability to spit this acid. Flies will do that too. They'll spit on their food to digest it before they consume it. They can, they can suck up the liquid. So that's disgusting, but a cool power. <laughs> the mouth parts consist of sharp and strong mandibles, though only in full zone form. In hybrid form, the head doesn't change too much. I would imagine, in the, yeah, in the hybrid, maybe you just get like the compound eyes or something. Uh, the big compound, the... Uh, the, the, the big compound gives... Oh, yeah, this might be a typo. The big compound give the user almost 360 vision of black and white night vision. Okay, so you trade out color, but you could see in night vision. So, you know, like, it's still cool. Um, overall, the user of the Mushi Mushi no Mi is an ace scenario in combat and has sharpened senses. And uh, this is just a, um, like, a scale here for how big you are. But still, like... You would be giant compared to a human. Like you'd be a, like that thing would land on. You ever see the mist? That movie, the mist with the giant like alien bugs and everything, like something like that kind of. Nice. Uh, Basically, you, know, you would not want to meet one in a dark alley. No, I would not. Uh, so moving on. Even now, if you were gonna punt it, <sighs> Nux, you're gonna keep bringing that up, aren't you? Seriously, man, come on. <laughs> Kick the praying well, mantis! Do you, do you not think I fall asleep every night with the tears in my eyes over that poor praying mantis? <laughs> I gave it number two. Maybe I should have made it number one, but I really like the uh, the rainbow ten ten mushy one. Um, <laughs> okay, so moving on now to the number, number one. Number one from Tobias. Um, the Wani Wani no Mi model Sarkoskishish, Sarkoskishish-ish. Okay. Oh, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. I think my counter just rolled. My, my counter just rolled over. Um, actually. That means, like, I, I was dropping, like, frames, and it kept adding it up, like, 5,000 frames, 5,500 frames. Then it just reset to zero. So, we, I guess we're still good. 
or not. Well, we have a lot of Fs in the chat. Yeah, there come the Fs. There come the Fs from PETA. Um, I think we're good. Okay, we're back. Okay, so the do you know what a do you know what a sarcoscus is? I showed you guys before, but you know, pretend that you don't. Uh, I have no idea. Sarcoscus. I've me. never what heard of it. Unbelievable. It, <laughs> nicely done, Roger. <laughs> it is this fucking thing. <laughs> it is. Damn. It is a giant alligator or crocodile, I suppose, for One Piece. Mm. And it is like the size, like it could give like a T Rex or anything a run for its money. It's it's pretty big. Um, obviously, I think the most obvious thing here is the mouth, um, which really stands out. Uh, yeah, you don't want to get devoured by this thing. I also had another picture. I don't have it Opposed on here. to other things which you want to get devoured by? Um, you know, like, I could see myself getting devoured by, like, the Quetzalcoatlus thing. You know, or a whale. I could go all, like, Jonah with it in the whale. Or Joseph. Was it Jonah or Joseph that got eaten by the whale? But, uh, yeah. Somebody with a J. It was J Pinocchio, name. dude. It was Pinocchio. Oh, yeah, Pinocchio got eaten by the whale. Yeah, yeah sure, right, sure, sure, sure. Right. So, yeah, I, I thought I had an image of a skull, of like a skull of this thing, the fossil next to a human skull, and the size difference is like incredible. Um, but yeah, I saw this and I'm thinking, yeah, that's a contender for the number one pick here. Um, so, the Wani Wani no Mi model Sarkoskiskiskis from Tobias. Eating the fruit turns the user into a prehistoric croc man and allows them to stu I guess it would be a crocodile, not an alligator, uh, to strut their stuff with a newly grown tail held just high as the apex predator did in its heyday. Hybrid form of this croc man gives the users uh, access to sharp armored scales that act as a defensive layer and an offensive option during combat. The user also gains a set of claws with grip strength equivalent to the likes of a sarcoscus bite, except scaled up to their size. Uh, a pre- I think it's pretensile tail. Um, armored up its scales is also given to the user and it serves as an additional limb during Tensile. Combat. Tensile. That's what it was supposed to be. Tensile. Tensile. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying here. Not a word I encounter very often. Um, but it's yeah. like, you know, monkeys can use their tails yeah. to like grab stuff. Yep. yep. They have, they have the, the strength with that. Yeah. So it's okay. I get you. Um, as is standard with zone fruits. The consumer gains an increase to their physical capabilities equivalent to the super croc. And with this, they also gain a set of weaknesses. The more scales the user produces, the pro pro possesses and the more stamina they burn equals a greater need for hydration, which they cannot be achieved in the same manner. So, you know, they're reptiles, so they don't live all like their entire lives under the water. So you don't have to worry about that weakness. But at the same time, they still need to stay hydrated and stuff. So, you know, that's one weakness there. Full croc form gives the user a myriad of increased physical powers from their hybrid state, such as massive increase in size and a large jaw, large jaw far surpassing the strength of their claw grips. Their scales are much tougher, and they're able to resist even more punishment, and they can dish out even more damage as a walking tank. That This thing is a tank. Like, I don't know if I would put my... Like, if I had a legitimate tank and I was going up against this thing, I don't know. I might put the money on this thing, you know? <laughs> <laughs> This does come with several drawbacks as the dehydration. It's pretty terrifying. Yeah. A lot of thing. speed and flexibility, oh. yeah. I, I mean, just like looking at this thing, I'm like, yeah, that that that's horrifying. I would love to see this thing in Wano. Like, even it's the Wani Wani no me. So shows it up. It turns Wano. out that all along, Wano is a sarcoscus kiss. I looked up <laughs> yeah. I, I looked up on YouTube how to actually pronounce it, but I immediately forgot and I'm just like, it's a sarcoscus kiss. Just... It just immediately you, you reminds me of when we type saw... it into. Sorry, I was gonna say when we saw King for the first time, everybody in my live chat was like, "It's not a pterodactyl, yeah. it's a pterodon." And I'm yeah. like, oh, "You mean a pterodon?" And they're like, "No, no, no, pteranodon." And I'm like, "Oh, yep. pterodon, yep, pteranodon, <laughs> yep, yep, I got that." Pteranodon is the... yeah, exactly. What but... this is one of those words that you put into like, and you click the pronunciation yeah, button, and exactly. it goes. So, cannot compute yeah so they i don't understand like you try to spell oh by the way i had to disable spell check i had to disable spell check for these word docs because everything was like zone logi ever there was red marks everywhere oh so, i'm sure yeah, yeah sarcoscus kish kish is not in the dictionary at least not in word documents <laughs> dictionary um but yeah yeah so there you go There's dude the you didn't realize it has a silent p 
you're right. It does. I'm sorry, man. Unbelievable. There we go. Yeah. All right. This. So that is, those are the Ancient Zone winners. We got uh, the Sarkoskishkish for number one, and we got the Griffin Fly for number two. Okay. Only 20 more to go. Yep, 20 more to go. 21, technically. 21, yeah. technically. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, true. yeah. Yeah, so moving on now, this is Nux's time to shine. Uh, da, 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 da. All right, let me pull it up here. Yeah. The Logia color is blue because I gave them all different colors. Nice. <laughs> all right, so um, Logia category. And as Nux stated, yeah, there are none of these that have uh, pictures with them. So I guess you could just use your imaginations, um, I suppose. Okay, Nux, so if you want to go ahead with the number 10. Alrighty, so number 10, right off the bat, we have the Kumo Kumo no Mi. It is the Cloud Fruit. Sent to us by so, Nami uh, is love. <laughs> is love, who clearly enjoyed the latest chapter of One Piece. I know I did. Okay, <laughs> good chapter. <laughs> of course. I did too, it was good. Yeah, it was actually a good chapter. Go ahead. Yeah. It, was, it was a great chapter. Yeah. Uh, all three perspectives in the whole chapter anyway not the point the point is to the other hundred people that sent in cloud cloud fruits i apologize for picking this one it's a logia fruit its abilities and skills it can produce rain snow thunder and lightning for those of you who don't know and only play pokemon thunder and lightning are actually different things they are you can turn you could turn your hand foot or entire body into lightning or other type of clouds and fight or you can cover your weapon with you know Cloud, because clouds are the most formidable adversaries anyone can face. They are. Yeah, they are. You can control the hardness and density of your body in element form, and the clouds produced in the cloud and Skypea, like all those guys, like the four priest dudes that I'm not going to try to pronounce their names, except for Gadatsu. There's Gadatsu. Shout out to Gadatsu. Gadatsu, Ohm, Shura, and Hattori. Or Satori, or Katari, Amazing. or whichever. It's terrifying. I don't know. It's terrifying. This is why you won Jeopardy. This is why you won. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But yeah, you can make island clowns with it, is the point. <laughs> and as far as weaknesses, uh, you can only use one type of cloud at the same time. And also, the atmosphere affects you. So if it's hot or cold or whatever, or then you can only use various parts of your powers and... Stuff like that. Like most clouds. I'm sure we all can relate to clouds in some shape or form. We, we're all floating on the breeze, Nox. We're all floating exactly. on the breeze. Exactly. We're all high here. Good way, of course. And as far as an awakened fruit, it says that it can turn everything around them into clouds. Control those clouds that you're creating as well, and you can also use more than one element at the same time as an awakened fruit. I love how... You so, know, all in all, I think... Go ahead. No, you, you, you. No, I was just going to say, you know, because we don't really know how Awakened Logias work so much yet. Like, we kind of have a pretty good idea, but we don't know 100%, so it's like, yeah, you can just have fun with it. I mean, you don't have to take the Awakened part at face value. Basically, it turns you into a cloud. And as you know, the cloudy in Yu-Gi-Oh cards, top tier right there. They are. That right, I, technique. okay, finally something we agree on. I love the Cloudians. They are so fun. They're you adorable. Can use fog counters, and Eye of the Typhoon is an actual beast. I love any archetype that involves counters, which is why I use Six Samurais. I was even a fan of the freaking uh, alien archetype, which is horrible, but they have the like the alien counters and shit. Uh, I like that. Yeah. The the A, -A counters. Yeah, the A, -A counters. <laughs> but uh, and then there's like the spell counters that like. Yeah, the spell Whatever. counters I dabbled with a little bit, but I like the Bushido, the Bushido counters with the six samurai. Those yeah. are those are the coolest. Um, okay, so and of course the person that oh, said when this... I used to use six samurai, I used to cheat because I thought that <laughs> show great Shogun Sheen and she ends power. Oh my god, in yeah. Conjunction. Yep. So it's yep. like your opponent can only use one spell or trap yep. card per turn, and I can negate one spell or trap card I, per turn. I did so. that exact same thing, and then someone actually, someone that actually knows how to play Yu-Gi-Oh. I think it was on, like, Duelist Network or something corrected me on that. They're like, uh, no, that's not how it works. You can pick and choose which one to use. Per you can't use both of them together. And I'm like, uh, oh, well. Meanwhile, I'm over here by myself in the corner using Down B and countering in Smash Brothers. That's the only counter I have. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I don't understand your Smash Brothers talk. Um, well. <laughs> I played, I played, okay, I was at a, um, I was at a meeting once with, like, the video We're games. getting F's in the deck. Yeah, I know, we just dropped, but I think we're back now. We dropped yeah. for a little bit, but I think we're back right now. Um, 
So yeah, I, honestly, guys, because we're dropping so much, this is probably going to be desynced like hell. This is going to be really desynced. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to probably... I'll wait to see how it looks, and if it looks presentable, I'll keep it up. But if not, I'll take oh, yeah. it take it down and then just upload it from the file, and everything will be copacetic. Um, so anyway, yeah, uh, I remember... I was playing Smash Brothers at, like, the video game club at my university, and I didn't really know how to do it. I basically played as Pikachu and figured out a way to just keep spamming the same move over and over again, and that's all I could thunder? do. Thunder? You were a down B Thunder spammer? Yep, I, I see think you. that I was pro you. that was probably me, yeah, doing that. I also, I, <laughs> uh, Kirby, I also honestly kicked a little bit of ass with Kirby, but those are the only characters down I ever Down B? Really... Again, yeah, his you... down B, you turn into a rock. And I like, yeah, 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 yeah. Because Me Meta Knight had the greatest sounds, like... He would have a move that I would like to go. <laughs> that that was that was probably his coolest attack. Oh like, my power! Like you know, I'll send you to another cool. dimension. All right, that's it. So moving on to number. Anyway, nine. so that was the cloud fruit, the most popular fruit that I got. Right. Second most popular fruit is number nine, the water <laughs> water nomi, and this oh one is from God. Axel. Uh, fun fact: so you like, know, we actually only got one of these. <laughs> yeah, what? No one thought to use water. I got yeah, Paramecia. But... I got Paramecia that did this too. So go ahead. Like, yeah, this is overpowered, but I wanted to include it. Just obvious <laughs> choice. It is a really cool idea. Like, it is to have is. this power oh, sure, that no one else sure. has in the One Piece world. So in any case, the user can turn into any form of fresh water, liquid, ice, vapor, and steam. He can evidently breathe underwater and is granted free movement through coherent solid and liquid fresh water body and or air. Uh, it can manipulate fresh water, and it can also cause things to boil, evaporate, or freeze. It can summon water pressure attacks. Basically, everything water can do, this guy could do better. Including becoming a cloud. <laughs> yeah, exactly. that's that's included. <laughs> that's a, included in the power. He, wants. he doesn't even need to use all this other shit. He just turns into a cloud and instantly wins that's the it. fight. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> but he also specifically mentions that since he can control aspects of the water cycle, he can make it hail, rain, or snow, but it can't make like thunderstorms, blizzards, or hurricanes, because that's already a control over wind and it only has control over water. Also mentions he also mentions that sea salt or uh, salt water cannot be manipulated. So it's specifically fresh water. Yeah. So I, I appreciate that limitation because yeah. like I got ocean, ocean fruits that turn you into ocean water. I made and that's just, Oh my God, that would be yeah. way too OP. Yeah. I made a theory and, fruit about, well, that's kind of like the mythical zones Poseidons you also got too. <laughs> oh, so not only did I get Poseidons, but I got tons of Jesus fruits that also had water powers where it's like, <laughs> you can walk on water. You could turn water to wine. That, you could do all this stuff. Yeah. Oh, God, that yeah. defeats that, yeah. And little did they know that a cloud would be able to completely destroy them. I made, yeah. a, I made a video about what a water fruit could be like, and I was like, you know, as long as you, you turn into water, fine, but as long as you don't submerge yourself in ocean water or any other water, then that's what, as long as you don't do that, you're okay. So that's the way yeah. I looked at it, yeah. As far as what it has for strengths and weaknesses, basically Pokemon. I mean, yeah, like, I, water type is super effective yeah. on fire and ground. And the electric type and grass type is super effective on water. So, you know. I, I never understood why grass is super effective on water. Like, because well, trees absorb water, liquid dude. to grow. Of course, man. Uh, Come uh, on. Okay, but how does that, like, you use razor leaf against, like, a waymer that's just bump? Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> whatever. Um, we'll, we'll just roll with it, I guess. Um, but yeah, so weaknesses. And, and yeah. fighting type is super effective and rock type. Next time you punch a mountain, tell me how that goes. I always thought, well, no, because I've seen people, not me, but I've seen people break rocks with fists. Yeah, uh, but a rock the size of you versus you. Everyone in the chat's like, obviously. Rock. I was like, I, 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 that's the first time I realized it, honestly. <laughs> I didn't I didn't realize that. On, uh, that okay, well. Everybody has different stages where they realize things, and I just had my epiphany, so there we go. There you go. I have it. live on stream. I have it now. All right, so that would be number nine. So moving on to number oh, – number, uh, by the way, the water Moving water. on to number eight, we the have the Kira Kira no Mi. Not to be confused with JoJo's, even though that Kira is one of the greatest anime villains of all time. This is one of the so, shortest ones, too, so go ahead. It is, but it's also one of my favorites. I don't know. I like the niche funny ones because I, I love the humor aspects in One Piece. Yeah. Oh, definitely. They're good. The Kira Kira no Mi is uh, submitted by Uru. And hey, King, assuming he's talking to Teking. Oh, and I'm also sorry to everyone that I... like I got emails. 
I got yeah. emails like, Taking, I love your videos. I, I've waited so long to tell you this. And I'm like, mm. And guys, I'm let me tell taking, you, but... in the Halcyon days when I started this contest, I didn't know how many entries I was going to get. I was thinking we could just split it down to threes and just divide it up that way. But then each of us would have like a thousand entries to go through. So I figured it would be easier just to divide it into categories. I greatly appreciated that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just know because working on those other art streams with you and Joy Boy, it was like, holy, just yeah, going yeah. through all those entries that didn't even have text on them I, and having to read all of these. Woo! I'm not saying I won't do another contest, but it has to be in a way that I can automate it in such a way where it's like, you know, I, I don't have to, you know, it's just an easier way to look at all the entries. Yeah, or I yeah. was thinking, I, I don't want to do this, but I was thinking about having a cap for entries. Like I can only accept like a thousand entries. And then after that, there I'm you like, go. If you're in the yeah. first thousand, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause that way, I mean, at least that way I could get through it more reasonably timed and there's yeah. less, there's yeah. less things that fall through the cracks. But anyway, go ahead, go ahead. The Kira Kira no me. You get a death note, you kill people, right? Nux. <laughs> yeah. I thought of Jojo's before death note. How scary is that? Weird, anyway, so it, it says, that's not scary. Hey King. It is pretty scary. It is. Hey, King, a... my devil fruit is called the Twinkle Twinkle Nomi based off the greatest character in My Hero Academia or the Kira Kira Nomi. The weakness is it's weaker during the day and cannot levitate during the day because since it's a, you know, since the person becomes a twinkle, during the day, a twinkle isn't seen. It's only really, it only shines at night. Yep. So the strength allows you to levitate or mimic flight by hovering at high speeds. It's basically a star, uh, a star form. Its attacks are shooting star. Allows you to move incredibly fast, supernova key blast bomb from the mouth, and morning that, 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 star orb shoot thing. The, the, thousands of key beams and etc. fall from the sky, and its awakening is called creation because it's like a mini big bang, and it can even create sentient life, which is a little overpowered. Yeah, I was reading that, and I was like, hey, I gave you guys decisions to pick this, and I I agree with your decision here. Let's go with that. Create life. Okay. <laughs> I I think this one's. Very funny. I like it, yeah. I like it too. I could see like um, awaken it makes like a little big bang. And I, I don't know, I imagine that it creates like these sentient life and there's like these super teeny little people. Because it's like a really mini big bang. So you, and these like charge and these little guys are just like ah! So you become a Dragon Ball Z character. Ah! Kind of. <laughs> a mini Dragon Ball Z character that only works at night. That only works at night. But hey, it's a weird kind of fruit, but I think it fits in the laws of One Piece. Uh, maybe yeah. this was the fruit that started life on the planet. Who knows? There you go. Yeah. That's Emu's fruit. There we, right there. It came from, that. yeah, it's Emu's fruit. <laughs> it came from the Emu's sky. Fruit. Yeah. Fruit. All right. So number seven, the energy. Number energy seven energy. is the energy energy Nomi from Black Fox. Now, the basis of this fruit is the energy energy Nomi simply allows its user to become living energy. The fruit allows its wielder to become a type of energy human. When attacked by physical objects, the wielder, who we shall name Captain Planet for short, having He's no reference to the actual Captain Planet, I'm sure. Gonna bring pollution down to z Okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> nice. Oh, that, was, that was good. I liked it. That, that, that would be good. his theme song. Yeah. Um, for short, it will return uh, It will turn his body green into greenish waveform. Strength number one. The special part of this fruit is it allows its user to absorb energy from all things. And if it absorbs a particular element, they become that element and use energy from that element to attack. So it's not any basic, it's not like fire, but it could absorb fire and then use fire. That's a lot of fire. Thinking a lot that of fire. is a lot of fire. Example, if Captain Planet saw electricity coming out of a motor, he would absorb the electricity and his body will become that of electricity and he will use electrical attacks. I was also thinking though, that most of the reason why certain characters in One Piece are really good are because they have like a ton of practice with the element that they're used to. Yeah. So like, this guy like, isn't necessarily used to the element he's absorbing. So yeah, he has like, to really. Crocodile oh. spent years working on the sand thing. And also he was in a desert. So yeah. Yeah. So it also refers if he's attacked by like a specific element devil fruit. So, for example, Sabo fired a fire fist at Captain Planet. Spoilers to everyone who didn't know Ace died and Sabo got his fruit. And it's, it's he held been, It's been like 10 years. <laughs> yeah. I know. If you didn't know that, and he held out his hand at the fruit. Oh, that's true. Ever subscribed to Teching that didn't realize that Ace is dead? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to break that to you guys. Ace is croaked. He's not around no more. <laughs> Very sad. But anyway, this guy can then absorb the flame attack and then become a... I fire. So I guess it would become equivalent to Meromeronomi. Yeah. Um 
Strength number two. The user can drain energy from all living things, like humans, animals, and plants, and it can expel the energy it uh, absorbs to basically shoot lasers or energy blades. That's, that's cool. Uh, drawbacks. The wielder cannot use more than one type of element attack at once. It can only use the energy that it absorbed before. By absorbing another attack, it will lose that element ability at the same time as the energy becomes absorbed. And absorbing too much energy makes it bloated and sluggish. So at the same time that it's absorbing more power, it's getting this, the user's getting slower and slower. And also, of course, it can only be one energy at the same time. Yeah. Makes sense. Thank you. Very fair well, and balanced. Makes sense. <laughs> There were a lot. Of, exactly. There were a lot of energy fruits in Paramecia category too. Yeah. I got oh, yeah. a lot of energy fruits in Logia. I I I don't know. I like the idea that it can that it could absorb. Sorry. I was just gonna say there was a lot of energy manipulation in mythical zones, but we honestly didn't have that much. Yeah, I think because I made like the example devil fruit in the video, like you can manipulate atoms or energy, like nuclear energy. I think it's someone they they just made a lot of fruits mm -hmm. based on that. So, I mean, it's a cool oh, idea. Oh, man, look at the chat. The chat's going crazy that Ace is dead. Nux, Sorry, guys. Nux for president, though, so are you running in? Oh, wait, no, you're Canadian. You can't be president. I'm a dual citizen, so I can. Oh, Are man. you really? I didn't know that. We're slowly learning things about Nux yeah. today. We're <laughs> learning <laughs> that Nux is I'm... We're learning that teching abuses insects. We're learning a whole bunch of yeah, stuff. Yeah, I, uh, I, I, uh, used... I, I feel like what we learned about me was... Uh, <laughs> more, you know, better than uh, Tekking's cruel treatment of that that poor, poor, poor praying mantis. Praying I'm never gonna let that one go. It's funny that's something you do when you're like six and people judge for you now. Here we are, 20, 20 years later. 2019. Um, but anyway, yeah. No, in any case, so this guy can absorb power. So he's like, he's only as strong as the Meromeranomi while he absorbed the, fire. Yeah, and he can the, only do one at a time. There was in one, any case, yeah, there was one in the Paramecias that worked kind of similar to this like absorbing things and i'll show you when we get to that but yeah pretty basic idea all right so basic idea six i mean most logias are more on the basic side yeah because just by their nature it's like you turn yeah. into an oh. element that kind of like uh, there was actually a lot of entries though there were like 400 something entries for logia uh, i'm sure there was a lot of yeah, ones but that, i that... mean out of the three types you mean i mean like logia paramecia and zone like zone altogether had a lot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It did. Paramecia did, too. I mean, yeah, Paramecia, Logia was the smallest. Yeah, Logia... No, Logia wasn't the smallest. The traditional zone was the smallest. If you, oh, if you want to that? That's because you split zone into three parts. I had to. So. Otherwise, it would be, like... Well, actually, I guess it wouldn't be too much bigger. It would be, like, 700. But I was one different categories. How many Paramecia did you have again? Something like 2,260... Oh, my God, man. Or what something like heck? that. Yeah, that was, that was an adventure. I don't look back to do. I don't look forward to doing that ever again. <laughs> yeah, me too. So, so that's why I'm thinking I might set a cap next time I do this. Yeah. All right, all right, Nux, number six, hit us. All righty, number six is the boom boom fruit from uh, Wale. And because it doesn't like it doesn't turn you into fire or anything like that, it turns you into an explosion. Yay! Unlike Mister Three can. Be like Mr. Three can explode his body parts, like his boogers and whatever. It's Mr. This five. guy becomes an. Ex it's Mr. Five. It is. Mr. It is Mr. Five. That is a typo. I will. I will fix that right now because that's gonna bother the chat. All right, go ahead. Oops. You're right. You're right. I like Mr. Three. I'm sorry for mixing you up with Mr. Five. That's fine. You are way cooler. Um, but in any case, um, it's like you know Bakugo can make explosions. Yeah. Dada, he makes explosions. Like, I don't know anyone that becomes the explosion. I think that's really cool. Just skip. Uh, the user becomes an explosion man. He can let the air around him or himself explode without any harm to the user like every other Logia. It can enhance his punches and kicks, making the move faster. He can send shockwaves and uh, maybe even nuclear explosions. So, of course, we had to throw in the slight little piece of OP. Uh, yeah, like, maybe he could do this. We don't know. He can't. Uh, this is with... <laughs> Technically, it does say with enough training. Yeah. And as we know, there's never enough training. Not to master the, yeah, nuclear bomb. Nuclear bomb. Yeah. So, anyway, unique strengths. He's able to ins instantly counterattack with hits with just an explosion on the infected part of his body. Like, you punch him in the face, his face blows up. There we go. And he can also fly by creating explosions under his feet, you know, Iron Man style. Yeah, Iron Man, or even Bakugo so in that sense. That's, yeah. 
But he doesn't do it with his feet because, you know. Oh, he, oh I guess he has anyway. it. Yeah, yeah, he can only do it with his palms, but yeah. Because he has those special gloves that, for whatever reason, don't burn. Now that they have explosion-proof gloves that he wears. Anyway. Art, art is um, an his An explosion. And in the spinoff, we have fart is an explosion. Um, unique weakness. No oxygen means no explosions. So if anything would remove oxygen, he can't create explosions. So it's funny because that's like, uh, in space, the guy can't make explosions. Yeah. Right? Or like that episode of JoJo's. That limits things. That episode of JoJo's where Kira can't do his explosions either because it's in a vacuum. That was something that was it's, like different. Oh, Kira is such a good character. Oh, he man. is. He really is. Him. I mean, anyway, don't, he don't, can't don't look up to him as a role model or anything, but he's an no. interesting character. <laughs> he's a freaking serial killer, but you know. Such an interesting character. Yeah. Anyway, he can fly. Uh, what was it? What was? Oh, yes. So he can't create explosions if the body part is wet. I mean, I assume that any liquid, being that he's specifying it, is supposed to just, you know, see, see water. I to see. be trained enough to create special explosions that even work when he's wet. And of course, he has the usual weaknesses. And he says, "Imagine a devil fruit that looks like Bakugo's hair." I I am envisioning this. I am envisioning this. <laughs> um, people in the chat are saying that uh, Caesar would be a hard counter to this. Honestly, yeah, he would be, because either Caesar could just take the air away, or he could just you know make you know him combust himself. So yeah. that's true. Uh, let's see. I first misread this as, like, this is an Elvis fruit. Like, it turns you into Elvis. <laughs> no. Yeah, it is not an Elvis. That would be, that would be more, like, in the mythical zone. Uh, that's, right, that's right. That's right. He's a uh, legend. Yeah, I turn yeah. it into the king, baby. But no, it's just the name of the person, that, or the username of the person Elvis, that sent it in. Elvis fruit. <laughs> All right. So this is the earth one. This is the obligatory earth fruit that has to exist. Right. Yeah. So the Tucci Tucci know me. Uh... General abilities, you can throw rocks. So the reason why I actually inc included it is because he specified that it's not just Earth that this uh, person becomes, but it's also mass. Yes. So I thought that was pretty co pretty cool. It can make localized earthquakes, depending on your skill level, although not as powerful as the Quake Quake Brute. Um, but I like how he said that it to your form without giving up mobility, like Ant-Man style. Very nice. I, I thought like that's an action, and you can also expand your mass, make your mass less, and just. You know, I like that one because there isn't there isn't a straight up Earth Logia yet. There's Pika is the closest right. you get. Um, yeah, I mean, every, a lot of people are assuming that Green Bull is going to have some type of nature power. Yeah, but even that isn't really this. No, you know, I oh. liked. I, I mean, liked. I liked how we don't. Is, we don't know. Yeah, I liked how it wasn't just like he can turn into rocks and then throw rocks at people, and that's his power. Um, I got those. Don't I'm, I'm sure you did. <laughs> I got a few of them. I'm sure you did. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you did. Uh, but you know, I got is... Earth. I got Earth fruits that turn you into planet Earth. Like you know, cool wow. stuff. You turn into the Earth. Okay. Well, turn that's cool. We don't actually know the name of the uh, planet that One Piece is on. So <laughs> there you go. Oh man, what about the Woodwood oh. fruit? I'm sure there were there were there were a lot of entries of that in my. I mind. got you know every basic thing I pretty much got. I got some cool stuff in the top places, but yeah, yeah. So it says you can also become an island human, so that's like an island in human form, yes. and retain your own magnetic field, so it would register on log poses. Oh, I was thinking. Cool. Oh, what is really cool? Since your mass, if you. I mean, compact your mass enough, you get your own gravitational field. Holy sh! Oh, okay. So like so, Kane's power. From I mean, Naruto. I, I, it's not on that level, but it would still be a. It, you would have some sort of gravitational pull. That just that alone, you yeah. know. Right. Pain. Pain's power from Naruto would be pretty overpowered. Yeah. Um, I remember that was actually. It says unique strength. <laughs> Go ahead. You were saying so? No, 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 go ahead. I said its, it's unique strength was it can be used to house life. Personally, I would go for a garden, housing and nourishing special <laughs> plants inside my body for various purposes, <laughs> kind of like Usopp's pop greens. I always, I like those little. Yeah, yeah. Uh, little. So unique weakness, the earth, earth fruit can only replenish or gain mass while you are touching the earth. You cannot generate your own mass. And if you manage to keep the Earth, Earth use are off the ground, it can begin to tear apart the mass that comprises their body and whittle them down and capture them. 
captured because they're they become like earth and dust i assume but they can only work while touching the ground which is a massive weakness i mean on a sky island they they're standing on clouds so they don't have most of their powers yeah I thought that was a yeah, cool yeah power of the suchi but not not Susi Shusi no me model Elvis, but something pretty damn close. Pretty <laughs> I still damn I love that Elvis idea. I wish someone actually submitted with the Elvis idea. Yeah, that would have been, that been cool. <laughs> I'm the king, baby. All right, Sue, uh, Ryushi Ryushi. Right. Oh, I oh, okay. I remember this one. Yeah, yeah the Ryushi Ryushi no me from Kevin, and this is the particle particle fruit. So it is slightly overpowered, <laughs> as I'm sure you can guess. No, I'm Logi sure, has yeah. many amazing abilities. The user has the ability to control electrons, protons, and neutrons at will. And it's only limited to the user's intelligence in terms of physics and chemistry. So it's like kind of, uh, you know, in Full Metal Alchemist, like uh, this is what I immediately pictured. Yeah. Like Ed, Ed's alchemy, like he can pin- manipulate like different uh, elements and stuff. Yeah. So, but he's only as good of an alchemist as he is because yeah. he understands the structure of everything he's exactly. With. That's a yeah. big part of that series. Like it does, you can't just touch something and just turn it into a spear. You have to know what the chemicals are that you're breaking down and putting uh, back together. Yeah. Exactly. So the ability for the fruit is to change a material subatomic structure by being able to change the number of protons, electrons, and neutrons that are in the material. Like you know, uh, the famous turning uh, ore into gold or whatever. Uh, lead into gold. Yeah. Thus changing what the material is. The ability to create magnetic fields by spinning the electrons. The ability to create electricity via the electrons. Summon lightning by positively charging an area. Since it's a Logia user, it'll be able to move almost as fast as the speed of light via the electrons. And I never like speed feats. Like when there's actually someone that says, oh, this guy moves light speed. I always take it with a grain of salt. I mean, we have Kizaru too, so yeah. it's, like, it's not. <laughs> and you have people blocking Kizaru's attacks, also. Right, right, right. Flies at Marco, and Marco blocks it. It's like, so oh, that means Marco can, can move at light speed. Exactly. Right. Exactly. So take it with a grain of salt. And also, maybe he is light speed. Maybe everyone's light speed in One Piece. There mm-hmm. you go. That's it. Everyone is. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's that's. So hey. Due to our understanding, sorry. No, nothing. I was just going to say, like, yeah, they might be moving it. Like, the entire planet might be moving super faster than ours. Like, because we may have, like, a thousand miles per second. might be rotating super, super fast. We don't know, man. I mean, like, Seth, in his recent video oh, on yeah, Luffy, he yeah. pointed out that, like, um, what's his name? I don't... Oh, Foxy. Foxy. Yeah. Foxy shoots photon beams, and photons are light particles. So that moves at the speed of light, and Luffy could dodge them. And this was before hockey. So that means Luffy, was, before yeah, hockey, moves at light speed. Pre-observation, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so, you know, yeah. pre-hockey. So so that, there's Luffy at light speed. So it's hard it, to... That's how that works. Anyway, wow. due to our understanding of electrons and quantum oh, physics, he can teleport. So even though electrons don't teleport, they just, you know, they fade in and out. Yeah, oh, well, yeah, 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 yeah. They do that thing where they can, like, end up one spot on the other side of right. the molecule. And, yeah, the atom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this person can do stuff like that, too, occasionally. And uh, its natural weakness is the rubber rubber fruit because he can't use electrons over there because, you know. Yeah, there's no, ele- stuff. There, there's no electrons on the atoms when it comes to rubber, probably. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look, I... I have a feeling that he's not a physicist. Yeah, it's cool. It's fiction. It's the realm of fantasy. You know, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah. But I thought it was cool regardless, turning into particles and stuff, you know. Pretty cool. Yeah. Next, from Roy. Not to be confused with the Roy from Full Metal Alchemist. Yeah, I was just thinking of that, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) A lot of FMA references. Oh, there's an accident Uh, somewhere. Who died? Oh, okay. What happened? Did somebody kick another praying mantis? <laughs> uh, no, I hope they're all right. Yeah, I hope so too. Yeah, what the whatever heck? happened. There was a guy that slammed into a light post uh, yesterday up where I live, and that outside was... your house? No, 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 no. Uh, it was uh, I was we were in a Walmart shopping, and uh, we just heard this big crash, oh. and it was outside, and someone slammed into a light post out at Walmart. So that was yikes. Yeah, that was terrifying. You know what a bit I also an thought, ambulance, speaking... ambulance fruit? That'd be a crazy zone power, man. You yeah. turn into an yeah, it would be. It would even be strong enough to beat Kira, hmm? Kira. There you go. All right. Uh, hey, guys, Georgia. tell you what. I have to go 
uh, take care of something really quick. Uh, that's just okay. a, that's a euphemism. I need to go to the bathroom. So this uh, man has to go pee. All right. I, I have to go down. pee. Yes, yeah. so I will mute my mic, and you can continue on talking about that or awesome. do whatever. It won't take very long. Okay, bye. Be right back. So while Techie I... is peeing. You continue, Nux. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, he can't move the screen, so. <laughs> oh, that's true. That's true. All right. Well, then, in the meantime, what's up, everybody? Rogers Base here. And uh, I guess this is a teching channel takeover. It's me. I'm joined by uh, Nux Taku. How you doing, Nux? It's a pleasure to be here. Thanks for inviting me, Roger. Very and cool. Today, we're talking about uh, our favorite Pokemon battles of all time. So, uh, <laughs> what's, what's wow. your favorite Pokemon battle? Top 10 Pokemon battles. Top 10 Pokemon battles in the anime? In the anime. All right, so I have to say, my favorite Pokemon battle, I think, in the anime is probably Ash versus Paul in the Sinnoh League. Oh, that's a good choice. I was going to say Charizard versus Magmar in the original Indigo League uh, in Blaine's Gym in the Volcano. Hey, that was also a pretty sick that's fight. That's a good one. That's lie. a good fight. I'll yeah. tell you one that was terrible. Uh, the Tobias fight with uh, Darkrai and Latios. Where he ends yes. up having to fight Ubers. That was crazy. <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> I didn't see that coming. I don't know. I really wanted him to win this in a league. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm trying to think of uh, what are some other really good Pokemon fights. I mean, it's funny because a lot of my favorite fights in Pokemon, the stupid one-off fights that didn't really mean much. Right. But I thought were just cool. Like, I'm pretty sure there was one fight... Uh, Rosalia versus a Dusclops. I thought that was a sick fight in uh, Hoenn. I'm actually, I'm remembering one I really liked. Uh, Heracross versus Cricketoon was definitely awesome. Valentin in the chat brought it up. That's actually a good one. So, Teching, what is your favorite Pokemon anime fight of all time? Uh, Charizard versus Magmar. Yo, look at that! Oh, yeah, that's what I said too. <laughs> Good choice. I uh, just that was the first. That was the most obvious one that popped in my head. A Super second, hard. a yep. second one was the one I, I guess Haunter when he fought against uh, Sabrina. But the Charizard is the immediate one that, Ooh, that pops. That's it, also a good call. Pop, yeah. I was yep. thinking um, Psyduck versus Team Rocket. <laughs> mm. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Which time did that happen? A lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wasn't there? Yeah. Wasn't it like? Uh, Meowth versus Brock, where Meowth couldn't hit it. Like, yeah, versus up. Onyx. I, yeah, and he, and he, he took like the, the water and he threw it on top of Onyx and started scratching him up. <laughs> I, I honestly wanted Meowth to act like an actual Pokemon every now and then. Every now and then, Meowth, oh, yeah. Meowth would be like, oh, wait, I know Scratch and I know Bite, but it would never work. Sometimes I wished right. it like it would actually work. Like, you know, you are a Pokemon, idiot. Like, come on, let's do something here. But, Wasn't there this one fight where Jesse's Wobbuffet was like overpowering everyone? Yeah, yeah, they figured oh, out yeah. well, they, that, that was crazy. that was in the uh, episode where they figured out Wobbuffet can counter and mirror coat, yep. and he can reflect. Yep. It. Yeah. Off topic. Yeah, but I had to go to the bathroom, so yeah. It's a Metapod versus Metapod's another good one, Blaze. Very oh, good choice. That was an epic fight. Just ching, <laughs> ching. the choreography. They're so hard. <laughs> Okay. Wasn't so named at all. On that note, let's let's continue. Thank you for, shall for, continue. for my uh bathroom break there. For the carb carb <laughs> no me. So does this a carb does, carb no me. Does this give you like the ability to turn into bread or carbohydrates? <laughs> that would be or, pretty sick. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Carb carb right. fruit. <laughs> fruit. Uh, I think I only got one. No, I I I got a lot more than one of yeah. the carb carb fruit. Because it turns you into carbon. Uh one percent of the un the I mean as opposed to like carbohydrates yeah then one percent of the user's body is retained as their essence because uh just carbon is not alive i don't know why this was a requirement because like if you We're... could turn into fire you could turn into carbon i mean why not but yeah, anyway yeah. they could turn their body into carbon dust various forms of carbon like diamond gasoline graphite coal carbon monoxide etc I didn't even know all those things were made of carbon, they especially are. carbon monoxide. Oh, you want to? I had no idea carbon monoxide was made of carbon. You want to know something else that's gonna trip you? We're so, made out of carbon, Nux. I know that, that was mind blowing. So technically, we all have the carb, carb, no me. Basically, yeah. Incredible. That. Their ability was uncovered in under years of research. So then there's like some. Backstory like the current user is the twenty fifth estranged daughter of the charlatan. And I mean, I like why it. not? I, Looks like Tashigi. Because why not? I get. I like getting these every now and then. Yeah, like the little fan. Same so, here. Yeah. Yeah. 
dreams of becoming a normal human as she was forced to eat the devil fruit after years of research. Or as I would call it while reading this, after years of research. People who pronounce it research are cooler people in general, not gonna lie. They are. Uh, she can't, she's come to the conclusion that with One Piece holds a special type of carbon that would give her a normal body with a beating heart. So become inspired and, and set sail for her dream. You know, random, random fact. Anyway. So the human form is a uh, human with no warmth because it's carbon. In martial arts, that's the human, not the carbon devil fruit. The devil fruit itself has a diamond form, a gasoline form, an electric form. And then rage mode just uses everything at once. And uh, it breathes carbon monoxide, which is poisonous to breathe. Oh, I thought that was actually a cool fruit because mm -hmm. it uses various forms of carbon. Yeah. And it's one of the most abundant elements in the entire universe, so that makes sense. Like, I think how it goes is um, on the periodic table, like, hydrogen is the most abundant, and uh, uh, helium is also abundant, but I think it's carbon and silicon are also really abundant as well. Yeah. So, that's why carbon-based life is a thing to begin with. So, yeah, pretty cool one. So, you know. number two! The silver metal, the second place of the Logias. It allows you to turn into a guy named Jack. <laughs> it allows you to go to a guy named Jack, who is the weakest pirate in all of One Piece, right, Roger? I... How about you shut your mouth, you I... pathetic weed? <laughs> right? I'm going to have to say the back best. You can't be telling me I that might... Jack the Drought is not the greatest character in all of One Piece. How dare you, sir? Truly, how I'm not going to lie. You? I think that Helmeppo with his hammer gun would beat Jack the Drought. I'm Unbelievable. Gonna... I'm going to have to Disgusting. do another contest after this to figure out if that's true or not with the Jack thing. But I'll, I'll see what I can do. No. <laughs> Jack would 100%, 100% defeat Helmopo with the hammer gun from four kids. No question, man. It would, it would not be an easy fight, though. Even nah. you have to admit nah. Helmopo would Mammoth boys for life. Get, I'm the, seeing the mammoth boys look, in the chat. The I see that. Gun, mammoth boys for life. The hammer gun does have hockey and conquers, but I don't know yeah. if... All right, no. chat, let's see, let's see. Uh, can we get some uh, Helmopo I mean, fam? I'm here? seeing a, I'm seeing a lot of Jack the jo Jack the Jobbers or a lot of them are in the chat. I see Jack, <laughs> Jack is whack. Jack Let's the get Jobber. some Helmepo Hel fam. Helmepo fam. Mammoth versus boys. Mammoth boys. Mammoth Hold boys. on, I'm making a poll. Hold on. That's right. We're making a poll. Make like a poll. Who will win? Will it be the memes, or will it be Jack the Drought? That's crazy, man. Helmepo. Helmepo, that hammer gun, do you even understand what it could do? With using the right amount of hockey, he can launch that hammer, a spring-loaded hammer, into his opponent, shattering oh, their very reality. We got Helmepo slaps in the chat. Thank okay. you, Jack. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. There's no way. I'm telling you right now, Sanji would take out his lollipop, imbue it with armament hockey, and then stab Helmepo in the face. There's no way. Oh. In a million years. Jack the Drought. More like Jack the Drowned. Get out Got him. Get out of here. Jack is a meme. You're saying vote for the memes. Jack is a meme himself. Guys, so how guys. could you say vote for the memes and then be against Jack? I'm You're dying. Right. I'm dying over here, guys. That's crazy. Oh, God. That needs to be its own thing. You, you and Nux need to get together, Roger, and just do a video on this. This is no, great. I, I'm not talking to Nux anymore, man. Oh, I'm okay. Not... Uh, yeah, bad this blood. Is over. He this insulted Helmepo, is... who's oh, unbelievable, my God. man. Get Helmepo right, out right. of here. Probably the saddest backstory in well, all okay, of One Piece. To bring, it, to bring it back, what we'll all agree on is Bachi beats them all, right? I mean, Bachi, uh... the bug that was in the soup in Baradier, beats all of them, all yeah. right? Or the Bachi mosquito. I, I don't know. I want to throw in the mosquito <laughs> from One Punch Man, too. I don't know. I think he oh, has a fair shake. Mosquito from One Punch Man is a good choice, too. I, I think like he that. has a fair Bachi shake. Bachi and the mosquito. There you go. So I added a poll on the contest. It's uh, if you refresh the page, it should be up there. Let's <laughs> let's find out who wins. Um, I'm, I'm on Team Helmepo here. Yeah, I mean exactly. to be fair, the mosquito from One Punch Man is overpowered. So yeah, I agree. Yeah, I there's agree. no way that that could possibly. Yeah, not even fair. Teching is so cute. Where's the... oh, thank you. Um, where's the? All right, so right now we have Jack the Drought at 12%, Helmepo with the hammer gun at 87%. That's so. disgusting. That's disgusting. <laughs> I love you people. Thank you for understanding. I don't know how many votes this could piece. be, though. It might only be out of like three or four votes so far. I don't know. because That's have to, wild. You have to refresh the page in order to see it. But That's wild. refresh the page and I still don't. Oh, my God. All right, so yeah. the, the Jack Jack, I mean the Muko Muko no me. Go for it, Nux. 
while we wait on the the, the, the poll. Oh, hold on, I can't I can't get to the poll. This is so sad. Can't you see it? Did you refresh the page? Yeah, I don't see it either. Yeah. Uh, it should be it's, 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 it should be in the i card, huh? Are, see. Well, Everyone's are, saying where's the trouble? Well, there are people oh, voting. Oh, in the i there are people. Hey, voting. it's in the i card. That's I didn't what I, in... Yeah, that's how that. I can, where do you see it? Hold on. Top you... right, but I don't. Ladies, I'm gonna vote. I'm oh, gonna also yeah, vote. Yeah, yeah, I, I see it. I see it. I see it. Hell yeah, 81 percent. Yeah, Jack, man, yeah. that's wild. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for finally understanding. Helmepo is in the top five in the verse. Okay. Put it. Put it in the chat. I can't put it in the chat. It's a poll. It has. I don't even know Helmepo's. It, it, it has to be through the i card. Yeah. Man, whatever, man. I'm gonna sit over here with my girlfriend and and be happy because that's. That's crazy, man. That's about right. <laughs> That's crazy. How could you, Helmepo? I don't know, man. No. Roger, look, Roger. I'm, I don't mean to to, to make things <laughs> better. Right. You do realize I was only, I was only talking about Helmepo with the hammer gun, okay? No, I know. That's fair. Like That's I'm not fair. talking about not, regular not Helmepo. Base, exactly. Base Helmepo. Gun. We don't really have a good gauge of base Helmepo, but Helmepo with the hammer gun. This man said, this man said, there's no way Roger is single shaming. Get out of here, man. <laughs> Did, um, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, 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 I didn't, I didn't take it that way. You're fine. I don't know. Nux, oh, I, I was going to say, it. why would you? Yeah. Nux, do you have a girlfriend? Oh, wait, you're dating Lord Twigo, right? Okay. So there you go. Right. I was going to say Lord Twigo. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Lord Twigo counts. Also, Tekken, you have many a girlfriend. All right. So. Oh yeah, I have, many, I have many waifus all over the place. Multiple waifus, you're good. I have a clause. <laughs> I have a closet full of nothing but Daki Makaras, so we're, we'll be good. <laughs> hey, then Roger said that, that he was gonna sit there with his girlfriend. I thought he was like, I didn't realize it was an insult. I was gonna say, I thought he was. Saying I was gonna say it was not an insult. Girlfriend. No, I'm, I'm and saying she cried. She, Reagan agrees with me. But while she tries to console. No, you. no, 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 no. She agrees with me that Jack takes it. Okay. She agrees with me. Jack well, Reagan, uh, it Reagan... appears it appears as though. Um, this voting system uh, is on my side. Reagan uh, does cosplay, so therefore she's better than all of us. So <laughs> that's true. Therefore, that's true. She's and, and she was also the she pres the fortieth president of the United States of America. So um, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. I guess we lost to this one. <laughs> all right, uh, <laughs> we all lost. We all so that, lost. that was that was a good sidetrack. See, I don't care about tangents with my streams. I like let's that's that's where most of the fun parts come from, you know. So of course, yeah. Tangents are the way. But to anyway, go. we'll check that poll periodically as we go through this. But go go ahead. <laughs> but Nux. just remember that he has a hammer gun. Okay. He does have the Pretty hammer good. gun. That is true. I I it forgot I forgot dead. about that just now, but I just remembered. So we're good. Just reminding you. All right. Yeah. Anyway, number two, we have the Muko Muko no Mi. <laughs> this is how it started. It was yeah. submitted by Jack. <laughs> we can get past this sentence. It is possible. <laughs> All right. So the English version of the Muka Muka Nomi is the void void fruit. Yes. The user gains the ability of nothing. In other words, he has no powers. Or you could look at it in a whole different way and say that he has the ability of nothingness. You know, from the never ending story. Yes, yeah. I do. Never-ending yep. story. He can turn into nothingness, avoiding all attacks. He becomes invisible and can pass through walls or anything else. He can disintegrate anything into nothingness with a touch and even from a distance. The disintegration speed depends on this, the personal power, of course, just like, you know, every everything else. This is a little so edgy. So basically he touches, yeah, it's this pretty edgy. It's a little edgy, yeah, but it's cool. Yep. And anything that he passes through, he can also, like, disintegrate, like, people or whatever. But, of course, hockey would block this. I mean, I assume. Yeah. He can fly with extraordinary speed and even teleport, which is broken. His awakened power is he can make himself disappear from people's memories. Whoa. Be forgotten by the world completely. All records of his existence will also be ignored or removed. Removed. But that's awakened. And we don't know if awakened Logias are even a thing, so... Yeah, there anyway, probably are. His unique yeah. strength, Logia, is the most intangible Logia there is. Wow, that's pretty. But intangible. I assume Haki will still. Yeah, that, that's very intense. On a scale from one to ten, that's at least a nine on the intangibility. Yeah, on the scale. intangibility scale, yeah, which is a totally real thing. The only weapon in the One Piece world, uh, as far as its unique weaknesses, the only weapon in the One Piece world that will demolish it in one punch is Helmepo's hammer gun. And it also includes that if you eat the fruit, you only have 10 years to live. Time travel what? in any form of immortality will that, not save you because the fruit crazy. can... That's a strange can, condition, but okay. <laughs> it explains why. It's because the fruit consumes you into nothingness. 
and not even your body will remain. But it takes 10 years. <laughs> it takes 10 years because it's very slowly fruit. consuming you. If you're, if you're 85 years old, right, and you're like, you find this devil fruit, I mean, I would eat it at 85 to then have control over voids for 10 years of my life. That'd be amazing. Oh, yeah, or, but or, like... Or you could die one minute later from natural causes. <laughs> that's true, or that too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're like, ah, I'm gonna... <laughs> my fruit's not gonna outlive me. I'm good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <Keep> going. <laughs> Uh, oh, it's pretty broken. I mean, it does have its upsides. Yeah. But it's it's kind of broken. Uh, it's pretty good. All right. I and like this one, actually. The number cool. one Logia. Da 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 It's the Helmeppo with a gun fruit. Now, come on, Nux. This is just it could, ridiculous. It could turn you into Helmeppo's hammer you're, gun. You're nothing but hammer guns. From head to toe, you are nothing but hammer guns. It's a pretty broken fruit. Yeah, no. It is... It is the Oto Oto no Mi but, from Windscar 22. It's the sound sound fruit. Yes. So, so there were I a lot actually of, there did were, get a few a few I, of these. I would imagine. But yes. it is a cool one. But it's cool anyway. The sound sound fruit literally turns you into sound waves. And allows you to manipulate the frequency and stuff. So it can make slices like wind. Like wind scar. Slices. Gets, wind. Gets, 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 <laughs> hey, it's from Windscar. Gets a good ten show. Uh, go ahead. It can shoot off condensed sound bombs and whatever. It can also turn itself into sound, so it can go through things, and it can change the volume and make sound vibrations as well. And then there's some little, you know, random fun fact. The current user, the Oto Otonomi, Jam the Band! Maybe an Oda reference to Pearl Jam. I love that. That's hilarious. I do. I also, that reminded me of Antonio's uh, stand from Diamond is Unbreakable, Pearl Jam. So... Yeah, the the Italian chef guy. Oh yeah, that yeah. guy. The guy that literally <laughs> showed up once and is like, I have this stand that can. A few times. I think. But yeah. I don't think he ever fought or did anything meaningful. Oh. Yeah. Anyway, he's a well trusted member on the on air pirates led by Scratchman Apu. He could have been very well led on the on air pirates and and stuff. Anyway. He uses the sound bombs as a diversion. He throws them and but but this is all based on personal like, you know. Personal. This is the character that has the fruit. But as far as the fruit itself, it's, I think it's, it's really it's, cool. It's a sound based one, yeah. I, I have, like too that its natural enemy is uh, Corazon's old double. Yeah, fruit, right? I read that. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, talked yeah. about that earlier. That yeah. was a cool one. Yeah, how it's uh, it's uh, immune to uh, it can make sound like soundproof bubbles and things. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Things that are soundproof aren't affected by it. Yeah. Yeah. You're doing a great I job. I think it's nice. pretty cool. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, random person. David. His name is David. David Wilson. Thanks, David. Thanks, David Wilson. Very cool. Yeah. This isn't an OC yeah. contest. It's a Devil Fruit contest. Like I said, you can enter in. Like, some people sent in their stuff. I mean, you, oh, yeah, there's no sure. rule against it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, maybe I will do an OC contest someday. Uh, for one are we day. getting Fs? No, we're good. So, no, no, no. We're oh. good. We're good, we're good right the now. chat's slowed a little bit, but we're fine. Yeah, yeah we're that's still, a good sign. We're holding if the chat's slower, that's good. We're holding steady at a good four thousand right now too, so that's pretty yep. good. Yep. So yeah, by the way, right now the current the current uh, the current uh, poll is twenty seven percent Jack and seventy two percent Helmepo with the uh, hammer gun. So look at that reversal right there. Yeah. Yeah, you're still losing. <laughs> Honestly, hey, I I'll think the, I'll take the, the 27% that voted for Jack the well, Drought, they don't realize that Helmepo has the hammer gun. Okay, now we're crashing, but it's all right. Oh, no. Well, see, yeah. that's what happened, man. You guys are joking about Helmepo and Jack, and then suddenly the stream crashes. Helmepo is strong enough yep. to destroy our screen. Yeah. Our well, uh, oh. I guess, uh, hold on. Well, let me, actually, while we're crashing and uh, the world is on fire, let me go pull up all my Paramecia shit. There you go, pull it on up. Yeah, and then we can have everything ready by the time we come back. So yeah, we basically just That's got one it. more category left because uh, then we'd have just the grand prize winner, which is, uh, of course... I'm so excited to talk about the grand prize winner! Ketzel, oh, it's so cool! Quetzalcoatl was what? pretty pretty cool, pretty awesome. Oh, it's so cool. Okay. In any Here case, um, now that I've finished up the Logias, uh, I wanted to thank everyone that submitted Logias because there were even though it's probably the hardest type to be original with i mean they're all basic yeah you know elements basic elements and, or whatever yeah. but i don't know i enjoyed them oh wait well we're still me taking very cool 
we're still oh, stream no, no. is still down it yeah like. yeah yeah it's still uh, no it, i think rather it was back up briefly but then it just immediately mm -hmm. died again um yeah you're probably gonna have to re-upload this yeah unfortunately. that's that's all good though because i have it and uh at least yeah, exactly let me actually hold on let me double check really quick to make sure this is being saved <laughs> that every other stream i've ever done in the history of forever gets saved but just to make double sure yeah not make that sure. I not make that I could sure. do anything about it now anyway. Uh oh my god, please tell me. Yeah, it's being saved. Yeah, it's oh, being saved. It's being saved. Okay. it's being saved. Holy mackerel, that would have been terrifying. <laughs> yeah, Tekking's volume is really hey, low. worst case, we can always do this again. I oh my god. don't Four know. Hours? I don't know why my audio apparently is lower now because I didn't hmm. touch my mic settings at all. So um uh, hmm. neo neo hunsa in the chat says random question were some fruits under a category like logia but felt more like paramecia so they changed uh no it was you would submit for a category and then you were entered in that category so yeah but i did i did get a lot of um i got logias that were not really logias i, so I, and really... I got a couple ancient zones that were classified as mythical um and so you basically had to go through and be like okay which one does this one fall under? Yeah, I had to do that too with zone and tradition. So I didn't include, ancient, if yeah. I got a Logia that was, you know, it sounded a lot more like the, like a Paramecia or whatever, I wouldn't include it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I had like, uh, like that Amoeba one, which isn't, is it, is it traditional zone or is it like ancient? And I was like, oh it, was in the, it, was, it was in the ancient category. And I was like, yeah, okay, I can see that. So I went with it. I yeah. thought for a second you said amiibo. And I'm like, the amiibo, amiibo, amiibo no amiibo, me. Amiibo, amiibo, like, amiibo no me. Turn into a little Mario statue. <laughs> yeah. And then I realized that there is no, I, I made a joke about this on the stream last night. Like there is no book you can buy. Like here's how to judge a devil fruit contest. No, <laughs> you know? no, no, no. Like no. make sure to follow the rule that this think, type of fruit is- I think on the whole, on the whole, I think we did a pretty good job, though, because we I, had to filter through yeah. every single category like, and then look at ones that were unique I, still. I, so, uh, I, I, was I, I was so nervous about this because it's like this is the largest contest I've ever done because when, yeah. when we did the Green Bowl contest, that was like five, 600 entries, but they were all artwork entries. Oh, um, yeah, yeah. It was quick. A lot easier and a lot qu yeah, different than that. Um, I knew because there were just so many moving parts in this that things were going to fall through the cracks, like that one entry that mm -hmm. has over three. I'm like, oh, damn it. And now I'm second guessing, like, oh, crap. Did I seriously, did I check to make sure they all had 300? So I'm like, damn it, damn it, damn it. But oh, I, yeah. I, 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 I knew that some stuff was going to go wrong with this, but uh, the best I could say is at least learn from your mistakes, I guess. And next time I'll try to figure out some more effective way of presenting the, um, entry maybe even setting up a website just like a weebly website or something mm -hmm. catered to just solely entering contest entries and then there maybe i could set up then maybe i could just set up something through the website like i'd have to talk to one of my it friends one of my web design friends that could be like okay we could set it up so it automatically scans the entry for this this and this and this because sending them to my emails directly is getting kind of too it's too much i can handle um but anyway getting apps. Yeah, we're getting Fs again. All right, so I'm going to just go with Paramecia, and yeah, if we can always just, yeah, we can always just um, fix it later. So that'll mm -hmm. be fine. I don't want to lower the bit rate, because if I lower the bit rates, then the actual recording will be lowered as well, and then that's not going to be looking good. Uh, when what, does, yeah. what What is our bit rate right now? Our bit rate is 700, which isn't the greatest, but it's as best as I can get it. Okay. So, uh, this is the first entry in Paramecia. It's number 10. It's the Glass Glass Fruit by a guy by the name of Quentin. So, hi, Quentin. How are you? Um, it it's, it's, looks like a cloudberry. And if you don't want to know what a cloudberry is, uh, this is a cloudberry right here. Cloud, make a square nice. shape. Um, Very cool. Okay. Your ability is you become a glass human. Your entire body becomes glass that you can shape and control, even being capable of reconstituting oneself if shattered. The main weakness, of course, is sound-based attacks, so the Oto Oto no Mi right there, disrupts the user's physical form, sending cracks across their body, even causing pain. The higher the pitch or louder the sound, the more damage they take, and it's harder to reform. Extreme heat and cold can also make them crack, but it doesn't disrupt their physical form like sound does. So sound is like, you're basically like a symbiote from Spider-Man. It's just, sound is not good. Um, when shattered, they can control the glass shards. And uh, using them to either attack or reform. So kind of like Diamond Head from Ben 10, if you know Diamond Head. He could just... Uh, SAD. Yeah, he could yeah, just... Yeah. Do, 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 like a machine gun diamond kind of thing. 
Um, let's see. There can also be transparent, allowing light and lasers to pass through them, but not hot enough lasers can cut the user. Their eyes can see things better than a normal person. Glasses become unnecessary. I wonder if the person that wrote this has glasses, and he's like, oh, by the way, you also don't have to wear glasses anymore. <laughs> um... When fighting, the user can shatter themselves, creating glass shards by sending to send flying at the opponent. They can also turn themselves fully transparent, making them harder to see, but not invisible. So kind of like an outline. Like, you could definitely see, like, a clear, like, you know, like you're looking at a lens. Like, if the light reflects it a certain way, yeah, it's invisible, but other ways you could see it. Um, they can fly as long as there is a shard of decent size on the ground. So kind of like buggies there, but not, like, fly, like, to the sky, but fly, like, float around the general area like buggy can. Yeah. Um, with armament hockey, the user can become bulletproof, uh, glass capable of taking yeah, hits from other hockey users. So bulletproof though, in the one piece world, that's not like a crazy thing, you know, cause yeah, I, I know, I know. Even, even people that, even if you just know tech eye, you can, yeah, you, you're immune from bullets and shit. So yeah, but that's, uh, that's that there. Okay. And that's just a little artwork. Yeah. It kind of reminds me of Mega Man a little bit, the design, yeah. but yeah. Wasn't there? Was there ever a Diamond Man in Mega Man? There might have been at some point. And I never got really into Mega Man. I did. I remember there was Tomahawk Man. That was like when I started to realize they were probably running out of ideas. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, and Hard Man. You can always never forget Hard Man. Uh, let's see. So this is another sound-based one. But this is taking the element of just from sound to songs, just particularly a song. Um, and this is from Ali. Uh, let's see. This is a paramecia type fruit that gives the user various abilities involving their voice and singing. One of these powers is the ability to put people into a trance and lure them in the same way that the sirens of pirate folklore would do. So I like this because that's that's something that would happen. You would hear stories of sailors oh, like... Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just on stage in front of 4,000 people. No, I'm kidding. Ah, oh, shit. Actually, it's closer to 30. <laughs> it's closer to 3,500 now, actually. And yeah, the stream is buffering like hell right now. But yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, it'll be Right at right. the very yeah. end, too, with the big... Uh... By yeah. the way, by the way, since we're on a little bit of a break right now anyway, yeah. and things are loading, yeah. I muted myself and I recounted just to make sure with the grand prize winner, the word count, so we don't have to worry about it. Oh, Grand good. prize winner was at two hundred and ninety three exactly. Good, good, good. Because I was because the the um the grand prize winner you'll see when we get to it, but it's not written. It in looks it. like it's a lot. It yeah. looks like it's a lot, but it's actually not. It's just they wrote in really big letters. It's yeah. two hundred and ninety three, and that's including the extra little things that describe like thickness and weight, and yeah. also the name of the fruit. So two hundred and ninety three exactly. Get fiber optics. I'm like, I try. No, I can't get fiber optics out here. Well, where you're in? Uh, you're in Pennsylvania, right? Yeah. Do they even have Google Fiber? In I actually don't know. It's never come up. I don't know. Probably not. They have internet in Pennsylvania? Well, uh, obviously well, they mostly, internet, but I'm like in the Burbs. I, of, I'm not sure if the Burbs of Philly have fiber. Yeah, we mostly hook up our internet to the trees in, around here, and that's usually how it goes. But yeah, so yeah, I'll just I'm I'm just gonna keep going because we're so close to the end. I'm hoping that by the time we get oh, yeah. to the grand prize, it's a a dry spell where we can actually. You know, it's 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 all good. It's stable. So, oh, yeah. Yeah. But right now there are people saying it's blurry a lot. So all I can say is don't worry about it and we'll upload it when it comes to that. Come when I have it'll probably take a while to upload. But when it does, it'll you know, be all good. All right. So this works similar to, as Nux put it. Yeah. With the Jigglypuff song. But, you know, the uh, sailors back in the day, they would see like, you know, mermaids and things. And it was like, oh, they lured men to their doom and stuff. Mermaids and, are called sea Jigglypuffs. Or uh, <laughs> sea cows or manatees, because that's mostly what they were probably looking at. So, uh, yeah, it, it, it can and use them. And it's are sea Wigglytuffs. So kind of like Brook, except Brook, you know, he uses his power to hypnotize people. That's not really... That is a that is because of his devil fruit, but it's also just because of his soul and his like uh, singing exactly. capabilities. This is a devil fruit exactly. that that's the whole purpose of the fruit is to hypnotize people and knock them out unconscious, um, and knock them out with extremely high notes. Attack names would be based on musical terminology, uh, forte for a powerful vocal blast, ensemble for throwing their voice in multiple locations. So that's pretty cool. The strength of the song song fruit is 
is, is in its variety as it can be used useful in combat, stealth, and defensive situations. Someone with previous musical knowledge or talent can take it even further and create even more powerful notes or more inventive attacks. It's also kind of like a flip side of a Pooh's fruit because a Pooh turns his body into instruments to attack his opponent directly. Like he can make them explode and slice them using, you know, sound from uh, different instruments. This one is more about like just, you know, manipulating their, their mental state. Uh, but she can also do that. Like, attacks based on the brute force of the sound waves would still affect those who can't hear them, but others' attacks would be the siren song and the vocal mimicking. So, oh, yeah, that's another thing. She can mimic someone's voice and, like, hey, guys, over here. And, like, what? And then they attack you. So, yeah. Uh, I think that, yes, there was a devil fruit design that came with this one. So, there we go. This is the song song fruit. I like it. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right. Moving on to the Kose Kose no Mi. This is from Florian. Named after Florian Triangle, I would assume. Uh, let I'm me imagining. pull up the... Oh, where did my sidebar go? Oh, there it is. Uh, da, 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 da. Orion. Paramecia and the Kose. There we go. I didn't have the PDFs ready. All right, so this is a cool one. All right, so it's a character. it's the character character fruit. And it, it swaps people's uh, personalities, but not... Not their personalities. It swaps their uh, like their characters in the series. So allow me to explain this. If Nami and Usopp were to get switched, Nami would still have Nami's memories and everything like that. She would just become really cowardly. And Usopp would still be Usopp, but would become more confident. Or, or slightly more confident, because you know, Nami does get freaked out in certain situations. But, you know, something like that. Uh, but Usopp would not be able to, like, have any of Nami's abilities. Like, he wouldn't be able to draw maps or doing anything. It's it's merely, like, like the character that they are in the series gets switched. So I thought that was a cool kind of thing. Sounds like Law, except not the... Because Law can switch personalities and, like, do a body swap sort of thing. In this situation, it's more of just, like, yeah... Their, uh, their, their One nat- thing I have to say about One Piece that I think Roger actually agrees with is that what? Law needs more feats. 100%. Law definitely needs to do... I think do... all three of us... I agree. All three that. of us love Law, though, right? Uh, I yeah, think that's, like, Law unanimous. Is, all of us Law love is Law. amazing, and it makes me wonder why he doesn't use those feats more, like the body-switching thing. Right? Why didn't he body-switch Treble and Dofi and just, like, okay, that makes this fight infinitely easier now. Uh, I, I, I body-switch like Kaido that, with Hel Meppo. Because they would have... I think a lot of that probably has to do with, like, the will of the user, though, right? Yeah. So if you're in the middle of a fight, as opposed to what he did in Punk Hazard... Where they were kind of like taken aback by it. I would I think assume. It might not necessarily I work. would assume Doflamingo would be aware that Law could do that, and he would probably yeah. be like aware of it, and maybe that would yeah. lessen the ability in some way. You know. Also, based on that last chapter that we just got, it based on nine thirty six with Beppo and the rest of them captured by Kaido. Yeah. I have a feeling we're gonna see a pretty big Law feat very soon. Oh, Law's gonna do something really sweet. He's gonna really like. Nice. Oh, oh, yeah, Law, sure. Like Law... honestly, I would love Law to get a feat the size of like beating one of the calamities. Like, well, I mean, you know. he has a supernova, so it's possible. Also, it's, you know, somebody brought up in the be really chat. Nice. Somebody brought up in the chat that uh, hockey could also block it, and it's possible because yeah, because mm-hmm. the other mm-hmm. one, the other, they were then none of the yeah, Sanji could use hockey, but he was kind of caught off guard. So yeah, yeah and you figure. Um, Oh, uh, yeah, Law, to save Beppo and everybody, all he could really do is that he could just go next to the Yonigashima and then just create, like, a giant, like, room, the same thing he did against Treble and Dofi, and then just swap them out with rocks or whatever, and then boom, done. There you go. You That's know? it. it. It shortens his life, but it's his crew, so I think he would yeah. he would consider that when doing it, you know? Um, mm-hmm. The personality is only switched after the second person is touched. He has to touch his victim's skin. The personality is also switched if the touching is without intention. So... Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter if it's, you know, if you intend to do it or not. The effect lasts, uh, t- kind of like, uh, Deccan's fruit, where he has to touch things. Uh, the effect lasts until the lo- the user loses consciousness or puts both his hands together, which switches the personality back. That kind of res- is reminiscent of Bonclay's fruit, that, uh, you know, Bonclay can, like, switch things back and forth with his hands, like his hands do different mm-hmm. things. If he keeps the personality too long switched, increased by multiple personalities at the same time, he starts losing his own personality. So that's kind of a, a thing. He can keep multiple personalities, but it starts getting kind of mixed up. Kind of like at the end of Helsing when Alucard had all these different personalities in him and it got him all messed up. You know, he was like locked in that. So maybe something on a smaller scale with that. But I thought that was a cool power because it wasn't, 
straight up body switching. It was something like kind of a, a spin on that. All right, that was number eight. Number seven, okay, is the tool tool fruit. So, Samuel, you're a tool. I'm sorry. No, you're not. Uh, but <laughs> no, okay, this was cool. Just Don't for, leave the best way. Just for its simplicity, as you can tell, it's not a very long entry, but it's very simple. The fruit just gives the user the ability to turn his body parts into all kinds of tools. Now, at first you think, like, you know, as long as he's not turning into, like, nuclear bombs or whatever, you know, like, you have a saw and rulers and, like, you want to see something tiny, you could pull out a magnifying glass. Just the utility of this, like a toolbox human, you can see a lot of th a advantages living with that. Swiss Army knife. Especially if you were a carpenter or a shipwright like Frankie. This would be an incredibly useful power to have. You could turn your arm into a saw and your other arm into, like, I don't know, a, like a drill bit or something, and you could fight that way. Like, it's not it's not overpowered, but you could add hockey to it. No. Like, that would be cool to have, you know? So I like that one. Frankie needs this. Yeah, he kind of does. Like, if this fruit... I know Frankie said he didn't want to have... He's like, I'd prefer to swim. But, you know, if Frankie did ever end up encountering a fruit, he might just go with this one. I don't know. Could save more things in his body. Um... So, let's see. The fruit's special weakness is that while you can turn your body parts into tools, you still need the objects you're going to use them to separately. Oh, yeah, so you can't, like, make, like, your body into an infinite number of nails and then use hammers to, like, nail the nails into something. Like, you have to have them separate. Um, you can also not produce subject matter from yourself, like wood. You need to use those things by yourself. So I'm assuming he could make a screwdriver, but it's, like, it's connected to your body and stuff, and you can't take it off and use it like a normal screwdriver. Stuff like that. Oh, wait, you can't, you can't make, you can't pull wood out of your body and build a house with your own body. So, yeah. Awakened form of this power could be that you could produce tools from other surfaces. That would be cool. Like, you're walking around and you step on nails and stuff. Have you ever stepped on a nail? <laughs> uh, not pointing up. Okay. I've stepped on many a cosplay pins in my day. That's, uh, horrible. When you get a pin stuck in the back of your foot, oh my god. Yeah, I have stepped... I've never stepped on an actual nail. Because if I stepped on a nail, I would have to go to, like, the emergency room for, like, a tetanus shot or something. But I have stepped on, a, uh, like, a push pin, like a thumbtack. But it, it, I went all... I stepped on it hard, and it went all the way through. So I lifted up my foot, and it's sticking out, like, the push pin. And this happened... Ah! Yeah, yeah. This happened when I was, like... I was also a little kid. I was probably, like, 10 years old. And I thought I was dying. I thought, like, because there's a foreign object permanently, not permanently, but there's a foreign object sticking out of my body. And my friend Ian was in the room, and I'm like, Ian, you have to go get my dad! And Ian's like, Matt, just pull it out. It'll be fine. Like, no! Ian! Ian, I'm gonna die! You have to go get my dad! Oh my god! And he's like, dude, seriously. And he just pulled it out, and I was bleeding a little bit. And he's like, just put a band-aid on it. You'll be fine. The question is, <laughs> is that the foot that you use to kick the praying mantis? Because if that's the case, oh! then karma... I think it was. There I can. Go. I can tell Only you. Only possible solution. I can tell you. I kicked the praying mantis with my right foot because that's my. That's what my kicking foot is. Whenever I have to kick small insects or relatively large insects, I use my <laughs> right foot. But I don't know if it was my right foot I stepped on. I seem to recall it being so, though. Yeah, that that sucks. It's not checking's fun. right foot reserved for kicking insects and small rodents. One, yeah, one nail went through all the way in my foot. Mom was mad because I put a hole in my shoe. Yeah, my mom's done that before. Like, I'll hurt myself or I'll get sick, and she'll be more mad about, like, something trivial rather than my illness. <laughs> like, uh... Your hand got chopped off and there's blood all over your shirt! Kind of! <laughs> like, I remember I had a really bad stomach virus in middle school, and I was just... It was horrible. Just puking everywhere. You're sick, you know? It's this horrible stomach virus. And I'm puking, and my mom's more concerned. Like, you're getting it on the sink! I'm like, Mom! My Oh my god, my it's horrible. My stomach feels like I'm being in fire right now. Could you just, like, leave or console me or something? Ah, and it was horrible. But I can understand where she's coming from. Somebody just, you know, she's like, just use the toilet for the love of God. I'm like, yeah, okay, good idea. So, yeah. Anyway, so that's the tool tool fruit. Not much really to else talk about here. This is definitely under 300 words. Um, actually, let me check. Uh, oh, it doesn't say. Oh, no, 133. Uh, so we're good. 183. We're good. Okay. So moving on now down to the Genki Genki no Mi. Oh, Genki Deska. Okay. So uh, Beautiful. Mark. Mark wrote this one. And uh, this is uh, also kind of an energy fruit, kind of like kinetic, you know, energy, but it's like different versions of energy. So have you guys ever read Toriko? There's a character named Brunchy in Toriko. Nope. 
Well, I like that guy's uh, name. Uh, yeah, Munchy? it is a brush. Because you realize that the last fruit, the tool tool fruit, you could technically make Helmeppo's hammer gun. Oh my! Oh God. shit! Stop that's a me? that's broken as hell. I gotta, I gotta maybe take that. Yeah, I gotta maybe I, di- oh my! I gotta maybe disqualify that one because uh, that's it's pretty. Just- dumb overpowered you know that tool to fruit it's taking it too far man i mean i know overpowered fruits weren't against the rules but that's just taking it too far you know what Whew. i mean all right like, i don't know i i think that the devil fruit that give the literal devil fruit that gives you three wishes unless you wish for a hammer gun it's got nothing on the tool tool fruit <laughs> but anyway yeah so this is okay so brunchy from Torico. He has the power to, like, convert things into energy for himself. Like, if he's getting smacked around, he can turn that into energy. He can take the wind and turn that into his own energy. So I kind of saw similarities with that in this. Energy is classified in two forms, potential and kinetic, uh, and ten types. You got thermal, electric, sound, magnetic, mechanical, radiant, gravitational, elastic energy. Ooh, Luffy, you could power an entire city. Mm. Chemical and nuclear. I keep saying nuclear, and people's like, why do you say nuclear? I'm like, because that's how I said it my whole life, and I don't really know any other way to say it, and saying nuclear takes too much effort. So, nuclear. Um... The user cannot become intangible in any way, so it's not a logia. I love how he put that in there. So he's like, oh, no, no, it's not a logia. It's different from the other ones. Um, the greatest strength is that the user has the ability to transform in any of these form of, in any of these types into any uh, other one, depending on the situation. The person can convert non-destructed forms of energy to destructive ones in combat situations and vice versa. So I would imagine, like, you know, he can convert, like, um, mechanical energy or light energy. Maybe if he absorbs enough light, he can fire, like, a laser. Not as strong as, like, Kizaru, and it would take a long time to charge, but you could mimic something like that. Um, Let's see here. Uh, and also, kind of, you have to be a little clever of this, too. Like, where are you getting this energy from? So it's like a little bit of intermittent knowledge of the fruit. Um, let's see. The person can, can yeah, blah, 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 blah. And uh, right here, yeah. Uh, for story progression or plot progression, i.e., you know, there's no light in this cave. I'll use the heat from the environment or, like, the potential energy from in the rocks. You know, something like that. You know, because ener- energy is in everything. There's energy in this plum right now trying to maintain the shape of a plum. You know? So I was thinking about just taking a bite out of this, but I don't know. Maybe later. Uh, a weakness to this fruit is that the user can only contain a limited amount of energy inside of his or her body. Law of conservation. Um, so he can't store the power of a nuclear weapon in this thing or something. Um, similar to Gear 4's 10-minute rest thing. So there's yeah, you can't you use it. You're going to have to rest for a little while. Um, so the user cannot take all the heat energy in a lot body of water and freeze it like Aokiji. But they are able to do this for a limited amount of water. Right, so they could you could use that power to freeze things, but not like on the level that he could. So sure. yeah, so just uh, you know, Genki Genki or energy, you know, kinetic powers nice. and stuff like that. I liked it. E equals MC squared. Yep. Number five. Okay, Doctor Stone. This was fun. Yeah, I love Doctor Stone. Uh, I still got to read Doctor Stone too. I've heard so many good things. It is so good, and the anime is coming out in July, so Ooh. that's gonna be a lot of fun. And the soundtrack and everything from it seems like it's gonna be pretty damn good. So I'm looking nice. forward to it. I'm excited. So this is one from the. Uh, oh, by the way, did I specify who Mark? Yeah, Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. He did the Genki. We got a lot of marks in this. <laughs> um, this is the Choco Choco no Mi from TLN, which stands for the Liberal Nihilist, I believe. So. Come on, man. I was going to say the last neutron, but okay. The last neutron. Uh, it has the ability to create and manipulate chocolate, but it's a cool way they did this. I think I actually got two chocolate fruits that also I actually got a few chocolate fruits also. Yeah, this, I got no. a few chocolate fruits that basically, um, could, like depending on the type of chocolate, did a different ability, and I'm a sucker for things like that, so... Mm. Um, it allows the user to manipulate how white or dark the chocolate is in percentage. Becoming white chocolate, it allows, it allows you to taste better than dark chocolate. So it's like Hershey chocolate. This is solid chocolate that is strong and malleable into shapes. So you can make, like, I don't know, a hammer out of chocolate and attack with it. I'm glad he changed the yeah. name Hershey because I don't want to get copyright here. I mean, I, I can't use right. the name Hershey. <laughs> Fodu. This, this is liquid chocolate. It can move quickly but has no offensive capabilities. Um, so you just, like, splash chocolate on your opponent and you'd be like yum uh dairy milk chocolate <laughs> the ultimate attack this is whipped chocolate it is extremely sticky and can be thrown at an opponent in order to Im- immobilize them i don't think that's how you spell immobilize but i'll roll with it hey, 
We we don't judge spelling here. Yeah, I don't. I turned off the spell check because otherwise, you know. And you also have to keep in mind, a lot of these people, English is not their first language, so obviously they might have like I I, I wasn't judging this for accuracy with spelling. Um, no. Yeah. You're judging on the idea of the fruit. Exactly. Yeah, air, airified chocolate. This is chocolate with bubbles in it. With this chocolate makes impact with an opponent, it can explode from the bubbles. I think that was the sole reason I picked this one. It's just exploding chocolate bubbles. This oh does seem like a God. devil fruit. This sounds like one that we would have had in Whole Cake. I know, like, right? That's why I included it. didn't have a chocolate fruit, yeah. Chocolate! Chocolate! <laughs> um... <laughs> Because if you ever had, I don't know if they still sell them for, but for some time there, Hershey put out like an airified bubble chocolate where you could buy oh, it. Oh, delicious! Yeah, it's the really bubble. I bought. I, I had a few of them, and it was super fluffy. It was delicious. But anyway, uh, the weakness of the fruit is that when you want to create chocolate, you have to always say choco choco, and then the type of chocolate. So that could take some time, and you're in the middle. Hey, of that the that's probably the character. Whichever character eats this fruit, that's gonna be his laugh, also. So. Yeah, like choco, 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 yeah. choco, 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 choco. Because you like yeah. you think about if you think about all the weird things. Because there are like like example like Bong Clay has to use his hands. Uh, Deccan has to use yep. his hands. Think about Cracker. Cracker can make crackers, but he has to do the. He has to clap. He has yeah. to clap in order to make them as a weird kind of prerequisite. I don't know why, but it's there. So having to say the name, sure, that makes sense. That's um, fine, Choco Choco. Were we supposed to send documents? No, I turned it into a document. No. You could have, you could have just sent me an email with the text. In fact, I think this one was sent to me as an email with a text. Yeah, most. I think most of ours were just emails that were turned into documents. And most yeah. of mine. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. So that was number five. Okay, number four, battery, battery. Okay, so this one I got a few battery, battery fruits, but I like the idea, so I definitely wanted to include one on here. Uh, what it does allows users to generate and store energy in their bodies. So similar to the other one, but I just, I don't know. I like the aesthetic of having a battery human. Cause I don't know. This is one of my ideas that I've had thrown around for a while as like a character. And I also like the battery men in Yu-Gi-Oh. So Nux, you'll know about like battery, yes, battery, man, <laughs> battery man D, battery man nine volt, battery man triple A. Triple A. Yeah. And then there's that spell yeah. card, which is like battery charging unit or whatever, and they all come to together. Be fair, they suck though. Like they were useless. Oh, they do, hundred percent. But they look kind of neat, you know. <laughs> and also, they're not as bad as like great moths, so we're okay. Everybody's anxiety is starting to get to them now because I can imagine there was a lot of people. Because that's the yeah, the paramecia was the largest category. So there's. Oh yeah. I mean, if you think about it, twenty two hundred entries, something narrowed down to ten. This was not easy, and do not think of this as, like, these are objectively the ten absolute best ones I got. Um, no, yeah. There is really no objectivity with this, honestly. Um, no, it's a judging contest. Right, can yeah. I also just, like, give a shout-out to... Yeah. Uh, Go ahead. You'll, you'll remind me, since you're the One Piece encyclopedia. The guy that, in uh, Fishman Island, that whatever he threw, flew at uh, whoever Vander he touched Deccan. with his Vander Deccan. Deccan. Vander Deccan. Yeah, Deccan him. Yeah. That is such a wacky ability. I always, I actually came up with a problem with that, and it was never explained by Oda. So he explained, like, anything I touch becomes a target for things I throw. It's like, okay. And so let's say he touches, like, a table and uses that as the target. And then anything he throws will go at that tar at that target. But I'm like, okay, yeah, but then if you pick up a pair of scissors to throw at the table, doesn't the scissors then get marked as the new target? Dum dum dum. Because everything you I mean, I... I, I actually did think of that, but I may be wrong. Oh, did, wasn't it that wait, whatever that... his right hand touched no. is the target? No. Whatever he throws with his left hand no, flies it, in? No, it? it is, um, it's, both of his hands uh, make new he targets. He had a glove on one. Yeah, I because, thought he had a glove on yeah, one, Yeah, right? he did, because he touched Shirahoshi ten years ago, and he couldn't let there that, he go. couldn't let the glove touch anything That's else, right. so he put right, the glove right. on. But then wouldn't the target change to the glove? I'm just like, <laughs> I'm confused on how this works. All right, fair uh, enough. But can he throw the hammer gun? <laughs> hammer gun's probably too heavy. It's like Thor's hammer on steroids. Yeah, is Helm Epo. it's like Thor's hammer times like a billion. So, yeah. The, <laughs> At least. The, the battery, battery fruit, though. Right at the moment of eating the fruit, your base hey, power... Battery fruit. Your base power will become thirty percent. All right, so it's a fruit that basically has it's a numbers game. You gotta pay, you gotta pay attention to your fully charged moments and stuff. And I like it because I'm not a huge fan of math, but I like the use of math. So the more charge you gain, the more passive boost to your physical stats, speed, and strength you gain, and up to five x at ninety nine percent of the charge. So 
you know, you have to use math and shit to calculate out how much energy you have. But, you know, you can understand. Like, if you're at 30% at your, like, like resting, you can understand 100%, like, what that's going to do. It makes you stronger, faster, and all that stuff, but you have to charge and stuff first. Oh, yeah. You can transfer some of your charge to other living things in order to buff their stats for a short time. So, Luffy, I'm giving you 10% of my power, so go and punch that thing harder than you usually do. Hilarious, because um, you know the meme that I was only using 80% of my power. That's what this you know? is, basically, yes. Uh, I'm it watching, has the built-in meme. I'm watching um, Yu Yu Hakusho again. I'm re-watching Yu Yu Hakusho. Oh, like, man, Taguro was the biggest defender. Of for, like, 17%, for the 17th time in my life. And, yeah, they changed it. I love how they did this. They changed it in the dub from the sub. So when Yusuke is fighting Taguro... And he goes all super muscly, like his shoulders get shoulder pads just from muscle alone. You yeah. know, and he's just, he gets these tubes coming out of his neck, like, <gasps> you know. Yeah. In the original, I think he says, this is 100% of 100%. Like, kind of like how Frieza did it. And in the dub, he changed <laughs> it. So it's like when he, because there's like his buff form. And then he goes into like, he's basically turned into metal. Like he goes like into that silver form, like his body becomes straight up metal. And that's his final form. And when yeah. he does that in the, in the dub, it's like, I'm just kidding. What I said was 100 before was more like 80. No, I remember that. It was that more was like 85. And I'm like, oh, God, at least they kind of fixed it. I think I, you know, it was so funny. It's and he flexes his muscles even more, and he becomes even stronger. He's like, remember when I said that I was at 100% before? <laughs> I lied. I was actually at only around 85%. Yeah, yeah. This 100% of 100%. 100%. Oh, God. We crashed again that, while we were in the middle. His, uh, that's one of his moves in Jump Force, right? 100% of 100%. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah Frieza did that same thing too against Goku, where he's like, "Well, this is it. this yeah. is my this is my final form, but it's not one hundred percent of my final form." I'm like, "Oh God, all right." Yeah, sure, whatever you say, man. Whatever you say, Toriyama. <laughs> it's cool. You're Toriyama. All right. So yeah, you get a, a boost decrease of power. Um, you know, depending on how much power you have access to and things. If you fall below 30%, your physical stats will begin to decrease. So you got to keep an eye out for that. Uh, you need to periodically release some of your energy to avoid an overcharge. If you get to 100%, if you go over that, that could be a detriment to you. And you're weak around heat because I don't know if you know this, but heat's not good for batteries. It can actually really damage the internal workings of them. So, um... Yeah, that's the battery, battery fruit. You turn into a battery human. Batteries are cool, and you got to keep track of math, but it's pretty neat. No, stop lagging. If I could, if I could control it, I could. We're up to ten thousand drop frames now, which is. Nothing. I think it might be because when I was telling my internet guy, I was like, I might be doing this stream from like four to seven, uh, and I, I figured we might be done by then, which we're almost done. But it's now seven thirty, so yeah. But okay then. He's letting it go. He's just like, he, he abandoned the crank. He's like, well, I'm done with right, it. Stop <laughs> cranking. <laughs> exactly. Oh, man. Okay. So now moving on to the top three. All right, this is this is the one I was talking about, about absorbing things. This is the Chroma Chroma no Me uh, by Menino. And this is, um, this is actually one. They sent me a PDF, but they also used pictures, which are cool because people like pictures. Okay, by eating this yeah. fruit, the user gains the ability to absorb color in objects by placing their hands on any surface. So, red, you get fire powers. Orange, you get heat powers. Yellow, you get light powers, but not laser beams like he's. Like, don't think of these like you get the you get fire and you automatically you're on the same level as Sabo or, or something or Akainu. No, it's not like that. It's just okay. like you can make fire, you can throw fireballs, but you can't turn into fire. You can't do dying Kai or anything like that. It's just like a lower stats of each of these individual abilities. Um, so yellow is light with like not laser beams, but can you use to light areas and blind foes, that kind of light. Green is slime, sends out green sticky slime. Think of Stinkfly from Ben 10. Water, the user still has a water weakness, but they are just able to eject water from their body like little little sprinklers, I guess. Uh, explosions, ex essentially just Mr. 5. And ice freezes things. Uh, black hole, uh, white just freezes things, sorry. Um, uh, black, black holes, not a black beard kind of black hole. It just creates a gravitational pull to where it hits. So maybe like the attack is called black hole just to sound cool, but the ability is really just like, you know, it's, it's a magnet kind of like it absorbs forces and things. It doesn't get sucked in for the rest of eternity or whatever. Uh, brown is dirt. It ejects dirt or sand and then air just blows stuff. 
you can't absorb colors from living beings. Um, this is a limit to the amount of color essence you can contain in your body at once. The max amount of colors that can be contained in your body simultaneously is two. So you can't have, like, yeah, you have a lot of different abilities to work with, but you can't store every single one in your body at once. Um, and it can be very versatile. Colors can be combined. And that's, uh, oh, me, no, pray, coffee, dough. Okay. And they also sent me pictures of this. I see. So I'm going to show I like this one. Yeah. It's like you, you play so, a game of Twister and all of a sudden, you know, you're blowing fire and farting oceans. Yeah. It's a little diagram here of how this works. I just realized I didn't really, I checked the word count for a lot of the uh, ones that were in the word documents, but I think for the PDFs, I think mm. I forgot to check that. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, well, we'll see. Um, oh, you can't worry about. I mean, people are people are getting really, I mean, really I, salty. I, 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 I know, I know, about but, it, but it's, don't worry about it. It's a rule don't worry that I it. it's a rule that I set, and I don't like to do it. It's just like there were so many things to do here. I just forgot to check the PDFs yeah, no. and a lot don't, of other shit. Don't beat yourself up checking. You you yeah. went through a massive <laughs> undertaking to put this together. Do not beat yourself up over that. That's yeah. it. Okay. Well, you know that's how it is. I guess I can't go back now. We're already here. So. Be fair, to be fair, they're more like guidelines than rules. There you go. Now, there you go. I, I literally all. labeled them. Exactly. I, liter I literally labeled them as <laughs> duh rules. So yeah. But you know, I get <laughs> but then to, again, it's like you know the the code is more like guidelines. I get to you know I get to a lot of these so, ones. I think like, you're okay. Like, like the chroma one, I get to this chroma one, and I'm like, this is fucking cool. You know, so I put it in there, and you know, uh. Maybe next time I won't do it. You know, to be fair, though, this is the first time I've ever done a word limit, I think. If I've ever done a word limit before, it's it's a lot. it was a lot more of a word limit than the one I did here. Yeah, I was thinking maybe 500, oh, yeah. oh, 500, yeah. 500 words, but I, I went with 300 instead. Uh, maybe, yeah, the next the next contest won't have a word limit, or if it does, it's going to be different than this word limit. But anyway. Also, question, t uh, teching to you. Real yeah, quick. go ahead, go ahead. If you have OBS open somewhere, yeah, um, you should minimize it because that will cut lag in half. You know what, Roger? <laughs> I think you might have just solved every lag problem I've ever had in the history of eternity. Um, because whenever I do a live stream, I leave XSplit open so I can read the comments. No, so over you need XSplit. to minimize. You need to minimize it and then have the comments open as a pop up. And turn off Discord because Discord will take up a lot of CPU too. And make sure Photoshop right. is closed. Right. Well, as I can't well, close this. I, I can't, I can't close Discord now because I'm talking to you guys over it. Oh, no, I can, of course, I can, of course. I can yeah, minimize yeah. it, but yeah, that's all I can do. Um, yeah, exactly. Minimize is what I meant. Yeah, yeah. Let me. Well, hold on. Let me move one of these tabs. Because that, so that would most likely fix a lot of it. All right. Well, I don't know if that'll work. I've never thought of that before, so we'll see. Uh. No, nope, it still says drop frames detected. Well, whatever. We're almost near the end. Well, no, so the, the video output low thing is always going to say that on YouTube. Don't worry about that. It's you have to worry about OBS. No, that's or what it XSplit, says. That's I what it said on. That's what it said on OBS or XSplit. It told me that's. Oh, yeah, yeah. See, that's okay. the problem. Okay. I don't pay attention to the YouTube bar too often because it's like it tells me I'm yellow, but I'm streaming fine. It tells me red when I'm streaming okay. So I don't know. Yeah, but anyway, it's weird. But anyway, let's just get through some of these. So yeah, this is uh, this yeah. is the uh, purple power. And this is combining powers. You can take yellow and blue to make green, which is the slime power, and that's the fruit. So there's that. That's the chroma chroma no me. All right, it's better. Teching, don't worry. It's looking better. Okay, good, good, good. I'm hoping it stays this way. There you go. See, it's all about minimizing. That's it. I'm, I'm telling you. I'm hoping it stays this way so we can get to... God, I, I wish you would have told me this like two years ago. <laughs> Well, I thought it was minimized, but I was thinking of all the things while we were talking that could well, help. I, I always thought I always thought it doesn't matter if it's minimized because the the program is still running, so I didn't think that mattered. No, because it's showing it's showing the images like on your screen. It's basically doubly rendering them. It's rendering it once and then it's sending it that, off to XSplit or OBS. That could have made that could have made so many yeah. of those charity streams. Oh, easier. as someone who's never used OBS before, that's very cool. Yeah. <laughs> well, what do you use to record your stuff, XSplit? I never stream. Oh, ever. that's right. Yeah. Cause... Wait, no, you do the Rat Cafe. What are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, no, that's oh, on. Actually, I don't do it anymore. Other, um, I'm part of it, but it's on Twitch. Yeah. And it's through oh. Google Hangouts. That's Animax. Oh, okay. That's uh, Animax. Okay. Thing, and also, I don't initiate it. I never initiate mm -hmm. it. I just, like, join the call. That makes sense. Yeah, okay. you're just, like, the first mate of the Anime Rat Cafe. Um... Exactly. Okay. So, whoop. 
Okay, almost knocked over Law's sword again. Okay, so, two. There's two left. All right, we got the Pose Pose fruit from Falcon with a punch. Okay, so this one, pretty cool. You store various poses in your body, and you can release them whenever you want. So, for example, if you throw a punch, you could throw, you could store that punch and then just walk up to somebody and activate the pose, and then BOOM! Like, the kinetic energy of that punch gets stored. I, I, you can see I'm a really big fan of attacks that can store things and use them later. I'm a fan of that. Um, you can uh, store a jumping pose, and then jump with said jumping pose. Um, for the shift, though, you must visualize where the body will be after you activate it. So if you're going to be activating a jumping position, you have to kind of visualize, okay, well, where am I going to end up with that jump? Um, so you don't, like, overlap with a wall or a tree or something. That's, like, I love teleportation powers, but a lot of teleportation powers, you'd be afraid of, like, getting end up stuck in a tree or something. Like, your, your, your molecules would be bounded and you'd be dead that way. So, Yeah. Hockey compatibility. Armament hockey is stored in poses. Cool. The user That's can, really cool. Yeah. The user can coat specific body parts while storing poses. Use it more efficiently. So same basic thing, except you can use it with hockey. Um, and they have a technique called pose cheese. Let's the user store a pose they are maintaining up to 20. If they want to store a new one, a pose must be replaced. Okay. So this is uh, like uh, Mr. Two, once again, referencing him. He could, uh... oh, man. Oh, wait. No. Okay, streams back, yeah. Um, they, uh, you know, he could store, I guess, an infinite number of faces with his fruit, and it was referenced, like, he has a save feature, like, he remembers every single one. Um, but this one, there's a hard limit. You're saying one. it's basically, it's not JoJo poses. It's not, like, cool poses. Well, you could use the JoJo poses, but I don't know how useful they would be in combat, but you could use them, sure. They're pretty intimidating, not gonna lie. Yeah. I like this one, because I just like to think... It's simple at first, but it's like all the crazy things you could do with it. You could use poses involving, mm -hmm. like, weapons and things, maybe. The jumping I like poses. it a lot. I could, yeah, and I thought about it in that JoJo context, where you could be having a character that makes all these crazy poses, but it's not just, like, a quirky thing they do. It's actually part of their ability, so... Maybe it's just the JoJo fan in me, but that's what I went with. All right, and then finally, we have... Number one, which this this should not surprise any soul why I picked this as number one. You'll be able to tell immediately. <laughs> be able to tell immediately why I picked this at number one. Though there is a really good reason for it, and that is, and there was a few of these too because I know they're, they're, people knew what I like, so they're gonna send me. And no, it's not the boob boob fruit, which there were a few of those too. And I'm like, all right, I appreciate the opi opi no me. I was yeah. waiting for him. Yeah, there was like an opi opi no me. It's like, hey, he touches someone, he gives them big boobs. I'm like even inanimate objects and things and i'm like i see what you're doing there but yeah fair enough i understand but moving on so it was the map map fruit by felix because Woo! geography is everything geography is everything to the very <laughs> we didn't see this one coming the very last breath and there's a picture of it which i love because it's a picture of topography with the n at the top of it with north so i love the design of the fruit all right so here's how this works, okay? You basically can summon various compasses and things on your body. So you got compasses pointing to things. You can only point to living things. You got to know their name. Uh, so you can't just say point to Raftal or point to the One Piece. That's not how it works. Um, and also it's important to mention this fruit will only tell you how to get to that location through the shortest means. So like, let's say you wanted to go to somewhere where, like, let's say, uh, Sabo, like, you know Sabo, you say Sabo, the compass will point to Sabo, but you still have to, like, go through the red line and things, like, it doesn't give you the best way for you to travel there, it just gives you the best way, the shortest way, straight line, how to get there. Um, now, the compass needles can also be used as weapons, and I love this, because this reminded me of Hancock's love fruit. The main purpose of the love fruit is she, sh she shoots out that love beam, but she can also literally use hearts as, like, bullets, like pistol kiss, and she can, like, shoot them as actual weapons. So that's cool. Like, you pull out compasses, and they start spinning really fast, and, like, you use them as, like, buzz saws and blades and things, slicing up things. That's cool. Compass needles won't, po uh, won't you know, guide you to dead people, so you can't just, like, take me to the Tomb of Ace or take me to Brook. That won't work. Uh, the objects having names, it can't be located, so one piece, obviously. Um... 
And if the user uses their own name as the basis for this, they'll basically just make a needle that'll spin rapidly, which can be used for fighting. Um, fantastic ability to navigate the world of One Piece, especially navigators or bounty hunters would love to have this fruit. It could kind of serve as a substitute for observation hockey and track opponents during battle. Also, invisible opponents like Nami or Absalom wouldn't be a problem. That is true. You could just detect them that way. Uh, not knowing a name or knowing the wrong name can lead to dead ends. Even the user knows the first name of someone. It's risky to rely on that fruit. Yeah, it is. Because you still, like, once again, you don't know exactly where they're at. It, it could take you, like, yeah, it could guide you to Sabo, but it could take you to this island where it's, like, full of just sheer death. And it's like, ah, crap, I'm not prepared to be here. You know? It's, it's useful. It's not overpowered no. in any way. And it's no, a really cool idea. I don't think it's overpowered. I think it's something that I could see a character walking around with a bunch of, like, compasses and needles sh you know, sticking out of their body and pulling out things to use to fight and then just having like a bunch of compasses coming out of their arms to like point to various locations and, and things um, so yeah I love that one uh, magnetic or ion based powers could interfere with it because of the way compasses work with magnetic poles and things uh, and it won't navigate around it's so lines. are yeah. we up to the I think we are big I think we actually are. I think we are. Oh my god. We are. We're good. We can get this done in under four hours, which is good, because I was thinking three to I was thinking three to four hours. But yeah, good. All right. So, uh are we currently lagging? <laughs> Let me check. Uh we dropped twenty one thousand freaking frames. <laughs> oh that's painful oh well that's, that's about how many viewers we dropped too oh <laughs> so. well yeah yeah we're about i mean it's because of the refreshing so I wouldn't yeah worry we're too down much to that. half right now i in normal circumstances i would just end the stream and start it back up but if we do that it'll split the recording as well and that might you know so yeah don't we're, do that. we're almost done and i would really prefer that people could see the grand prize <laughs> Yes. but i could always upload it and and that's fine but it's just like people are going to be sitting there like damn it now we have to wait longer i'm like yeah s s s sorry <laughs> oh but there are some this people, is so sad. there are some people in here that are being like we did it right at the end too it's terrible right at the very yeah, end i'm gonna give it I'll, i'm gonna give it a little while because who knows maybe an internet guy crank harder crank harder internet guy All you right, can so do I'm it gonna, gumbare, gumbare. i'm gonna minimize that for right now and take that away for the moment while i set up the grand prize winner while we wait for my drop frames to be fixed a hundred percent um oh man oh god okay well i have it we'll ready. sit here night and day until that happens well i can eat this plum <laughs> oh now it just now the stream just died yeah it's just that stream is completed oh wait no it's resuming no it's completed oh uh, f for fun pull through the internet i still have faith as soon as we get it back, I need to, like, immediately do it. Like, okay, we got internet. Good. Let's do it. Let's oh, do it. Let's do it. Let's go. Um, yes, we made it. Are we good, guys? I don't think we're good, but, you know, he's dead, Jim. Did you make sure to, did you make sure to minimize your chat? The chat is running. Well, I have the chat on. Oh, my I was going to say, if you have multiple chats up, that can really do it. That well, can screw it up. I have not on my... Hold on, I'm just making sure I don't... If I close this, it's not going to do anything. Okay. Oh, yeah, see, yeah. Def, yeah, you don't need that. Yeah, yeah, close that for sure. Let's see. Because I still want to read the chat on my laptop. Well, I, I can read the chat. Me and Nux can both have it open. We'll yeah, read okay. it out for right. you. Let but me, uh, well, then, if it's bothering you. Yeah, I don't know. If right now, help. we have a lot of Fs. Yeah. Yeah, it's all just Fs. It's like, it's like Houston, we have Fs. Um, all right, well, if that's the case, <laughs> tell you what. I'm going to turn off the Wi-Fi on my laptop here. And, uh, oh, that might help, too. That might help, too. And I have... Uh, let me just look through everything I don't need. Okay, that's a PDF. I don't need to keep that open. That's exploit. I need to keep that open. Yeah, it is. I, I, need, yeah, it is. I need to keep Discord open so I can talk to you guys. I can close that. All right, so this is pretty much everything I don't need. And we're at 25,380 drop frames. But we're holding steady, apparently. Um so yeah that sucks we were at like five thousand. now we're at two thousand. but still 2, yeah 000. we were killing it still that's that's higher than an average uh stream i do and it's just a you know oh yeah for sure yeah 
All right. Uh, but what what are people saying? Hold on, I can pull up chat on my phone because that's 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 four Gs. That doesn't affect my internet. There at you all. go. Yeah, that doesn't affect my internet at all. I got emails. I'm trying to get health insurance because I'm gonna be 26 next month. I gotta. You don't that. have health insurance? I do, but it's covered under my dad because you know obviously oh, yeah. you don't get YouTube yeah. health insurance, unfortunately. So that's so uh, crazy. You're three years younger than me. Yeah, I'm twenty. I'm twenty five. I'm gonna be twenty six. Wow! Next I week. just turned. I just turned twenty nine on the ninth. So yeah, that's I know. Crazy to me. Yeah. I know. That's the thing. We were we were talking about that in a stream once. Like I forgot how old you were. I thought you were younger than me. Yeah. So uh, no. Yeah, me, Etika, and Shofu are all the exact same age. Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I can actually. Oh, it actually seems like it's back on my phone. I can actually see it. Yeah, it's working on mine too. I can see that. It's, I can see it's, everything. It's kind of yeah. It's kind of laggy, but it's there um close the chat and yeah, so long I, as you're recording yeah if you're recording then i know fine. i know yeah. i just it's for the sake of uh teching stop streaming on the moon i'm like damn it all right i'll come back to earth <laughs> uh just delete all your hentai I, I actually i disconnected all my hentai from my computer so uh we'll be good <laughs> uh all right, I, I'm just going to go for it at this point. And also, if you're watching this as a recording, that served as the the build-up to, like, da, uh, da, 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 da. Okay, so this is the winner of the contest. Uh, it is a mythical zone, and I'll let Roger take care of it for the most part, but let me just introduce it here. Grand prize winner, the mythical, heavy, heavy, no me, the snake, snake, fruit model, Quetzalcoatl. Not Quetzalcoatlus, which was the giant pterodon thing we talked about. No, this is a mythical rainbow feather dragon by Javier. So take it away, Roger. Oh, so I, oh, I'm, you're giving it to me? If you want to read it's it. it's your content. It's, oh, of it's, course I'll I read it. I figured you're so, yeah. the one that knows the most about it, so we could just go that direction with it. Sure. Sure. Um, yeah, go ahead. Sure. So the uh, grand prize winner was the Mythical Zone Heavy Heavy No Me model uh, Quetzalcoatl, which yeah. is the ancient Mexican god of the wind. And basically this fruit transforms you into a giant feathered snake with enormous wings and the power to control air currents, making you the master of the sky. Anyone who dares challenge you to a flying fight will be at your mercy, especially if they are not adept in observation hockey, for you can be as fast and unpredictable as the wind itself. And a couple of quick things I want to note. One, look at the amazing design of this devil fruit. Yeah. Look at that. It looks like feathers coming off of just, it. It's beautiful. Just, just the fact that it's written out like a scroll, that's pretty cool. Oh, you know, it's awesome. Like, yeah, because like I said, we got a lot of mythical zones that were like this because the Technic whole... Technically doesn't make this the winner because it's written so nicely but it no, is no, very no, it cool regardless yeah. it's the winner because and, of the content yes. but it's also presented great wait until we get to the and other we're part we're going to bring this up a little bit later i was going to say we'll bring this up a little bit later with the yeah. um, with the scroll and everything but it's going to seem like it's over the word count it's not no, he it's exactly it. 293 words so it's within the parameters for the word count so on the next page we can see uh, he actually can shoot wind bursts up to 600 kilometers an hour. And another ability that you can, you can master is Storm Breath, which basically works like Luffy's gears. So you can have Storm Breath of varying intensities from Fuji to zero, all the way up to Fuji to six, and strong enough to rip trees easily from the ground and much more. It's a handy devil fruit when it comes to sailing, because not only can you push a ship through the ocean, but an entire fleet if you've trained one. That is incredible that you can push ships on the ocean. That is incredibly overpowered in a world where people are sailing constantly. Exactly. So I thought that was really cool so, that they clarified. Yeah, it's a snake. Oh, it's a snake, but it can fly, and you could just basically rule the wind. So there, that's that's your mythical exactly. power. Yeah, you wind control. Exactly. It says your awakening form also allows you to summon a hurricane or a tornado, and your opponents will have a hard time surviving that. So, I mean, obviously, being able to summon hurricanes and tornadoes is, is pretty amazing. Yeah, it is. Um, and additionally, in addition to the really cool devil fruit um, idea, he also made this great design of what it would look like in the um, completely transformed oh, form. Yeah, I mean, the just arm, look at the, that with the, the snake head and, and the feathers. Yeah, I love that. Like, Absolutely yeah, beautiful. Yeah, like uh, this is uh, this is something I just found off of like Google, but that's basically what you're looking at here. It's a feathered serpent, pretty damn cool, and it can fly. It doesn't. Yeah. I don't think it has wings, but it can it can fly because it's like a god kind of thing. Also, if anybody's ever seen the anime um, Kobayashi's Dragon Maid, 
Uh, this also he Quetzalcoatl also appears as a character in that. So yes, uh, anime. Oh, uh, uh, Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. It might be under, but yeah, there's a character named right. Lukawa who is a dragon, but she has human form, and she is based off of this. Cool. And uh, I also like too that this way the this guy basically talks about the weaknesses of the Devil Fruit as yes. well. And I liked that the weakness is basically if you fight somebody, you better not be against somebody with an earth-based power like the Ishi Ishi no Mi because your attacks will be useless to those powers. Yeah. And pretty much anything that has to do with blockading, uh, it's a hard counter to you. So Bard Lameo, look, now's your time to shine. Take down the dude with the Quetzalcoatl fruit because you can make these unstoppable barriers yeah. and, uh, and actually stop these wind gusts. So I actually I think that is really cool, and that's a nice weakness to build out of here as well. I like it. Um, and additionally... It says here, most known Loki and Devil Fruit users will be weak against you because the nature of their abilities makes them easy to push around with the power of wind. So Smoker, Sabo, anybody with like a fire or smoke type fruit, uh, you'll be able to push very easily out of the way. And one thing that we discussed on the uh, pre-stream yeah. to the actual live stream was that the idea of a wind user in the series is something that's been thrown around a lot for Dragon because yeah. the first time we saw him, you that's know, he's one. always preceded by a storm and wind. So that's a big one. But the idea that we were talking about is wouldn't it be cool if Dragon actually had this devil fruit that it wasn't just him controlling the weather, but it yeah. was a type of mythical zone I've that heard can people, control the weather? I've heard people throw out that idea, man. Like, because it's like, yeah, you yeah. figure he has like, if I was going to bet my money on it, like if I was going to bet money, it would be like Storm Storm Fruit or the Wind Wind Fruit Logia or something. But it could be a mythical and it could just be like one of the most powerful mythicals on the level of Kaido. And that's why everyone's afraid of freaking Dragon. Exactly, yeah. exactly. It also mentioned here uh, that being skillful with armament hockey, this is another reason why this one, by the way, um, is the use of armament hockey with this devil fruit. So it says, being skillful with armament hockey is an ability uh, that merges seamlessly with this devil fruit because you can acquire techniques like black feather, which allows you to harden each individual feather on your body like blades, which is insane. That you already have this power to push wind and control the wind, create tornadoes. But if you're adept at armament hockey, you can utilize your feathers like shuriken and blades, yeah, which is cool. yeah, you can just amazing. Fire so yeah, it's incredibly overpowered. But you know, it's basically a snake deity mythical. It's like yeah, you see Kaido as a dragon, and it's like well, yeah, he's pretty overpowered. <laughs> I mean, granted, we haven't seen everything Kaido can do as a dragon. I don't know if you know that, but Kaido's a dragon, by the way. Um, but, yeah, that was uh, the one we decided on. I, I really liked it. Uh, just the concept of it was pretty sweet. Just the fact that it makes you basically, like, if you had this, you would be the king of the One Piece world because, like, oh, look at all those sailing ships. That's cute. And just, pfft, just yeah. blow them away. Uh, yeah, I could see, like, the user of this sitting on an island just by themselves and just having it and just, like, basically taking up the range as, like, oh, I'm just the vengeful snake god. And, you know, but it's actually a person. That would be cool. So, yeah. Yeah. And I love yeah. And how... again, to clarify to people, because yeah. okay. a lot of people in the chat are saying, well, it's an amazing design, but again, art, you know, I, shouldn't have anything I really to do with it. Did. Again, we did judge what, this. What we did, based, yeah. Uh, how. how we decided the winner, I'll tell you how we did it. We took our five... We took our five top tens, and then we just looked at the top ones of each one. So uh, I looked at the uh, right. Sarkoska Kakish one, and the Oto Oto one, and uh, the um, oh, uh, and this one was the number one in the mythical category before we bumped it up. That's we we looked at those five ones, and then we decided on the coolest one out of all of them. So it was between the map one and the Oto Oto and the Sarkoska Kakish and. Um, the uh what was the number one in the oh it was the rainbow den den mushi and then this one and this one sounded the coolest so we went with that yeah that was the reasoning it does look aesthetically yeah. pleasing i understand why you might say it's like oh, oh it was yeah. on, only because it Absolutely. was drawn nice guys we had a lot that were drawn really really nice and they didn't even show yeah. up and in fact we today. even had i had we even had other castle coatl fruits because oh, yeah. i had yeah. multiple that of wasn't these. the only one and i no, and that was the category where I went through. It was kind of like Thunderbird, where I was looking through it going, you know, a lot of these don't really seem that original, but what this guy did in terms of the power with, like, using the um, the Fujita gears 
to change the wind blasts and also explaining like with the tornadoes, he explained a very clear weakness. He put it in the zone category, so it also had a hybrid transformation. I mean, it really hit the nail on the head in pretty much every category. This was like the ideal entry. And, uh, and I think even when we were debating this, it was pretty much unanimous that this would be the grand prize winner after reading through everything. I so. think, yeah, compared to the other four, I think it did pretty good too, even though I was a big fan yeah. of geography as everything, yeah. but you know. Um, I love geography. People are, yeah. Too, people yeah. <laughs> are saying it's people are saying it's very similar to a character from Seven Deadly Sins, which I've never really seen. So, mm. but the character what from Seven Deadly Sins, they're talking about Arthur, who's uh, down, passed down the lines for generations. He has his sword Excalibur. Mm. Oh, okay. Like gave cool. him the fighting prowess of all the former wielders of Excalibur. Oh, got it. Well, and the other thing I like too is that this is already in a subcategory that exists within the one. Yeah, piece the world. cats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The mythical and also heavy, no, heavy, and, no, and and the heavy heavies that already existed. The exactly, because we have we have the mythical heavy heavies with Orochi that we've seen. Yes, but we also have heavy heavies that we saw with Boa Sandersonia and with the oh, what's the other Boa sister? Uh, Marigold. Mar Marigold. Marigold. Marigold yeah. and Sandersonia. Yeah, yeah, King yeah. King Cobra and uh, Anaconda, and now uh, this. So, yeah, and then, and then yeah. the Orochi one as well. So, yeah, I think if Orochi, if the Yamato no Orochi can exist, this can exist too. Um, okay, now some people, some people are saying no honorable mentions. Well, we went through 50 entries, so you could consider those. I was going to say that was 50 honorable mentions. Yeah, now, <laughs> technically 51 mentions now, in all. I, it's also important to keep in mind we covered 50, there were like 3,000 more, so. Yeah, that was. There's obviously a oh, lot yeah, more out yeah, there. Yeah. So you I'm know, back next time where we list off all the other three thousand. I, I, I could see. Mentions. I could see myself going like uh, whenever I do a live stream, I could just have a segment of the live stream where we just di I just dip into like the giant because I'm not. I'm gonna keep all of them. Obviously, I'm not gonna be like, all right, well that contest course, is over. Yeah, all delete entries them. deleted. That's why I have them sent to my um, my my vlog channel email, not my main email account. Uh, so we could just always dip in and go through a few paramecias, a few logias and whatever. And, um, yeah, like I said, uh, that was a lot of work in the contest. And the next one we do is probably going to be different in a, in a big way, but don't worry about that. Cause I'm not going to do another big contest like this until next year. Um, I usually do two contests a year. Like last year I did the green bowl one. And then after that we did the, my hero academia video contest, but that was like a smaller kind of scale thing that I did. Uh, so maybe going back to things like that. I love doing the video entries. Those are really cool. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, those were neat. So maybe I'll go back to doing that, another video contest for this fall. But for right now, uh, I wanted to thank Nux and Roger for not only helping me do the stream, but also judging and, and you know, being with me on this because this this their help was invaluable uh, or valuable, whichever. You guys, you guys help me a lot. And I love you all. Thanks for having me. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Nux. Thank you, Roger. <laughs> Bag bad you. I'm Thank gonna, you for having us. This was a lot of fun. I'm gonna but there were a few hiccups. There were more than a few hiccups, but you know. It was still fun. Was still it was fun. still fun. I had fun. I'm gonna bite into this plum now. Ah. <laughs> I can't I, deserve I can't bite deserve. into the plum. Tastes like tastes like an apple, Beautiful. honestly. I don't know. It's anyway. Have uh, you never had a plum before? No. I was in Walmart just looking at fruit for the contest. Like, I've never had this before, so I guess I'm going with it. Uh, all right. So, uh, yeah, with that all being said. Oh, as okay, so the print, the, the prizes. I'll talk about that. So uh, the second place in each category wins $20. These, these are in the form of Amazon gift cards. That's my main for, source of currency yeah. that I send out to people because um, it's super convenient to do that over email. And then first prize wins $50 each. And then the grand prize, you actually, I will be emailing the grand prize winner uh, because they actually have a choice between a brand new PlayStation 4, da 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 da, or a $300 cash prize. And if you pick the $300 cash prize, we'll figure out a way, you know, if you want that as an Amazon gift card or over PayPal or something, we'll, we'll figure out the alternative there. Um, so uh, I'll be sending those out tonight and tomorrow. So if you don't get them like right after the stream is over, don't freak out. I'll be sending those out the next few days. I'll be in touch with you because that's 11 people I need to stay in contact with now for that. So I'll try to keep that all straight. Um, I might just do by category, doing each category once, and then that's how I'll do it. So yeah, that'll be the prizes for the winners. Um, thanks, everybody, for entering again. This has been the Devil Fruit Contest. 
which was a lot more difficult than I originally expected when I first came up with it. Because I'm like, hey guys, 2019. Let's, do, let's do a devil fruit contest. That sounds like a nice little easy idea. <laughs> Hope you can knock that out in an email. <laughs> yeah, it was hard. Um, but yeah. Okay, so... I will see, I will check to see if this can somehow upload without being horribly audio desynced, which I highly doubt it's going to not be. And if it looks like crap, then I will just upload the stream in its entirety, which will probably take some time given my internet. So I'll just honestly hope to have that. I'll, I'll Hopefully it'll be processed by tonight or I'll just upload it by tonight and I'll wake up and it'll be fully uploaded, hopefully. Um, I was right. going to say, at this point, with all the lag spikes, we should probably upload it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah that's what I probably should just immediately do that without even bothering. Because yeah. there's we dropped 40,000 yeah. frames. There is no way in hell there's not a problem with this. So, okay. Well, anyway, uh, that's the stream. Thank you, everybody. Uh, I will be ending it now. So, have a great night. Signing out. You want to sign out? You could do that, I guess. Go ahead. Well, the stream's already offline. Well, okay, but we're still recording, so sign out anyway. Oh, before I, oh, 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 I'll, 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 <laughs> I'll officially end it. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Uh, you guys can find me at Rogers Bates on YouTube, on Twitter, on Twitch, and on Instagram. I'm going to be doing a One Piece World Seeker giveaway. I'm giving away two copies of the game uh, next week. So if you're not already subscribed, go subscribe. I'll be giving away to my subscribers. And thanks for having me. As no always, problem. Anytime, fun. anytime, man. Thank you so much for having me. Truly a pleasure. I'm glad that you invited me, honestly. I Thank really you. appreciate it. Thank you. And um, you can subscribe to me. My channel is um, youtube.com slash PewDiePie. He can use all the help he can get. And, it's, a, it's, um, yeah. it's, it's a now a meme. All right. Well, thanks, guys. Signing out.